Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence, one sleep away. How can I assist? I need a moment for the two of us. All's well, I hope, aside from the obvious. Looking forward to a bit of rest, if I'm honest. It's been a long century. Be gone, friend. I have a darling to adore. The gate is closed. As is Casador. And we are no closer to knowing why that bastard is so obsessed with getting me back. I think we should track down my fellow spawn. I'm not exactly looking forward to a reunion, but perhaps they'll know something. If we can find them, we can force them to tell us what he's been doing since I was gone. And honestly, I imagine they'll be coming for me in the night if I don't. Unless Cazadors change their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town, seeking prey. We should get to them first. Then we can make their pretty tongues talk. The Absolute should be a thing of the past, and I with it. Yet, at the risk of angering Mistra further, I'm glad it didn't come to that, given what has come to light. Hardly. I'm more than glad to leave that place behind. The Elder Brain. But, more importantly, the crown that it wore. Even without seeing it for myself, I could sense it. Netherese magic. So pure, so complete. I doubted what I was feeling at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power. The ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but... No matter. It exists. I must learn more of it. That crown sits on a gargantuan elder brain bent on destroying us and everything we hold dear. Understanding its true nature might unlock the means of our victory. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it, we'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep, Sorceress Sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can.
indeed. The journey awaits. One foot in front of the other is tried and true, I find. Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. <laughs> Nethery sects are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. You wish to consult me? Hope you're keeping well, friend. of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the Chosen of the Dead Three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the Tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the Chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of mind flayers. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the astral prison and the mysterious visitor inside of it. With her help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Will you liberate them from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes?
to the portal. I need your help. Taking up position. without you. to hold together much longer.
enemies still draw breath. to the skull. and blades always sharp. It's not over. Come to the skull. Take your heel. And these things are staying interesting. I need you.
saved a child from a viper back in the druid's grove. You slept with the drowned Dara. You pleased her. You saved the Asima Night Soul from her soul cage. You let me live last time you were here. Though it brought Blackith's wrath upon you. I told you about my room in the Elsong Tavern that night when you held me. I was vulnerable. You comforted me. Your continued existence as yourself and not a mind flayer should be all the proof you need. Now, help me.
Don't look at me like... I am a mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the Absolute. It's obscene. To owe my life to a dirt. No more lies. No more tricks. I will have answers! Baldur's Gate, though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure, to a colony of mind slayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. the absolute i was a thrall like any other but i was fortunate i broke free and started a new life in my old city i sustained myself on criminals unglamorous but there are plenty of them rarely missed and they fueled me while i did my work i had the good fortune to meet duke stillman we formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence, though of course they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call the Emperor. The name was intended as a slight to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Yeah. 
indeed. His hubris knows no bounds. To enslave me, that was his nature. But to enslave an elder brain, a questionable decision. I shall look forward to sharing his downfall with you. Rather them than potential future allies like you. We fought to tame Prince Orpheus, the son of Gith herself. Orpheus? Impossible. He was slain by Shastil Kithrak himself. Quite possible, I assure you. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' his mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' his mother left, a usurper took her place. Blacketh declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Blacketh wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince, and if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. No. Gortash sent me on a mission to retrieve the Astral Prism. I was one of many, but the first to find it. How Gortash or the other Chosen learned of its existence, I do not know. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside. And found Orpheus. I realized what the prism was for. Containment. While my body was within the prism's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. Most certainly Orpheus, he is a threat to her reign. Some Githyanki still revere him, in defiance of their teachings. Blackith was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. I don't understand. The histories claim the prince was burned to ash in the skies. Your histories are fabrications. The prince was not killed. As you can very well see, he was imprisoned. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blacketh will be finished. That would be a terrible idea. The moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him. And in so doing, he would doom us both. Even though he is subdued, you feel Orpheus's revulsion. A pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid, a sworn enemy, just like me.
I appreciate that. But this is what I am. My original body was destroyed when I transformed. When I first escaped the Elder Brain, I searched for a new vessel. But the longer I inhabited this one, the more it grew on me. I realized that returning to my former self would only impose limitations. Any advantage I could gain by restoring my original appearance, I already had to hand in the form of magic and that humanoid shape you've come to know. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent Alithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle, while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. If you let me, I can evolve you. The answer is twofold. One, I can, but it would kill you, as I told you before. Two, why would I? You have done well with the limited form you have, but you would do far better as an illithid. So, do you wish to evolve or not? You will be able to do things you never thought were possible. There will be physical alterations, of course, but only partial. You will retain most of your current form, and you will soon see that the benefits outweigh any perceived loss. Even as you say the words, you feel a lurch of disappointment. Your mind bristles with a lithid potential. How could you be so cruel as to deny yourself what you want most in the world? I felt that. It's your nature. You cannot fight it. So embrace it. It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. with painful intensity. It has been starved of life, of purpose. It welcomes your probing like a void waiting to be filled. If you let it, it will evolve you, just as the Emperor said. A tadpole, nurtured by the psionic energy of the astral plane, cocooned here for millennia, it has become Extraordinary. A wave of disappointment, stronger than any you've ever felt. And then... Stillness. You've resisted your lithid instincts. For now. You are not ready yet. Keep hold of it then. Until you are. It has enough vitality to further your evolution. And your allies. Perhaps you will be more inclined to try it when you see more of what our enemy can do. We mustn't lose focus. 
We need to resume our journey. You heard the Chosen. The Brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the Brain, and bring it under our control. Consider using the tadpole. Your evolution will be a benefit to us both. Seems enough. The orb hums with cerebral magic. Permeable, but impenetrable. Within it, the Githyanki prince is as silent as a corpse the murmur of his powers being siphoned away. It is not the Gaith visitor that Vlakith would destroy and Voss would set free. It is Orpheus, the blood of the mother, the prince of the comet. Listen close. The Empress spoke only in half truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Lacketh. Long ago, when we rose up against our gay slavers, Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call Queen. Yes. Our current Queen has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years. But it was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Orpheus was... is Gith's only son. 
He led his mother's own honor guard in a coup against Vlakith One. It was Kithrak Voss himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle, or so the Varshis teach us. Yet the prince of the comet's been with us, subdued by that repugnant illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would tear Vlakith's empire to pieces and build new glory from the scraps. The seed and the sower. Every word Voss spoke, he spoke true. Orpheus is the living proof of the Queen's lies, and the living weapon that conquered our Geich slavers. One word from his lips, and the people would doubt. Two words, and they would rage. Three words, and they would bow to the true heir. If the Githyanki are to be free, the Prince of the Comet must lead the way. What about him? The historical slates describe Orpheus as a fearsome, terrible creature, powerful beyond measure, and enthralled by the Geich. So mad with power, he'd smash through the Githyanki Empire and deliver the shards to his illithid masters. And glowing with such psionic force that he and his red dragon blazed a trail through the skies, a lethal comet careening towards my people. Lies, of course. Vlakith spread a false image of Orpheus as monstrous betrayer, and her knights as the butchers who sliced him through. She was right to fear him, I'll grant her that. So great is the comet, it could shatter her reign. The Emperor may be loathsome, but it's right. Orpheus can disrupt a gay hive mind. A talent like that makes the Prince a powerful shield and a powerful weapon. Why destroy a weapon like that when you can contain it in a relic and keep it for yourself? A weapon is only an asset for as long as it isn't pointed at you. The means of Vlakith's own end has been ripped away from her. Better to have Orpheus killed than to risk his escape. Better to risk the rise of Illithids than let the Prince of the Comet deny her the godhood she craves. Orpheus's honor guard, loyal to the end. Trapped by Vlakith in the same prism holding their noble prince, fruitlessly hacking at the sphere that contains him. They see us as Geich, tadpoled husks in the Emperor's thrall. I regret their deaths, but I pledge to live as they perished, in the service of Gith's son. Very well. It also promises to break us beyond repair. This ossified parasite does not make us more, but less. There will be ice where once there was fire. There will be a void where our souls once resided. I know, and I won't. I'm listening. Hmm. So, there's been a mind flayer inside the artifact or astral prism the whole time we've had it. Sounds like utter madness, even though I've seen it with my own eyes. The more I learn, the less I understand just why I was sent to retrieve that thing. But it matters little now. I do not serve Shah anymore, nor the Mother Superior. 
The prism is no longer my mission. Saving my parents is. But I digress. Did you want something? I haven't even dared to use the more benign forms of illicit powers. Do you really think I'm eager to jump to the next step? You know what that offer truly entails, don't you? Become half a Mind Flayer, lose half of yourself. I don't want that. You wish to consult me? A disparate collection of vagabonds and strays. Did you have anyone particular in mind? We will need every advantage to survive the battles that are to come. And my illicit parasite has already shown its worth. If this superior tadpole is capable of unlocking my mind's full potential, it is a tempting proposition. I am surprised you have not drawn on its power yourself. As you should. When I am stronger, we are stronger. lack of tentacles to one of the very creatures that kidnapped us. And now it's offering us power if we're willing to evolve. We both know what it is capable of, but I'm not touching it. That was before I knew the cost. Before I knew it meant transforming into some grotesque beast. I remember how it hurt when I turned into a vampire. My body writhed and warped while I was utterly helpless. The grip of death owned my heart as it beat its last. I, I don't want to turn into anything else. I can't do that again. I can't watch my body be taken over. It isn't about the pain, it's about being beholden to the tadpole's influence. If we master the tadpoles, it will be different, but right now that mastery depends on an illithid and its gift Yankee slave. I am not. I just don't want to lose my God's given good looks, really. Wouldn't that be a crime? I'm really not sure. Thank you. Rock pool. 
Paul, eh? A mind flayer manipulating us this whole time. Such creatures are not to be trusted as a general rule, though this one does appear to have had a significant hand in our survival up to this point. At best, an ally whose motivations remain shrouded in deceit. We should be wary of what such an alliance may cost us. I can only imagine what I could do were I to adopt the biology of a mind flayer. You've not taken this power for yourself. So I can only wonder why offer it to me. Establish themselves and take their nether stones. Have to keep going. The city is close now. My former peers will be watching, no doubt. Waiting for my return. We should do what we can to find them. What they know could help us. me. I can't find my mum. She was, um, she was sick. She had spots on her face and hands. She went to go get some herbs and she was supposed to come back the same day. That was last 10 day though. like this she's the best cook in the world and she taught me too I'll, um, I'll look for her I think she'll probably come soon thanks a lot I do not understand why the matrons Sorry, patriarchs of the city do not open their gates to the refugees. I was not suggesting they be allowed to roam free. They should be put to work. The city needs laborers and fodder to protect it. Yes. And if they work hard enough for long enough, the city might allow them to earn their freedom one day. Anything you want for supper. All the treats your tummy can handle. I never allowed sweet things right before bed. This one time will make an exception. As long as you stop sulking and start walking right now. Can't talk. I'm sorry. The little one needs all of my attention. Really Do you know where we're going? What kind of inn is it? 
Will there be feather beds? We told our son that this is a holiday to spare him the truth. We don't have homes to go back to. Seems like a good moment to talk. Turn back, citizen. No passage in this direction. It's bloodier than a butcher's backyard out there. Piles of dead absolutists, and a few of our own as well. The cultists assaulted the gate, armed to the teeth trying to break in. They nearly had it too, before the steel watch intervened. <laughs> a little more than that. You'll see for yourself soon enough if you head to the city. In time, we'll make an exception. As long as you stop sulking and start walking right now. If I was a Sharon lookout, this is the sort of place that? I'd wait around. An earthquake, perhaps. Strong enough to rouse the dead, too. Really there now. You see the city? Up on the hill. take down troublemakers, so don't make trouble. Baldarians, stand with me against this tide that threatens to overwhelm us. Please just go home. You're ruining a perfectly uneventful posting with this nonsense. The flaming fists are supposed to protect this good city. But they allow trash and vermin to take our homes and goods. Oh, another visitor, I see. Listen, we keep letting the likes of you in. Soon, there'll be no room left for any of us true Baldarians. Apologies. Now I hear you speak, I, of course, realize you're a local. Another bleeding heart. Piss off and take it elsewhere. You see them over there? Refugees? Ha! Naught but a cover. I know what they really are. Died in the wool agents of the absolute. Mark my words. There's probably only a handful of rotten apples among them. Or, you know what they say about rot? It spreads quickly. Ruins the whole bunch. To all of us. Oh, gods. Not another protester. Go talk to Nestor if you must. I've got plenty on my plate with these mewling geese. I just lost a wager, thanks to you. Who are you? Someone who bets that you'd never be foolish enough to actually show your face in this city again. But here you are. And the gold in my purse is soon to take flight.
There have been whispers about you, sister. About your faith, your loyalty, your company. I can't help but feel the strangest twinge of disgust as I look upon you. Is it true? Has Our Lady forsaken you? I know the truth. I know my parents still live. Tell me where they are, and I have no quarrel with you. I'm afraid the quarrel is unavoidable, thanks to you. Now I must report your reappearance. If you are intent on bringing matters to a head, then seek out the House of Grief in the Lower City. Tell me one thing. Is there someone called Renald there? A tiefling with short horns and purple hair? Renald. Now there is a name I haven't heard in a while. He is no more. I'll leave the rest for you to find out. Heretic. The excess of refugees outside the city walls could easily become a surplus of laborers. Careful, Minthara. As a drow exile, you could be classed as a refugee yourself. Not volunteering, I take it. I am a daughter of House Bainray. I obey no authority except my own desires. I can think of at least one wriggly stowaway who might dispute that. If you want to chat, talk to Nesta. I like my personal space. Donations? Do you know I have eyes? The refugees. If you don't have anything to donate, you can get going. it saves me the walk but if you're gonna do it hurry up Come over and exchange pleasantries. Oh, how kind of you to say. I have been growing my bristles out. It's something of an art, you see. Salutations once more, old stick. Always a treat to have visitors. been given permission to be here. Don't disappoint me.
If it is for the best. You best not piss away Manip Nestor's good graces. They hear worms rock prison. have seen everything. will roll for this 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 transgression this injustice oh you poor naive soul let me tell you a story a perfectly respectable businessman wants to bring his well business into this fine city and what do they do They talk some absolute horse bollocks about papers and correct filing procedures and threw me in this slum. I should be loins deep in Charesse's caress by now, not waddling about in filth. Lord on the rack, give me patience. These protesters keep harassing the refugees. It's horrid. I just hope the Ilmater Temple opens up aid again soon. We need their help here. Where did the wine sack get empty, Garen? I bet somebody drank it, Ma. Might even have been me. Oh, you're no sauce. You found some I'd put my money on Christine. I need a quick word. Actually, got here safely. Towing along my wife's sister and mother. Or maybe they towed me along, eh? Can't stand her, can't stand her! My sister in law. All law and no sister. <laughs> My son Garen is pleased we got this far together. But his wife's bitching is making me old before my time. Why can't he tell her to put a sock in it? I don't know how we're going to get Grunch into the city, wounded as he is, but we have to. We've got to get Grunch into the city, but he's in no shape to travel. I wonder, what if we hit him in a big barrel and nailed it shut? Nah. Whatever you need, I can't help you. Even talking is painful right now. Some goblin cultists were about to stumble on where those two bright boys were hiding. So I just kind of drew their attention. The bright boys got away, but I took a hit killing those gobbos. And it's taken his time healing. Thanks for asking, though. A long way to go still. Ah! Oh, whatever you need, I can't help you. 
Even talking is painful right now. After a quick examination, you conclude that your patient is pretending to be wounded. You wonder why. Really? This isn't necessary. I'm sure there are other people that need your help more urgently. Shh! Not so loud. If those lads find out I'm faking, they might go off on their own. They're not ready for that. And frankly, I'd miss them. I don't really have any other friends. And I like those lads. So I think I'll stick around a while more. No one back home will ever believe this. Color lives How much farther can I go? for days to get someplace safe and then found out I'm last in line to get in because I'm a hobgoblin. As if I could change that. You just can't. Can't she help out a bit more? Or even at all? Now, now, mind your tongues. Leave Christine. Washing my pits, washing my pits. This is the song when I... Could a bloke not get any bleeding privacy around here? Bunch of perverts, the lot of you. Oh, I think he can look out for himself. Christine didn't clean the somewhere, McMahon. Again. Garen, you know the rules. Find us bloody keepers, I say. Bloody savages, a lot of them. We're as desperate as the rest of these savages. They just had the sense to move quicker than us. We got here first, friend. You're welcome to whatever scraps we leave behind. <laughs> if you're here to fill an empty stomach, look elsewhere. Folks swarmed what little was odd, stuff in their pockets. Bloody animals. Back off, I found these apples first. Something over there. If we do nothing, the innocent will suffer just the same. We have no good choices. We let emotion cloud our judgment and it almost doomed us. We need strategy and cool heads. Should we fortify the camp? Wait for the vampires to strike here? And let them marshal all their strength against us? This is it for our people, I thought, Charles. What if this is the end? Then we should end it on our... Brechte hathran rust. Frey, thou disk durovna. Frey, thou disk ablast. You recognize the funeral rites of the Gur people, famed monster hunters. She's burning the possessions of those who have fallen. Im orak, nete, krasin, netra. We would not normally tolerate outsiders at a time like this. The Slayer of Ketherick Thorn. Well, these are strange times indeed. Hmm, a fine trophy. Perhaps you would like to claim another. Baldur's Gate is haunted by many things, but one of its most insidious is the vampire Kazador. For years, his foul spawn have stolen away innocents at night, whisking them back to his palace. Recently, they struck our camp. They took our children 
Every last one. Our whole future. They tore us to pieces. Vampire spawn and werewolves. I have never seen a vampire's lair so heavily guarded. What's left of my tribe is wounded and broken. We cannot stand against him to save our children. But perhaps the Slayer of Ketherick could. The main entrance is blockaded, but there is another way. Near the park, you will find a broken tower, mid-repair. Climb the scaffolding, and you can enter his palace. It may be watched, but you will not walk into the slaughter that we did. Then we will settle for blood. Cazador must be destroyed. For the safety of the city, and to make sure no one else must feel our pain. If you do this, our entire tribe will be in your debt. On our honor, it will be repaid. May the gods keep you and damn your enemies. Must be exterminated. Who will stand between them and the Nothing enemies? Nothing will do. And if our children still live, if we do nothing. The what innocent will happen to them. Worms Crossing, the welcome mat of Baldur's Gate. This is it. I'm almost home. <laughs> I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, He'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. <laughs> Neither will I, darling. At least I hope you'll come along for the show. But regardless, the plan is simple. Find him, stop him from gaining almighty power, and then really enjoy killing him. <sighs> the next urchin that tries to pick my pocket will lose its hand. Half of the children here are already mutilated by poverty and starvation. Hm. I am reminded of the Brayran, the stench streets of Menzo Baranzen, where the sick and the outlawed make their homes. Despite the destitution, there is profit and opportunity to be found in such places, if one is willing to wade through the squalor. Yes. I only know it through history books and hearsay. A city of murder and grief. I expect it will live up to its legend. You have never visited? <laughs> most likely. I am a Bainre, born into the city's most ancient and powerful house. My life was one of privilege and danger. Like you, I lived in Kuelarzol, high above the city's sprawl. I enjoyed every luxury, whether harvested in the Underdark or stolen from the surface, and I survived my first assassination attempt while I still suckled at my mother's breast. I tasted her blood that day. She covered my body with her own and a blade bit deep into her chest, almost puncturing her heart. When I came of age, she tried to take my life herself. 
and I gave her fresh scars to match those she earned protecting me. She taught me to be resilient and to guard my heart from those who cannot be trusted, literally and figuratively. When I choose to let somebody close, I do not do so lightly. That gives a great depth of meaning to the bonds I do share. A mistake. I am your most valuable asset. When you realize your mistake, I will be ready to join you again. Hello, my dear. Darl, lead on. What are you doing? You and the Spawn should be at the palace, not here. You do not decide where I should be. Not now, not ever. You pledged to help us. Have you so quickly gone back on your word? Thank you. Now please go. We have lost enough time already. Nothing. Do, do not stand here and wait. Cazador must be destroyed. Do not stand here. It is good to have you with us. There is something rotten at the heart of this city. And it needs purging. Breathe deep. We are begging help from you, an outsider. I would follow Ulmer to the hells and back, but this does not feel right. As long as we stand up. To lose our children is a tragedy. <sighs> to fail so utterly in saving them is something else entirely. Ulmer insists the tribe is not cursed, but I have my doubts. I pray you will succeed where we failed. Exterminate every last vampire parasite. Very well. Fires to strike here. No screaming children. No laughter. No scolding words. There is only silence and pain. Our dead fought well. They died well. I hope I can live up to their example. Fine day for it, eh? Got to enjoy things while they last, I suppose. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Never a dull moment. Moving ahead. Is that blood? 
No. Don't waste the step. for you, my friend. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging. It sounds awful. You wish to consult me? Good. swift as my feet can carry me. Before you lies the unconscious body of a mind flayer, glistening and raw. A newborn. Unattended. How fortunate. Oh, but it is. This one has only just transformed. It is weak, vulnerable, its potential ripe for harvesting. Go on, kill it, absorb its power, just like you did before. Come no closer, you. You. What are you? What am I sensing? You are like me. Like I was. A vessel yet to transform. Help me. I am so hungry. My vessel. He fought the transformation. He found it excoriating. I can still taste his terror. It is delicious, but will not sustain me. We need to feed. We need a brain fresh and frantic to restore our strength. I sense you are underdeveloped. Bring me a brain and I will help you augment yourself. Very well, kin. I shall dine on you.
is still fresh. You can absorb its potential if you consume it. Be on my way. <clears throat> no, curse to put my hands on everything. I'm not scared of the authorities, but it would be stupid to pick a fight with the fists, right? Ever wanted to meet the most cowardly dragonborn in the realms? I fell for the blockhead. There's no point arguing with the guards. We're not getting past that checkpoint without the right papers. Whatever birthed you, tell you not to stare. Clear off. There's nothing in these caravans for you. The place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Denuvia! Get these spotters out of my house now! Arthur, sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards, not cattle wranglers. If you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra. I just want to remove these unlawful interlopers from my property. little prank gets into the basement. My basement? Oh, nothing interesting, just materials. I'm a craftsman, you see. This man is definitely lying. And he's really hoping you don't pry any further. Look, I have some very valuable components in there. I need to get that lot out before they damage something. Who do you think you are? Zenobia? People are lining up to break into my property. Do something about it. You paid us to protect you and your high-quality merchandise on the road. And we've since arrived at our destination. As I said, anything else is extra. Ugh. This 
it's the last time I hire someone from the guild. Fine. Here's the extra. Finish the job. Now, please show this meddler some of that famous Rivington hospitality.
You won? You won? What more do you want from me? Well, with Zenovia and the others gone, I don't suppose you'll take no for an answer. All right, they can stay. Are you happy now? Now I have to figure out what I'm going to do. A room can wait. After what you've put me through, I need a drink. woman. We could easily work something out in a house this big. I'm not quite sure why you stood up for us like that. But I won't say I'm not grateful. Thanks. And may Torm keep you. I am. It's been days since my family slept under a roof. So thank you. Nothing. Thank the gods. I was sure we were about to be evicted. I don't think the children could cope with being homeless again.
out. a break. Be worth checking out his donations. It looks like his generosity is compromised. The 
an ordinary lamp. Not a trace of magic on it. Yes. Gaining ground. No time to rest. If not over, then through. Lies before me. I'm not asking for much, just a really there now. Investment to get you me see the started. city up on the hill. Uh -huh. I see it. It's up there. I'm very Should it take your fancy? Such sweetness should be shared. Might be useful. We'll make an exception. That might be. Stay alert. That's a trap.
Who's that rummaging around in there? Show yourself. You have two seconds to explain yourself before you're under arrest. What? Those are children's toys. Which means if a child had picked one up, I don't want to think about it. How do I know you're not the one who planted those explosives? All right, I guess it can't hurt. I'll check up on the rest of the goods. You try and find whoever is responsible for this. I thought this assignment was going to be dull. No such luck. Time to press ahead. This is quite clearly a restricted area, citizen. You can mull over your mistake in a cell. Come with me. And these things have stayed interesting. Never wanted the easy part. Who would do such a thing? They're beggars and criminals, and we won't have them. File our call, and I'm sure the man at the I have something to ask. I'm busy. Mind your own. Want a blade, or a bow, or a dagger, or maybe a spear is more your thing. You look like you know how to use a spear. By spear, what'd you say, huh? Oh yay! Want more? Want less? Wanna sell? Wanna buy? You know where I am. Bye! Welcome, adventurer. I take it you're new to Rivington. No doubt you came here to choose from my fine selection of weapons. Yes, I seem to have it all. Clubs, swords, maces, bows, cutting and gutting galore. Why don't we see if we can find the perfect weapon for you? 
I provide a personalized service for my customers to make sure the weapon I choose is the perfect fit. Tell me, how do you like to kill? I see. Playing to your strengths. Keeping things simple. And when you kill someone, what do you feel? Killing holds no fear for you, does it? You understand what it takes and what it gives. One more question, if you'll humor me. Do you think you could turn your weapon on those closest to you? There's a killer inside you, isn't there? It wouldn't take much to push you over the edge. You're the lick spittle who crushed the bone lord's thrall. <laughs> Have you come begging, sniffing for our stones? Gortash won't like that. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. Oh, you could kill him. Let him close and make him feel the tickle of your blade between his ribs. <laughs> when you find the Lordling, tell him Oren is watching. So Oren is a shapeshifter. How long has she been watching? Where are you? You! Try attacking me when my back isn't turned, you bloody coward. Don't dare lie to me. I saw you with my own eyes, grinning at me like some bloody imbecile. I'm gonna knock that smirk right off your face. Certain. Ah, uh, God's be damned, I don't know. I'd have sworn, but my head's pounding. I don't remember. I need a bloody drink. Go on, clear off. I've seen enough of your face today. What do you want now? Then go down to the bloody shop. I've got work to do. Side. Wonder where it leads. They'll run for the damn hills. He never travels without. Best stick to the refugee camp outsider. How many red caps are missing? Great. Another bloody outsider. I'm not supposed to talk to outsiders. That's just a man in a costume. It's not real. Look, costumes don't dream, Dad. Let the kids up. He was 
stinks of cheese. Between his piggy toes! How dare you? What in the hells is all of this? A necessity, good sir. The Steel Watch loves pretending sweet Rivington doesn't exist. So we have decided to protect you, dear patrons. <laughs> no need to thank us. You'll be allowed in once I've done this batch. Next! Hello, hello, and welcome to the Circus of the Last Days. The finest extra planar circus there is. We travel from plane to plane, thrilling all blessed to see us. From tempestuous Ginny to belligerent red caps, you'll find them all here. But enough of this. The circus is a place of joy and distraction, so uh, come inside and forget your worries. Don't be scared. Will have his animals. Of course. He never travels without his friends. Let's I should go. speak up. Ah, the traveler returns. None can resist the allure of the circus of the last days. Enter and witness our extra planar delights. Not a problem, dear patron. Benji just has to check if you're a vicious murderer. Benji? <sighs> Brain juice smells like piss and iron. No like. Oh, well, that's a first. Usually I'd allow you in, but in these times, I can take no chances. Move along. No circus for you. Viola Silvertongue won't be happy. Oh well, she should have practiced those high notes. Welcome to the circus, a motley crew of misfits and morons. <laughs> We're happy to have you. Do you think Dribbles can help his animals? He never travels without his friends. No like you. No like your smell. A tip? Don't piss off the Ginny. Oh, and if the Cobalt tries to sell you food, run. <laughs> Enjoy the circus. Wonder if the gods are watching me. The circus! How I love the raucous revelry, the goofs, and the guffaws! The Circus of the Last Days has returned. See Dryad's Gin and Dribbles the Clown back with a new act. Enjoying the show? Then you're going to love Dribbles. He's about to perform on stage. This city of stone and steel is an endless scream in nature's womb. I have felt no peace here until now. 
Your eyes, Stira. There is pain, endless and deep, but also devotion, blazing like the sun. You're in love, are you not? You are wise to admit it. When it comes to love, vulnerability is armor. Truth, a sword, and trust, a shield. I pray you wield all three, Stira. Bring the one you love to me. I will look into your hearts and see if your love is eternal or doomed eternally. Yes, but be warned. I play to win. Close your eyes, little ones. Be still as stone to earth. And remember to breathe. between you, so tender, so fragile, but do you see it for yourselves? Lazel, passion of the heart and blade wage war in her soul. Listen, think, what does she most desire? You hear my words, you see my path. It is good to be known. Hear how your bond thrums with pleasure. Strong, vital, pulsing with affection. Many things delight the heart, but only one makes it sing. Tell me, what is the Githyanki's fondest memory? A fateful night. I'm not apt to forget it, or who spent it with me. The sweetest loves dance lightly on the tongue, but now we must dig deeper into the most painful reaches of the spirit. Life is brief, finite. When the warrior dies, what legacy will she leave behind? I will carry the truth to my people, whatever it might mean. Only time will tell how I'm remembered. I should know not to underestimate you. You see me with clear eyes and an open mind. How close you are. Two hearts beating a perfect rhythm. But I know the truth. Only one face haunts your dreams each night. Close your eyes, sweetness, and she will come to you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Still rolling in the muck, I see. Gortash knows you are coming. Knows you have the Bone Lord's stone. Do not let him hiss hot air into your worm-weakened brain. Oh, your bond will not save you. He will wrap its cord around your neck and make you swing from it. Remember, his throat spits lies, but my blade carves the truth. You will read it on your skin soon enough. She's toying with me. What does she want? Approach, ugly one. Yes, behold, Akabi's wheel of wonders. Spin to win prizes beyond your tiny imagination and make your miserable life more bearable. Akabi has traveled across the plains, burning and conquering all. Win the spoils of such conquest. Or, if luck smiles upon you, win the grand prize, the jackpot. No more questions. Spin or don't. Let us see if you have Lux's favor. Alas! No jackpot for you, ugly one. But you may have this. You are welcome, putrid one. Return again to try anew. Action, not reaction. Fresh orders.
I would have words with you. Approach! Be all spin! To win prizes, let us see if you have luck's favor. You notice a glint in Akabi's beard. As it glows, the wheel moves away from the jackpot. He is cheating. Alas! No jackpot for you, ugly one. But you may have this. You dare speak to me as if we were equals? You are a scrap of food in my teeth. The dirt beneath my fingernails. You are nothing. I am, however, feeling gracious. So I will forget this and allow you to spin again. Or I can turn you into something vile. Choose! Moving out. No one's stopping yet. This isn't coin. It's paper. Win prizes found only in the most exotic of flames. Why is this made of paper? find this crap why is this made of paper one touch and this will fall apart broken fake broken fake you failed to win the grand prize but fear not Grotesque one. Try again. Be victorious. Come! 
of his more than a genie. He is the most magnificent and wondrous being in the realms. In fact, impossible. You sneak! You cheated! You! Dare! Enjoy the jackpot, muley cart! Damn that Ginny. Where am I? step forward.
I'm done. I can't wait to sleep. Is someone excited to work on the handsome Dragon Ball? Did the despicable cheetah enjoy his vacation? Akabi is delighted you enjoyed it, repugnant mortal. Be gone! Akabi is sick of you! Akabi is tired of the Wheel of Wonders. He is now closed. You're being arrested for theft. If you have a defense, make it now. They believe you, for now. Something tells you they won't be so receptive to your charms again. to the right place, browse our bespoke stony and bony creations, or commission a statue in your likeness. It is our most sought-after service. Bony, at your service. <laughs> uh, that there is my darling wife, Stony. 
Is she not magnificent? <laughs> To think she chose me. Why, I wake up every morning with a smile on my face. Uh, uh, now, what can I do for you? Oh, my wife shall be delighted. Customs are her favorite, particularly when their facial structure is as unique as yours. Tremendous! Stony, darling, let us put this towards our getaway in the Moonshay Isles. I'll have your statue shipped to your camp. You shall love it. We guarantee it. Ah, the adventurer returns. Care to purchase a bespoke stony and bony creation? Oh, you shall be thrilled and delighted. I know it. <laughs> Nothing caught your eye? I shan't tell my wife. She'd be most upset. Hungry little hobgoblin. Want a treato? I has lots of treatos and magics and junks I finds. Uh, don't worry. I only takes junks from dead people. I is nice. <laughs> oh, lots of times. The beasts ate a kiddo the other day. And I got some good stuffs. <laughs> I, I, I mean, uh, circus is safe. Do not uh, worry. Mm, yes. <laughs> yes! I has lots of stuffs. Just for you. Nuggets will be done. Whatever comes, I'm ready. <clears throat> I hope this is important. For your sake. now come back to papa soon every sale papa thirty thirty papa sells good things
will never be half the bard Miss Silvertongue is. Do you hear me? Another bard? Did Lucretius hire you? Stay out of my way, talentless half-wit. Do not stand too close. The flames have a life of their own. It's not Kitty. Maybe we should go. It's Pose, Grapevine, then Pivot Step. Jacob, you have the grace of my great-grandmother's missing leg. Ah, oh, and Boris. Boris, put some sensuality into those lovely hip bones. I know you have it in you. Step it up. We are decades from that. I hope they could open for dribbles. Not that my star needs the support, but at this rate, who knows? Call me Lucretius, ringmaster, necromancer, bringer of the night. Oh, and wine lover extraordinaire. Normally, I'd invite you into my tent for a lovely vintage. But these graceless skellies need my full attention. Enjoy my circus, darling. You do that, a pose again, again. The skeleton looks beyond you, frozen, awaiting command from its mistress. Little remains of the person this skeleton once was, only polished bone and brittle teeth.
still remains of the person this skeleton once was, only polished bone and brittle teeth. chest is deeper than it looks. A double bottom, of course. Very well. That's a friendly looking shadow. Cursed to put my hands on everything.
Always room for more. Unknown child and her dog who stood watch over her grave. May they be reunited in Ilmater's grace. Millie Runbarrel, killed by the cult of the Absolute. May our martyred father shelter her. Alvin Muffle Fieldwick, gave his fortune to the poor, died in the arms of friends. He will be missed. B. Gardenson, gave her life protecting fellow refugees. May the one who endures shelter her. Geshan Kirkaros, built the open hand temple, gave all in his name. We honor their life and legacy. Nalo Essi, grief and illness laid ruin, yet her heart held only compassion. The broken God be with her. Mikkel Hornkiss, gave all to the lepers, fell to the malady himself. He is a beacon to us all. Dominic Sonny lost himself to addiction, but found peace in Il Mater. Brilgore fell to anger and rage, taking Father Logan with him. May Il Mater forgive him. Let's see what this does. I've said all I have to say already. Now I just want to pack up my kitchen and leave. Soup kitchen's no good if we've no one to feed soup to. Besides, Father Logan's gone. Murdered. And now they're blaming a refugee for it. Some folk didn't like how he looked after the refugees. But I don't think they'd kill him for it. At least, I hope they wouldn't. That's a scary thought. Hmm. Look, I need to finish up here. Lots of soup to clean up. Blood, too. Moving in. Memory. Justice endures, even in suffering. What ails you? Marsh fever? Feather lung? Be quick, I've not got all day. Reckon so? There's something off about you anyway. Might be brain rot. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a dead high priest to see to. Slowly. Logan was a good man, if naive. He deserved better. One of the refugees killed him. Cruelly, too. 
They cut off his hand, sawed right through the bone. I found a paralytic poison on one of his wounds. Logan was alive while they took the hand. He just couldn't scream. It's sick. We give them everything, and all we get is nothing but a good man to bury. Seems simple enough. Hear me, be. Ah, take me to my cherished shore, and I reward it shall be plenty. Look, investigator. Brilgor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgor killed Father Lorcan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. Shitey little elephant. Oh, um... I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of Ilmater. I wouldn't go that far. But the investigator is being particularly challenging right now. Two people just died on temple grounds. Our high priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder. And is content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target. Feel free to look around the temple, but fair warning, the investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. Charessa's caress would be my best bet. That's her usual haunt after closing a case. Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Anything disproving the refugee murder suicide angle, really. I can tell you where to find her, but she won't be very chatty, I'm afraid. Shira passed away last year, peacefully, mine. We buried her in the crypt under the temple, if you wish to visit. I really hope you find something. For all our sakes. We are his adherents. Who would know if not us? To claim to know the Lord's will is blasphemy. We interpret scripture and teachings, but we know nothing. Let more outsiders in, and more Baldurians die. Duke Stelney, Father Lorcan, it's no coincidence. We have faith here, Bill. Faith in people, no matter where they're from. Who had more faith than Father Lorcan? How did that work out? Exactly. Lorcan let a killer into our temple due to his misguided compassion. His faith got him murdered. Bill, I beg you, be quiet. Even sinners receive Ilmater's grace, and Father Lorgan knew that. 
We don't pick and choose who we aid. Thank you, stranger. I take some solace knowing that he died in Ilmater's service. Does Ilmater's service involve protecting heretic absolutists? Or perhaps I missed that sermon. Enough, Bill. You seem a kind soul. Our temple is open to you. Walk well. Nothing more against Father Lorcan. I've nothing against Father Lorcan. The crying one weeps today. Our father Logan is dead. Murdered. I... I don't want to talk. My heart is in mourning. The priests will open the temple up again. You will see. They're good people, holy people. Can I please have some food? Oh, sorry. I thought you were a priest. Bet you won't get kicked out of the temple. They blame us for everything. If you're looking for Il Martyr's charity, you're out of luck. They've turned their backs on us, like everyone else. Temple worship suspended until further notice. The faithful endure. Kitchen. Visitors kindly keep to common areas. Food will be served at meal times. Belfry. Bell ringers only past this point.
traps, please. No one stopped me yet. Should mind my step. I I can crack that open. Proceeding. Curious. What lies within? Still breathing, despite everything. Light on my feet. This must be where Shira Klawen is buried. Here lies Reloric Windbane. 1399DR, died 1486DR. Here lies sister Shira Clarwin, date of birth unknown, died 1491DR. Here it is, the tomb of the amulet spirit's granddaughter. Time for a family reunion. <laughs> Shira, her spirit has fled, and her body but merely a husk. <laughs> Swear I did to shed this foul mania and bestow it upon Shira, 
She was to endure, to suffer, as was her god Ilmata's want. Who now shall bear the madness Shah has wrought on me, so I might no longer suffer? Oh, <laughs> shall it be thou? The monk himself holds your answer. Tasha's hideous laughter is a powerful skill, but earning it may come at the cost of wisdom. Thou shalt know the extent of Shah's mania, Tasha's hideous laughter at thine beck and call. But at what cost? Who might say? <laughs> your muscles tingle and your mouth twitches as the laughing madness spreads through you. The madness tugs at your mind, prods in places best left untouched. You feel your wisdom begin to drain. You remain wise as ever, even as Shah's madness spreads outward. You giggle, struck by the absurdity of the moment. A spirit hiding inside an amulet has brought you to the body of his granddaughter and possessed it. Outrageous. Ridiculous. Once again, you feel your wisdom draining away. Hilarious. What is it? to laugh dwindles. Well, you can't help but chuckle. You withstood the monk's madness and earned Tasha's hideous laughter. My friend, forgive me, for this mind was not mine own. May laughter be thy gift, never thy curse. The morning lord calls. Canst thou feel the warmth of his blessing? This is not my final twilight, but a new dawn. Farewell. The corpse is an empty husk once more. The monk, liberated from madness, is finally at peace. He's gone. Well, he was always good for a laugh. Here lies Sotida Atana, born 1411 DR, died 1485 DR. Better not be cursed. Here lies Flintster Sunseeker, born 1400 DR, died 1456 DR.
twice already, Peanut. something to ask. Mum won't let me touch the animals. Bet you don't have to ask your mum to pet a stupid cat. Hey, maybe steer clear of the beasties. One of them is near Rabbit and the other is looking at us like we're supper. Good. While the cage is sturdy, the lock is old. It could be jammed shut, so not even a key could open it. My time comes. I will show you. All of you. Look. See. They grow. They laugh. They shine with innocence. But it is a lie. Every one of you is vicious. Cruel. You kill my mate. Steal my cubs. I roar. Break my cage. And then you die. You all die. Soon. Get too close, or Crimson here might decide you look tasty. It's not pity. Maybe we should go. <laughs> My stomach screams. Press your flesh through bars. And and blood breaks. the dog is my very best friend. Do you know why? Why? Because with him, anything is possible. Way! Can we not find a more pleasant amusement? 
Gouging out our own eyeballs, perhaps? Did you hear about the Scarecrow who lost a fight? Looks like we've got a proper comedian in our midst. Good thing, too. I'll need someone with your wits for my next trick. Now, where are you? The hair on the back of your neck raises as a shiver passes through you. You, my special assistant. Come on up. been practicing day and night for this next trick. What kind of friend would I be if I spoiled his grand finale? A round of applause for the stalwart heart! tell children that they're special, that each and every one of them is unique. Tell me, what makes you special? can do that you my friend are the most special person in the circus in all of Baldur's Gate does anyone know why why you're special my friend because I have a message just for you praise the absolute you sense something behind you instinct takes over I always knew 
Of course. Eager for battle. Let's get going. Don't waste the step.
eager for battle. And these things have stayed interesting. What's in here? Hmm. Onward then. Looking ahead. Can't believe Dribbles did this. The Dribbles. You took those bastards down like it was nothing. It was amazing. I thought you were part of the show at first, but that was real. Seems like a good moment to talk. You. You started that fight. I, I saw it with my own two eyes. You're a monster. Dribbles? He can't be dead. He can't. You fight good. Doppelganger, not so good. <laughs> Do not cause trouble. Killing you would make me unhappy. <laughs> At the ready. He's terrible. The circus is supposed to be a safe place. First performance at least. Missing now of all time. Oh dear. Screaming children and oozing corpse, and it's not even my birthday. I thought the absolute wouldn't dare set foot in my circus. To use such a woeful dribbles impersonator, why it's downright rude. As much as I love a good murder, my customers don't. The real dribbles, charms animals and makes puns. Awful puns, not this. Alas, I cannot afford to lose any more staff. Funerals are so very expensive. I need to move the circus, but I cannot leave just yet. Not without dribbles. He was a star. Customers of every color and creed simply adored him. I need him back, and I'll shower the person who finds him in love, adoration, and adequate compensation. What do you say? Huh. I can respect that. And you're in luck, because I am old, darling. Ancient. I have seen stars explode and civilizations fall. Along the way, I happened across items of such power that would make you weep with awe. Find my dribbles. You won't be disappointed. That's the spirit, darling. And remember, I look after those who make me happy. Hmm? Good luck, and thanks ever so much. The, uh, attack is nothing to worry about. Madame Lucretius has everything under control. Enjoy the circus. Miss Silvertongue says there is nothing to worry about, so there isn't. Carry on. Darling, don't forget that Dragonborn's order. Oh, Mr. Hag. Miss her stink. Huh. Is someone excited to work? Oh, 
Clown Man is dead. Oh well. Want a treat -o? Why? I die, you die, we all die. Big Wolf. Have a treat -o. It'll make it better. Yes! I has lots of stuffs just for you. If it is for the best. My faith protects me. Eager for battle. My wife is heartbroken. Those two would chat from dawn until dusk. Such friends they were. But I'm sure a sizable contribution from an adventurer such as yourself would cheer her up. Akabi is tired of... Enjoy the circus, which will never be the same without dribbles. How could this happen to dribbles, to my home? Can't believe we had to rely on a stranger to save us. No offense. Oh, how could Madame Lucretius let this happen? And what are you doing here? Out! I heard what you did. About dribbles. He is. was. a good egg. Thank you. for making sure no one else got hurt. Blood! in the circus! without Benji! After a job, Neverwinter is on the lookout for adventurers. That's where we're headed. I ain't looking to make friends or enemies. Go bother someone else. If you are in the market for potions, I highly recommend the Velveteen Elixir. I've not been this well stocked since Waterdeep. You look like you need to clean off the road dirt, almost as much as I do. 
No good ends with hot water in a tub on this side of the crossing, though. If you're looking to enter the city, hope your pockets are loaded. Bastards are charging a fortune. Bet you heard Baldur's Gate was safe, right? Well, it's a bloody lie. They've banned refugees from the city as if we're the problem. Pieces of your body will be washing up the Grey Harbor tomorrow. Can I help you? Oh, bloody ribs. Sorry, mate. Had a run in with a mugger. If you need something, ask the missus. Don't wander around Rivington alone, all right? My husband did and got mugged and beaten for his trouble. Do not, under any circumstances, employ sword course couriers. Their service is appalling. Do me a favour. Box my ears in. I can't listen to any more whining about missing letters. Forgive me, but I must attend to my friend. She's most upset about the post. <laughs> Would everyone please stop going on about the Absolute's army? Lord Gortash is going to sort it all out. You'll see. Absolute army is on our doorstep. You want to live? Get out of here before it's too late. Why don't we talk about something else? Did you try that rye bread recipe I gave you? This whole situation stinks. Really? The cult is on our doorstep, and you want to talk about bread? Mummy. Oh, action, not reaction. One true way.
have helped. Infinium! The gods are watching me. everything. Swift as my feet can carry me. That might be worth a look. Blackets will be done. Onward. Can't slow down. Another quick. What's going on? Don't worry. There's something. That will fit in my pack.
give me trouble now. My faith will guide me. Take you. Very well. I can't feel them. Tell the others. Let the boss know. Stone Lord. He'll saw this. He'll get him. You hear the blood gurgle in his struggling lungs. His last ounce of strength is spent. No one back home will ever believe this. Next. Decapitated, but still warm.
Never wanted the easy part. That same ship was at Moonrise Towers, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like those two are about to fight. Nobody messes with the Stone Lord rattling. Nine Fingers sent her love, asshole. Your Stone Lord's a dead man walking. You, help me kill these asses. The girls will sprinkle you with gold. You picked the wrong side, cock. Slice them! Slice them now!
dig good stranger. Someone who tried to slink away rather than get involved. They wouldn't earn the gratitude of the guild. One usually follows the other. Here you go. A new flavor of scum that's been muscling in on our business. Agents of the Stone Lord. He's a newcomer to our delightful underworld. And he doesn't play nice with others. We think the Stone Lord and his cronies are in league with the absolute cultists. This little operation here certainly suggests so. They were shifting something valuable by boat. But that something belongs to the Guild now. Whatever it takes. All's well that ends. Not as bad as could I. The corpse does not respond. Maybe I should. No, this is not the corpse. The corpse has nothing to say. Moving ahead. Enemies still draw breath. Might be useful. If not 
Oklahoma and through. What's hiding here? Blackets will be done. At your command. Never a dull moment. Mm. No one stopped me yet. orders. advancing. So Bell's Chosen is a doppelganger. <sighs> I should not be surprised. They have ever been among his favorite servants. Orin is testing you. Either she thinks herself a predator, playing with her food. Or she fears what you might do. Good. This all begins to ring a little too familiar for my liking. 
Hmm. The last time I fought doppelgangers, the Balspawn Saravok was using them to subvert the city government, aid his rise to power. But Orin is more predator than politician, I think. She simply wants to make us feel hunted, isolated. Tell the Lordling that Orin is watching. It seems that Gortash and Orin have had a little falling out. We should leverage that. You think me lonely? <laughs> in truth, I prefer travel in a small pack such as this. Unburdened by numbers, we're free to act rather than react. A little like the old days. With allies, every bit as peculiar. Give or take a few tadpoles. Would you? In time, then. Perhaps once you found a rocking chair for me to doze off in. That speaks well of your taste. I've heard my share of bad ballads about things I never did. If you have questions, ask. Just don't expect my answers to rhyme. It was Baal alone we faced in our time. And, bad as that was, he had no elder brain for a lapdog then. Help won't come from the history books, or from any old tales I can spin you. This is your story to write. <laughs> there. Have I fulfilled my role as your wise and wizened elder? Don't tell me which. Against all life experience, I will choose to assume the best. Ask it. More than I would like. In my youth, I was a brief and very much unwilling member of a colony's hive mind. I felt the way they think, saw the world as they do. Foul unnatural creatures who find the foulness in us and twist it to their will. But then, who am I speaking to? You have far more experience than I. Do not be moved to pity. It is a predator pinned in a trap. And if it wriggles free, Mm, you'll find it still has teeth. It's not enough. We have a gallery of villains to look out for, but now we could be infiltrated by a shape changer. I can't even tell if any of you are acting strange because you've been replaced or because this group is full of weirdos. Orin's little display was just intended to rattle us. We mustn't let her succeed, but need to stay alert all the same. Then that's where we need to go. My parents are in there somewhere. All's well, I hope, aside from the obvious. Keeping very well, I hope. Look after my angel, of course. She's been through more than I can bear to think about. A hundred years in the Shadowfell. A hundred years being murdered by Sharans over and over. It fills me with a rage I can hardly contain. She's a formidable woman, my Aelin. But no one could escape such horrors unscathed. She's in my hands now, and I intend to help her through whatever's to come. 
We'll both of us stand by you when the time comes to put down the horror that threatens this city. We are your allies for life. I mourn the man I knew. He was wonderful. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Saruna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. This was different. It was like I could see my fate in her eyes. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how, why, but all was black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face. So changed. So hideously warped. He told me we'd be together now. Said Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak. Could only run. I found last light within the shadows. Made a shelter there. Prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. That my father was the source of the horrors that plagued my home. He's gone now. But I suppose the man I knew died when I died. The man he became... That wasn't the father I knew. The one I loved so very much. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most welcome. I am free from my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. You must face them. I will help. A private word would be nice. While she lives, Orin will continue to terrorize us, and soon she will make good on her threats. She thinks we are weak. Afraid. Vulnerable. We need to prove her wrong. I am not on edge. I am alert, as you should be too. Orin could be anywhere. Could be anyone. We need to watch over each other, now more than ever. Orin toys with us where she could destroy us. Whatever her motivations, I hope she reveals them quickly. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Oh. I'm just a cat. P -p please talk to Yenna. Why are you so nosy? N nothing good, I don't think. She was so very sick. M maybe she made like cats and went off to, to spend a last life. 
Hyena is my best friend. She's kind. Help her, not me. Please don't. Um, hi. It's me, Yena. You remember me, right? You were really nice to me before, and, um, my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? What harm? She's little, won't take up much space, or make much of a dent in our provisions. the shadows she hides in tear off her mask and you'd reveal her for what she is a shivering child I brought my own paring knife now I just need some ingredients and I'm going to make something really good, I promise. Let's have a look. Watching gods, but I never thought I would be happy to see this city again, <laughs> much less to smell it. The Harper safe house I spoke of is on the bridge at Worms Crossing, Danthelon's dancing axe. Information. The Chosen have a head start on us. We'd like to know what they've done with it. As you wish. Moving ahead. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood.
No one back home will ever believe this. The work is never done. Lead the way. Something we can use? Nature's servant awaits. Sir, yes, sir. 
Let's get going. We need to find a way forward. at last. We should find Charesse's caress. Voss will be waiting. Looking ahead. Sharper one than Dover. He spends too much time with his prey. He's going to get us caught. Dolo is an artist. You do well to think on that. My path be true. Nothing important is ever easy.
death greets us all. But not today. to rest. Call and I answer. Let's move. What path lies before me? Someone was arranging these corpses. What for? Whatever it takes. Indolence breeds madness. A whole torso clad in bloodied clown garb. Dribbles, of course. I think these were the people Father Lorgan was trying to help. He might have tried helping a little harder based on the evidence.
shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times, should mind my step. May pain be forgotten. No one stopped me yet. How much farther can I go? Indolence breeds madness. everything. Best be on my way. Wish I had a bag of holding. Well, certainly waiting. Wits and blades always sharp. Take your humor. And these things have stayed interesting. Uh, if not over, then through. Objective noted. Have a lot on my mind. And, um, well, eat it. Slow down. Here we go. Madness.
this does. Waiting. I crave blood. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Always room for more. On my way. safe in the gate. I heard the stories. Well, all you want. We've got enough mouths to feed. We don't need your kind. Our... Our kind? Refugees. Outsiders. Enough, Ketzer. Sir, you need to stay clear. Should speak. This is front page material. Ah, are you trying to get into the city? Got a minute to tell me about your experience at the gate today? I'm Lens, roving reporter for the Boulder's Mouth Gazette. My editor sent me to cover the drama out here at the gate. He wants some fluff piece about the heroic steel watch keeping the mob at bay, whether or not that's the truth or not. We are, and I am. It's my editor who seems to have forgotten. Mr. Needle's gotten pally with that Lord Gortash. Suddenly can't sing his praises highly enough. Seems like everything we write needs Gortash's approval. Can't recognize my own work by the time they're done editing. Doesn't it just... Of course, we're off the record and this conversation never happened. Now, if you don't mind, I've got some edits to make. There must be something... Sorry, can't talk. I'm on a deadline. Eager for battle. Ah, 
Got a minute to tell me about your experience at the gate today? There was a skirmish a few days back. A band of absolutists came close to entering the city. People started panicking, so the gate got closed. My editor at the Boulder's Mouth Gazette sent me down to get a first-hand account of the chaos. He wants some fluff piece about the heroic steel watch keeping the mob at bay, whether or not that's the truth or not. That the refugees here are desperate, hungry, scared people. They're no mob. They just want to be safe. I've heard the rumors. Absolutists marching from Moonrise Towers. Whole towns felled by strange curses. It's no wonder they ran. Of course, I can't write any of that. My editor only releases stories his friend Lord Gortash approves of. And he's very selective. At the Gazette's print house. Though it's in the lower city, so you'll need to get past the gates first. Come to think of it, you remind me of someone he was writing a piece about. You, uh, might want to speak to him about that. Set the record straight before the ink is dry, so to speak. Now, if you don't mind, I've got some edits to make. What to do? Swift as my feet can carry me. Digging here. <clears throat> Nothing interesting buried here. Nothing interesting buried here. The boss is expecting you. Hasn't forgotten what you did for him at Moonrise. Look, unless you're an expert in steel watcher gyroscopics, please get out of my life. I want my clan facing down one of those walking death machines with cutlery? Then leave me to my work. Only if you're quick. Assume nothing. Now let me get back to it. It stopped, but it'll happen again. It keeps happening. The shivering, shaking, quaking. Don't you feel it? underneath the city, inside the rock. But when I ask the stone why it shakes, it only screams. I want to go home. You're here. Good luck. This damn city's more treacherous than the Underdark.
It's up for discussion. Ah, there you are. Good. We need to strategize. Wolbrin is planning something. Uh, lots of moving parts. Uh, I'm still trying to suss the details myself. I am. I knew him rash, but this is... unspeakable. Speak to him. Help him see sense. Someone has to. Good to see you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Regretting it yet? I spent a lot of time thinking of worst-case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at Moonrise. I didn't imagine anything as bad as this. The Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. And the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant. Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers, and you, I hope. As long as our objective is the same, the reason doesn't matter to me. We have a common enemy. But neither of us gets what we want until we deal with our biggest obstacle. The Steel Watch, they're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized, servants of the people, but they only serve one man. When he becomes Grand Duke, it will only get worse. Laws will change, freedoms will vanish, and soon you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime. And the fucking Gondians are to blame for all of it. They invented the Steel Watchers, and they're building an army of them. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. They would have licked Saravok's boots, given the chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while this city screams. I had a plan to put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the Watchers are on us like flies on shit. Same as it always is. Eliminate the threat. In this case, the foundry where these atrocities are produced. The Gondians are ingenious, but we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. I've built something unique for just that purpose. A room powder bomb. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility, and boom. Problem solved. Wolbrin, please. This is too far. Everyone in the foundry would be killed. Quiet, Barkus. The adults are talking. It's liberation. The Gondians picked their side the minute they took orders from Gortash. If they had any courage, they'd have refused him and died like heroes, spitting in his face. Now they'll die like the dogs they are. That's what I've been saying. There may yet be a peaceful solution. Fine. You want to try flapping your gums in the belly of the beast? Be my guest. But their idea of diplomacy is a steel fist shoved where the sun don't shine. So take the bomb. Just in case I'm right, 
and you're wrong. As long as you see sense, I don't care when you see it. The foundry is in the lower city, down by the docks. Beautiful building, belching smoke into the sky day and night. Getting inside won't be easy, but when you do, place the bomb at the heart of the facility. Get yourself back to street level. The streets will be clear of watchers in no time. Careful! Lots of open flames down here. I don't want that bomb close to any of them. What is it? Yes. I wouldn't have asked you if it wasn't, friend. A rune powder bomb? Huh. What the devil has he become? You'll hear no argument on that score. But using rune powder on the Gondians? They are inventors, just like us. Persnickety and self-important, too. But we all have our moments. Something is wrong. Very wrong. Please, speak to them before you do anything. They deserve a chance to plead their case before being blown to pieces, don't you think? That's all I ask. Questions first, violence later. And only if absolutely necessary. Locked. But there's no keyhole. Must be a switch or something nearby. Back again. Want a dagger or a bow? Need more arrows? Um, need a spear? Yep. That's me. Oh, uh, all right. Yes, I just got to find a way to bother him. Huh. Without actually bothering him. He doesn't like to be disturbed when he's in the zone, see? Is there anything else I can do for you?
Want more? Want less? Want to sell? Want to buy? You know where I am. Bye! What do you remember? Eye color, hairstyle, accent, anything. What's the rush, Zog? Let the kid come. He wants to teach them refugees a lesson, right? Right! Boulder's Gate is for Boulder! Why were these particular red caps came? Hello again, my vicious little warrior. Any luck finding dribbles? Even better! Corpses are wonderful employees. They aren't picky about things like working from home or eating. I'd hurry if I were you. In this heat, things tend to go right rather quickly, if you catch my meaning. Traps, please. This blade's wicked look matches its deeds. Poor Father Logan. These boots have seen everything. children in. They've had nothing but scraps for days. Marking. 
Ha! This creature is something to Gale. I want to have a word. Um... Yeah! You notice the Tresum guards a shiny ring and stack of letters at its feet. Kitty? How vulgar. You can call me... Actually, it's better if you don't call me at all. That'll be all, thank you. That's for me to know, isn't it? Ugh. Take it! Curse this bleeding heart of mine, but use it well, you hear? What of them? I don't dirty my paws for anything less than pheasant, I'll have you know. hasten your departure I ate the pigeons are you satisfied I prevaricated before pigeon is my second most favorite meat beholder but it's exceedingly rare to come by. Uh, but let's not get bogged down in semantics. I believe you were just leaving, weren't you? Ta! of not having to make any further conversation with you. I concede. I'll be on my way then. There are a few places in the city I'd like to visit. I might have sussed some interesting items I'd rather like to get my paws upon. If I find anything interesting, I might even be willing to barter. Might. ta -ra. Away. Nothing against Father Lewis. What do you remember? Eye color, hairstyle, accent, anything. We have the duty. Bet you want to know all about Stelmain's murder? Hottest topic in Rivington. Apart from the March of the Absolute's Army, I suppose. 
got today's edition of the Boulder's Mouth Gazette right here. You want one? Oh, that's all anyone ever wants to read about. I don't see what all the fuss is about. The Absolute isn't even a real name. It's great for sales. You want one or not? Excellent. You enjoy that one, all right? It's really gory. up for discussion. Take it somewhere else. My hands are full. Please, my son. He's only a boy. You must understand. Damned outsiders. Swarm in the place. Lord Gortash, refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? Then you don't need to be in the city. Next! No refugees. It is decreed. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? Right. Article 30.1.5 of the Council's decree on extraordinary wartime measures. I am confiscating that. The city thanks you for your contribution. Your name? I'm doing the questioning here. Last time. Name? Well met, citizen Fluffington. Your parasite stirs. From the construct, you feel connection, resonance. I am a steel watcher, citizen, here to serve the people of Baldur's Gate in the name of Lord Enver Gortash. State your business. I'm a herbalist, my trade surfaced. My assistants and I were out collecting blooms for that rub rot going around. Oof, nasty business. Contagious. Uh-huh. Eyes open, body still. The Watcher will communicate with our new intelligence directorate. They'll determine if you're a threat to the city. Upstanding citizens have no reason to fear. And you are an upstanding citizen, aren't you? Watcher's gaze of presence awakens. You are seen. You are known. Your party's prior transgressions are reflected in its stare, as witnessed by the cult's ever alert, scrying eyes. It has seen the deep shadows of Grimforge, and the stone floors left bloodied. It knows the cold walls of Moonrise Towers, 
and the cultists who fell there. The Watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. You are marked for special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the Absolute. Come quietly, or die. Please comply now, citizen. I will interpret any further hesitation as resistance. Eat this, you pile of junk! Villains, take heed. God damn it all! Recovery Find is imminent. Little bastards, or I'll have your head! Also has rooms. You're not staying in a brothel. Listen, it's got private rooms, music, and all-round pleasant folks, from what I've heard. And if a patron confuses me for a member of staff, I'd probably break his nose. Good boy. Mrs. and I have been dreaming about the city. No more sleeping rough. Didn't expect to find it locked down tighter than a watcher's fist. Looking for lodgings? Don't bother. All the decent places are gone. Damned coronation. Bloody gnomes. We need to find where they burrowed themselves up. You! You an adventurer? Looking to pad your purse? Find their foxhole. Bring me their chief's head. The fist will reward you well. You'll change your mind once they kill innocent citizens. The only language they'll understand is that of intimidating violence. I agree. But we can't leave our posts. Not with all the patriarchs meeting in Worms Rock for the coronation. You have the right look. Solid bones. Steady face. The kind that cleans up vermin for pay. <laughs> then you're no friend of the fist. No matter. I'll find someone else. Most folks around here will do almost anything. You pay them enough. As well, but it's not as bad as it could have. I'm the rest of God's are watching me. I'm 
I won't let anything happen to you. Look at you. You're exhausted. You've been running all night to keep watch. I know you have. This unit is This unit is Honestly, Which means we're getting a real room. Greetings. Caress's caress also has ropes. You deserve to cut loose. In a brothel. Listen, it's got five rooms, music, and all round pleasant folks. That's a friendly looking shadow. We have time. should speak up what do you reckon lad you trust these steel watcher thingamy jigs oi oh, i'll second that it's all right where well, we can get work repairing them but what happens when they build something else to do that ah, it's no good i tell you Spawn turned into this. You didn't know they could do that. Everyone is curious. Maybe the darkest would be more. Why does one crossing have so few options? Curious is correct. These tunnels were full of shapeshifters. Father Lorgan's name is written here too.
before me. Blood near the bed. some blood has pooled on the wooden floor. You notice the blood's source, a body hidden under the bed. identical to the one held by that corpse in the tunnels. Eager for battle. Securing. Proceeding. Let's have a look. this. The corpse regards you lifelessly. him enough as a child or too much You can ask no more questions. Wherever we go, ye gods, let there be something green. Now, what do you reckon, lass? You trust these steel watcher thingy jigs?
One day I'll catch a break. to the wise give that ill mate to temple a wide berth rude buggers certainly not bringing my trade there again does that excuse being rude excluding folk come off it they wouldn't let me in spouted some tripe about my sort and absolutist murderers. I only wanted to sit down a minute. So did I. Let me show you. doing business this place is real shabby but at least folk don't look at you funny in here need anything so good so give me three days and oh I apologies thought you were someone else uh, greetings, so forth, so on. The landlord, Sir Frego Antuna. A, a most generous soul, I assure you. Dolor. Weird fella. He'd come and go, quiet as a bug's breath. Never here when his mum needed him. Always here when she didn't. Oh dear, a dwarf, you say? Feel, one of Mamselle's girls from Charesse's caress. Been gone for a ten day. Smiled as wide as the wide, but twice as sunny. You don't suppose the murderer? Oh, goodness no. It's too horrible to imagine. Horrible hells, I better lay low. Lower than low, under low. Seems like a good moment to talk. Blooming hell, you look famished. I've got some victuals that'll warm you right up. Murdered? Oh, dearie me. I want to think. Her remains were just a whisper away. 
Make sure Mamzelle knows. Cross the way at the caress. Yeah, God, she'll be right unsettled. I'm staying put, mind. If a killer wanted me dead, I'd already be crammed under the boards. Have a skeg at these. Should do ya. I'd probably break his nose. Good boy. Bloody ages we spent hiking from Murren, and they won't let us in the city proper. Bollocks. We're adventurous, damn it. You're damn right. I can't believe they wouldn't let us in. The bridge guard chatted some shite about a coronation. Couldn't really make head nor tail of it. My eye. There's not even any god's damn dragons round here to slay. Bet they let us in then. Come to Baldur's Gate, he said. Adventurers get welcomed as heroes, he said. Poxy Drim. And his bleeding notions. I won't let anything happen to you. Look at you. You're exhausted. You've been pulling all nighters to keep watch. I know you have. Which means we're getting a real room to cut loose. You bought your head recently. Didn't you spot them by the gate? Big metal bastards, even bigger swords. It's all right, well, we can get work repairing them, but what happens when they build something else to do that? Ah, uh, it's no good, I tell you. Serious, careful. Listen, it's gone. And all round pleasant folks, from what I know. Confuses me for Moving a member in. of Stone. I'd probably break his nose. Good play. We're not queuing for Shares's caress. Not yet, anyway. Head on in. Why are some people so strange about Shares's caress? It's just sex. People are just walking into Shares's caress like it was any old business. No disrespect to you, of course, if you're a patron. fish caught this morning. What'll it be? someone whose soul needs feeding. Care to buy some art? Do what 
must be done. Do come again. Everything you praise. I want to give it another drow for my feasting eyes. In darkness bred, yet no less delicious for it. Elegant, decadent, and oh so dangerous. I know your bliss. A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, you receive, or have I misjudged you? Tell a story, sweeting. You crave more than pleasure. You crave penance. It's fee on you seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. Wishing. I'm no fortune teller. If I had a crystal ball, I promise I'd already have consulted it. Truth is, Fionn's gone well missing, and my hands may be skillful, but they were not made to turn every last stone she might be hiding behind. To service is my calling, not to be served. Ugh, but I'd be a fool to say no. The girl kept my coffers near overflowing. Two flights up, then turn right and right again. That's Fionn's pleasure room, Elminster's library. Here, take the key. I'm listening. Twins, yes. Hands of such skill they could turn stone to silk. Your body could suffer no knot they can't untangle. They're through the curtain to the right. You'll need coin and stamina in abundance to enjoy their services, but the gold will be as well spent as you are. By the mother of cats, I pray she didn't suffer. They'll miss that face. Else, the regulars will miss her more. They swarmed her like honeybees at the hive. Oh. Losing Fionn slashed a big hole in my coin purse. I should get to replacing her. I have little coin, but I offer sin in abundance. Talk with the drow twins in the tap room. They're legends among the regulars, almost myths. Tell them they will gift from the mamzelle, and let them show you why. Anything else on your mind, sweetie? Nisha, our lovely nymph. But she's engaged in the nymph's grotto on the top floor, sweeting. The client's a favorite of hers, too. I doubt you'll be able to tear her away. 
but we are blessed to have a devil in residence at the moment, a temporary guest. But he asked that I send any potential clients his way. Everyone who's paid a visit looks quite changed by the experience. Indeed he did. Raphael, exceedingly handsome and with a voice that could make the foulest blasphemy seem the sweetest hymn. You have the key to my own. I put it on especially for you. Don't take it off later. You're looking parched, sweetheart. Another tankard? Well, darling, another sip and I'm like to spill over. But like other anchoring for spicier flavours. How about you give me a taste? Right as falling rain. What's it to you, chuffer? Don't worry your pretty head about the fist, love. I can play them all like a lute. to go baying for blood. See you around, doll. Keep that fire stoked for me. Damn it all, that guy's loaded. You just chased off a full coffer of tips. But I've still got one tip left, just for you. Don't stand between a gal and her gold mine. Listen, sweetheart, I'm sure you meant well. You want to help? Open your coin purse. Start with hoots if your whistle needs wetting. You want extra attention? Try Mamzella Mira. Russell Dirinia's feathers, eh? Well, no harm done. A moneymaker catches more fists than a frog catches flies. Caress, caress. The mamzelle's brainchild. Wet your tongue, soak your skin, scratch your itch. Get the attention you want and avoid the attention you don't. My business is slinging tankards, not hoarding secrets. I'd like to keep it that way. Don't know about that, chum. Hoots Hooch packs a stronger wallop than all ten of my knuckles. Could beef you up, sharpen your tongue, or knock you out cold. No telling till the first drop hits your gullet. Damn! The man knows what he wants. First one's on the house. So, don't come bawling to me if your big toes fall off or your tongue coils in a knot. Have a look. All set, are you? The two men bark softly to each other. A single mane reaches your ears. Nine fingers.
You rats with the guild now. Heard nine fingers met a match. The new kingpin? All meat and muscle, that one. And wild as a werebear. If he's looking to house nine fingers, my blade's got his back. Sounds messy as the ninth hell. Must be why she called us to help. Is that right? The way I heard it, you Zent cut a deal with the new... Hold on. You there! Getting up in our affairs! Look, this subject's not safe. You selling your services, beat feet to the Guild Hall. Lower City, Basilisk Gate, Guild Hall. And that's all you're getting from me. Now, Scram! The chat's officially closed. You want entertainment? Try the circus! Not looking for more company. Smith was paying me to use the clamping vice. My, my. I can tell you are a special one from a single glance. You have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. Don't be shy. I used to work as a courtesan back home, and my sister as an artisanal masseuse. But men are treated like dogs by the Underdark's matriarchs, so we fled. We found surfaces crave the body of a drow like a drug. Life is easy in our line of work. Life is prosperous. I'm much happier kissing the many lips of the surface than tending a field or manning a shop. I'd have to restrain myself far more than any play bindings do if I worked in another field. This is a place where I can be myself boundlessly. There are so many who come to me speaking of a fixation that no one else has ever been able to share with them, and never will again. A once-in-a-lifetime moment of passion. Every day. What could be better? Don't you want to try it? Trust me. You don't want to miss my signature Mezoberanzan love trick. Mezoberanzan love magic. A formidable practice, usually only reserved for pleasing the most insatiable matriarchs in the city of spiders. And is that your partner with you? What a gorgeous couple. Perhaps we could come to an agreement.
darling, we are not fooling anyone. Unless you pay me to make a fool of you. You'll just have to see what is in store. We are twins. We can make up a little show of kissing each other, but when we are hired at the same time, there are often many other clients in the room to attend to. <laughs> we want both of you, silly, at the same time. I do not share what is mine. And I will not be shared. Good. The pangs of worry are cast often over Madame and Myra nowadays. You can stare as much as you like. Remember our vow to keep one another safe. And all round when the music stops. Enjoy the fiddling. Throw a few coins our way and let us play on into the night. in the library at all times. Swift as my feet can carry me. I'll take that.
even if you had it. Walk in the night. Assume nothing. Found and taken. Haste. And these things have stayed interesting. We need to find a way forward. Good. I can see you taking charge of your pleasurable destiny. Another case closed, another bottle open. Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> Hang on a sec. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I'll bet she's put you up to something. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? <sighs> I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine. If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? My assistant. She's posted in the Lower City investigating Duke Stelmane's murder. Now, back to it. What have you found? While that is startling, it still doesn't disprove my theory that Brilgore killed Father Lorgan, does it? That's what you need if you want to change my mind. Hard evidence. A reason, too, if you're at it. Why was Lorgan killed? <gasps> you're telling me more than one person has been killed? In Baldur's Gate? You must have something better than that. I need hard evidence and a motive. Why would someone else kill Lorgan? How can we be sure it wasn't Brilgore?
That's quite the discovery. Doesn't tell me everything, though. Why was Logan killed? Really? You as well? Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy cods wallop and fear-mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. Oh, <sighs> fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? Well, that's just insulting. I am an investigator, you know. But I'm off the clock. And this is Devella's pet project. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list, and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. Well? What are you waiting for? You've a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move! Your pleasure is mine, sweeting. Come to pay your respects to the real lady of the house, I see. What a clever creature you are. It's your lucky day. I am receiving compliments at this time, and you are most welcome to make an offering. Good things come to those who are forthcoming, but only if they make it count. You are quite correct. I consider them one of my finest features. The unwashed rabble who frequent this establishment have much to learn from your deference. And I must suffer their foibles alone. But they do say a burden shared is a burden halved. That's rather a broad topic. We get all sorts here. But there is one frequent visitor whose very presence offends me. He dresses fabulously, but stinks of the hells. Something infernal, to be sure. Abhorrent. Can't you hear from here? They're talking about the new top cat in the criminal underbelly. Go and listen for yourself. As for them personally, one never washes and instead douses himself with rose oil, while the other can't hold his drink. The Drow, two of our most popular courtesans, a night with them seems to be rather life-changing, if you can afford it. Of course, they are siblings, but judging from the throngs of clients they draw, 
Most of the city is as disgusting as they are. Couldn't get us off your mind, could you? <laughs> Silly. We are the gift. One free ride with me or my brother. Or perhaps you have greater ambitions yet. Ah. You're lucky, sister. Bah, you would break our bond for the sake of laying this... this islak. I'll be a little treat for you, then. This way. We have a room upstairs over yonder side. You didn't sign a treaty permitting you to march a warband through my lands. You paid for sex. I know he can be set free. Is full. Oh, One true way. What to do? If you had any bargaining. You came. I'm so pleased. You can never tell who's going to get cold feet. So, now that you're here, what next? Of course. Perhaps there is something you want to tell me that you can't talk to anyone else about. It won't go beyond this room. I probably cannot help, but maybe it will comfort you if there is someone to listen. Catharsis falls over you as you pour out your heart for hours. That was wonderful. Perhaps you'll enjoy a drink in the bar before you brave the streets again. <sighs> Even in the best of times, it's an oasis of pleasure and calm. In the city's chaos, with Baldur's Gate preparing for war, the caress feels like the final flicker of a beautiful flame. Before darkness falls.
If you had any bargaining chips, they were all rather floated off into the astral plane. <laughs> Let's have a look. Is there anything? Moving ahead. How can I assist? Physical? It's a state mind. That doesn't make any sense. Another step forward. across the north skies. You are the golden dunes swept across the Kalim. You are the fruit of the forbidden palm, soft on my skin, sweet on my tongue. You are my sin and salvation. Your parasite stirs, and you gaze at the nymph through the flaming fist's hungry eyes. Your muscles shiver with her longing. Your skin burns with her heat. What's... What's wrong, Jara? What are you? Wait. I know you. I don't understand. What? Your face. The Absolute has shown me. Jara, what's going on? Who's this man? <laughs> Your head screams in agony. The change has come. Pustules boiling beneath your skin, your bones twisting, your flesh rupturing. to surrender.
this straight path. Swift and lethal. Make way. I've heard tales of mind flayers, talons sharp as daggers, and tentacles yet more fearsome. But no tail did justice to its ethereal beauty. It floats like a butterfly. Its blood shimmers like silver. How could I help it? I don't regret its death. But I marvel that such a work of art could ever live. Her gaze intensifies. Your breath quickens and your heart skips a beat. As am I. My thanks are as bountiful as your courage. Take these. May you have some comfort in bitter times. Be well. Be beautiful. One moment, forever emblazoned on my memories. I won't soon forget it. Action, not reaction. Hells, I'd heard tales of mind flayers, but no tale did justice to its ethereal beauty. It floats like a butterfly. Its blood shimmers like silver. Who? Oh, yes. Jara. I will miss her coin, it's true. Though perhaps this is not what you meant. Free your mind of her. Let us look forward, never back. Her gaze intensifies. Your breath quickens and your heart skips a beat. The woman's senses are heightened and her fire stoked. The Mind Flayer is no mere curiosity, but an object of desire. Desire is instinct, to both mortal and immortal. It's no more disgusting than the mulberry fresh on its bush. But perhaps there are other flavors that might satisfy my palate. <laughs> I offer something rarer than coin. Rapture. Close your eyes and listen. You see only darkness. Her voice shines through it, warmer than the sun, yet cooler than night. The all-being. Here, there is no suffering. Here, you want for nothing. Here, you are anything. You have one word. Tell me, what will you be?
You are more than revered. You are worshipped. An epic sung by the bards. A legend known to the scholars. A god among mortals. When the hosts of the plains raise their voices in harmony, it is your name they sing, and your grace they seek. Your flesh shivers, your heart bursts. True ecstasy for one fleeting moment. Open your eyes. I'll remember you, and you'll remember me. I'm afraid I'm not taking new clients. Work to be done. I'm afraid I'm not taking... Let's get going. If you seek rapture, find it elsewhere. I can show you but once. Inhans breeds madness. If you seek rapture, find it elsewhere. I'm alive, so that's progress. Huh, I'll give it a shot. How much farther can I go? Gortash is being named Archduke. Time to pay Worms Rock a visit. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Tales of mind flayers, talons sharp as daggers, and tentacles yet more fearsome. But no tale did justice to its ethereal beauty. It floats like a butterfly. Its blood shimmers like silver. Who? Oh, yes, Jara. I will miss her coin, it's true. Though perhaps this is not what you meant. Free your mind of her. Let us look forward, never back. Her gaze intensifies. Your breath quickens and your heart skips a beat. The woman's senses are heightened and her fire stoked. The mind flare is no mere curiosity, but an object of desire. Why should I deny it? My urge is as natural as the grape upon the vine. But perhaps there are other flavors that might satisfy my palate. <laughs> Not sex. Something far more intoxicating. Rapture. Close your eyes. And listen. Free your mind. You see only darkness. Her voice shines through it, warmer than the sun, yet cooler than night. The all-being, 
Here, there is no suffering. Here, you want for nothing. Here, you are anything. You have one word. Tell me, what will you be? You are whole, within and without, free from expectation and the crushing burden of solitude. You are the entirety of you. Every path outward leads to adventures yet unknown. Every path inward leads to dreams eternally fulfilled. Your flesh shivers, your heart bursts. True ecstasy for one fleeting moment. Open your eyes. I'll remember you, and you'll remember me. Is it not in the Olyphid's barbarity that we find its splendor? Your eyes are no less monstrous, I assure you. A lesser woman might be frightened, but I am no lesser woman. You are more than contented. You are at total peace. Your belly is full, your mind rested, your eyes bright. No more will you hear the clang of steel on steel. No more will you fear the cry of a wolf. The growl of an ogre. You are warm. You are safe. You are more than powerful. An emperor to emperors. Your head adorned with a crown of gold, diamond and ruby. The heavens tremble with the steps of your army. All beasts. All men and women, all creatures of the plains, bow to your might. You are more than rich. You are the picture of luxury. Your nakedness cloaked in the robes of thrice-combed silk, woven with silver and golden threads. Thirteen castles, each encircled by thirteen fertile gardens. Platinum coins spill forth from thirteen and thirty coffers. Your flesh shivers, your heart bursts. True ecstasy for one fleeting moment. At the ready. Its closest sword, Devil. You must hear me, Devil. I will do whatever it takes, give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it, and you never will. The Kithrak? What deal would he make with this Devil? You must help me, Raphael, for the sake of my people. Hush now, boss. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Lazel, Talak Magir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. I'm glad you came. 
Not to my door. Not yet. But to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. <laughs> Wouldn't that be exquisite? But no. I'm afraid the tadpole is still there. But I did shut out your other visitor for a while, so we can enjoy some privacy. The illithid can't hear us. Oh, come, it's the reason you're in this predicament. And I'm your only way out of it. Indulge me, and at least hear me out. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far. But no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. Very perceptive. Yes. I can give you the means to break him free. Speak, devil. We're listening. The Orphic Hammer, an artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus, is held securely in my House of Hope, even now. Good and truth rarely go hand in hand, but in this case, they are happy bedfellows, and we can be too. I swear to you, I have the solution to your problem. Isn't it just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. You really do think highly of yourself. My sights are set on something much more valuable than your soul. <laughs> Succulent, though it would be. I want the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. And you, Lazel of Kalir, want to free the Forgotten Prince, do you not? I want nothing more. Then, it is settled, is it not? A crown for a hammer. A bargain of a lifetime, Lazel of Kilir. I have craved it ever since the Archwizard Casas created it long centuries ago. 
and brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity, and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky, like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. <laughs> it was not a happy meeting. And Carsus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Carsus' folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world and the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils, and that I could use that crown to unite the Nine under one Archdevil Supreme, me. No mortal, and I do not fail. The arch devil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged. But only for a decade or so. Then I waited, ever watching for more than a thousand years for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these chosen, who have caused you so much trouble accidentally, did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. Yes, it does. Especially when I see what a bloody mess they've made of their whole scheme. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive, I must admit. But they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> but it seems rather angry. It is inevitable. When you destroy the Brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael Steele and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. He claims his ambition is to unite the hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? Squaw! We should do as the devil asks. The Prince of the Comet must rise again. Ha <laughs> ha!
Oh, I'm, I, I'm sorry, you were serious? The crown has laid low all who attempt to harness its power. Archwizards, emperors, gods. It would tear you apart. How short-sighted. Much better to put it into the right hands. Hands that will ensure it is removed from this world. And it's the only way you can ensure that you remain part of this world. Right here. You'll find everything is in order. The moment I have your signature, you will have the means to free Orpheus. The hammer. You guarantee the crown will be mine once the brain is defeated, and I swear that I will never use the crown to dominate a mortal. I will come to collect. If you refuse to give me the crown, I collect your souls instead. And then we all gather in the House of Hope. Me dressed in my finest silks. You, skinless, hanging from a hook to watch as your world dies. I won't stop you, but time is running out, so don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here, waiting, right up to the moment the world ends. to loosing the Prince of the Comet was within our grasp, and you refused it. Why? Chuk. I wanted to follow the open valley, the easy way out. You chose the bramble path. I'm annoyed by it. And... I admire you for it. We must speak with Voss. Then we find our way to Raphael's House of Hope. We'll take the Orphic Hammer and use it to smash the true heir's bonds. Yisk Githgar Chafki crash it. The Githyanki will be free. Den. Assume nothing. Securing.
I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Raphael? Well, thank you for your honesty. Of course, I should have known the devil would come sniffing. The stench of impending chaos is irresistible to them. And what did he want with you? How very gumptious of him. What were the terms of this deal? Tell me, you turned him down. Good. I am glad. But be careful. The devil is like a cockroach. No matter what you do to it, it will always come back. I doubt this will be the last time you are approached. I trust that you will continue to remember who is really on your side. Without my protection, you cannot defeat the Elder Brain. You cannot even get close to it, no matter what the devil whispers in your ear. Friend to the Comet. Lazel of Kalir, warrior of warriors. Tell me you took the Devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. I did not come this far for you to turn your back on the First Mother's son. Githcards have Kim crashed. You put your trust in me, Voss. I plan to honor it. Yes, and it seems I have no choice but to trust. There is but one prism, and you are its key. Find a way to retrieve the hammer and free Orpheus from the prism. I will assemble his remaining honor guard and plan our next actions. Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against the Geich. Iztik, I will wait in the underground. Seek me when you have the hammer in hand. The Prince of the Comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason, I promise you. A devil of Raphael's stature does not simply make camp on the shores of the Styx. 
He will have made a sanctuary for himself, a lavish one too, one that caters to his many vices. The House of Hope. We must find a way in. The House of Hope, you say? I couldn't ask for a name more fitting. Every house has an entrance, Istik. Even those in the Hells. You must find it. You are wasting your time. And mine. Our true enemy is the Elder Brain. Focus your mind there. burns stronger than a pit fiend's fist. I'll take that as a compliment. Take it however you want. But I'll be having my usual from now on. Boy! You must have slipped by me earlier. Raphael's very disappointed you turned him down. You won't come out of this alive without him. The boss might be a devil, but he'll treat you more honestly than anyone else in the city. Plenty. But right now, I have one job. You. I'm talking to you openly, mortal to mortal. And I'm begging you to sign the contract. If the brain wins, the Illithid Empire returns, and worlds you've never even dreamed of will die. Raphael can stop it. He wants to. And he knows how. You're the key. You always have been. He's a devil. It's his nature. He needs to get his due. I won't pretend he's an altruist, but he's looked at the balance sheet. No world, no souls. And it's hard to get leverage on an illithid. They make terrible clients. I doubt it. But even if you do, you won't survive the fight. I'd reconsider if I were you. Never wanted the easy parts. Welcome to Sword Coast Couriers. To send and to serve. Delivery not guaranteed. Well, we've had to change the policy. Hard to send letters by road when there's a rampage and army of fanatics bearing down on you. I'll tell you, it's left me in a right pickle. 
I've sent what I can by pigeon, but now something's attacking them and all. Become a postmaster, Danzo. It'll be easy. Nobody mentions having to spend your evenings hunting for pigeon carcasses, do they? You sense there's more to his anxiety than a few missing letters. You... you read it. Technically, that's interfering with someone else's property. I should report you to the nearest manip. Tell you what. Give it here and we'll say no more about it. I'll give you a nice little bonus as well. A, a finder's fee. What do you say? Fine. Just give me the letter. Forget you saw anything. This never happened. Go on. Bugger off. I, I have a business to run, in case you hadn't noticed. Name and rank, quickly now, there's a war on. That is, that is. I am Commander Lightfeather, leader of the finest aerial communication regiment this side of the Chionfa. State your purpose, ground walker. I don't have all day. Because we deliver communications across dangerous enemy territory with only our superior wits and aerial agility to protect us. Uh, even our skills have their limits. We've lost several experienced flyers recently. Uh, they knew the risks, but still... Damn shame. Intelligence is in short supply, but... We know our enemies flanked us on the west side, not one rooftop away. They're avoiding the whole area. I won't lose one more beak to the blighter. Was a vile business, but we fight on, we must deliver. Your reconnaissance is appreciated. This information will be vital in deciding our new strategy. Dismissed! You have my thanks. Your service will not be forgotten. <laughs> A little wet under the wing for our unit. The commander will soon straighten you out. I've no need of a wing man. Commander Lightfeather will give you your briefing. Pigeons are very sensitive. They can't fly straight if they're disturbed.
go. That will make a great headline. Flies before me. I get to train the dogs again, Miss Mahia? When you prove yourself not to be an incompetent idiot. Ah, I see. Um, maybe next ten day then. Uh, hi. Yeah, I'm caring for the courier dogs. Mahia's my boss. She's mean, but Dad says she'll toughen me up. Well, that's why I need to work hard in the kennels every day, to get tough. Dringo, get back to work. And you, what do you want? This is a private yard. They're not for sale. These are courier dogs, trained to follow orders, read maps, and protect their deliveries with their lives. 
They're worth more than their weight in gold. It's the only way to teach him. He behaves worse than the dogs and makes more of a mess. <gasps> Scratch! Oh, it's good to see you, boy! Shut up, Dringo, and get back to work. And you've been slacking as well, Scratch, my boy. This dog is property of Sword Coast Couriers. I'll take him off your hands now. Gomwick was his handler, not his owner. <laughs> You're lucky I don't report you for stealing him in the first place. I can do whatever I please. He's my dog. Now get out. This is a private yard. You... you do no such thing. It's not just Scratch. She's always hurting the dogs. Shut your mouth, Dringo. Last warning. Fine. You think you can do a better job without me? Be my guest. They're a useless bunch of mongrels. You're welcome to them. You can't get inside the city. You said you'd do whatever it takes. Why don't we talk about something else? You... You got rid of her. I'll do a better job looking after these dogs than she ever did. I promise. For making mistress go away. She was horrid. Mistress is gone. Mistress is gone. I, I mean, um, such terrible news. She will be missed. You, you got rid of her. I, I'll. Even though Mistress is gone, I promise to be a good dog. No, the best dog. In my mistress's absence, I will look after this place and any dogs who come here. I promise. Swift as my feet can carry me. Eager for battle. Without delay. Looking ahead. Go on! Bugger off! Can't give up now. These boots have seen everything.
Blacketh. Scrum! You are a Sherlock, and still you speak my name. I've seen the captive Orpheus with my own eyes, spoken to Gestil Kithrak Voss. You lied to us, enslaved us. The betrayer Voss lies! I have only a moment, and you, Hasharlak, will listen. We are Githyanki. We move mountains. We snuff out stars. We shake the plains. The traitor Voss has lied to you. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this be true? Is the Githyanki prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlacketh's rule? Return to the astral prism. Slay Orpheus the Pretender. Serve me, and I will ascend you. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be Barter Vlacketh, commander of dragons. My only, my chosen. A final chance. Kneel before me. Make your promise. Lazel's thoughts become yours. The sight of Orpheus looms over her mind. Voss's words echo within it. She means to forever turn her back on Vlacket. You called me traitor. I gave you my life, and you ordered your knights to hunt me. I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Orpheus will live, and I will hear his creed. This is my word. Your word is nothing. You are nothing. Kithraki will bring you. I will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow while you beg for death. I will consume you. I will unmake you. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients, and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. But please, don't look at me. played host to an undying queen. Oh, and that's without our fine silverware. Lazelle has courage turning her back on a lifetime's belief. As for us, best we stay out of interplanar politics, I think. Orpheus is on his own. But should Great Vlacketh come to settle a score with Lazelle, well, <laughs> I might be convinced to kill her. Undying or not, she was very loud. It is done. There is no going back. As long as the Undying Queen reigns, 
I am never to soar unbound over the astral sea, never to cross the one in the void. As it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? Blackith has upended Lazelle's whole existence. Everything she knew to be true, every plan and aspiration she ever held has been painfully ripped away. Lazelle's bitterness is born of sadness. She is mourning the loss of the person she once was and can never be again. into molten rock, forever rattling in the belly. But I've never known this. I feel no heat, no cold. I bear neither fangs nor talon. There is only... absence. No matter. I am Vlacket's child no more. I have been born in you in Gith's son, my saviour. And so, from the old battle cries, is birthed another. Tmar Zala Orpheus, must still now forge in Yeri. Orpheus' will above all. May the comet blaze my path forward. Orpheus's freedom is my want and my need. To deny his freedom would be to deny my own. There will come a time when I can think about myself beyond the Lich Queen who enslaves the Githyanki and the Prince who would liberate them. But that time won't come until the Prince of the Comet flies again. Vlacketh's left hand and her right Commander of all dragons, chosen of the Queen Regent. Not since Vlacketh I has a Bart to Vlacketh been anointed. <sighs> Another empty promise. Only a naive fool would believe otherwise. The kind of fool I was not so long ago. We take the Orphic Hammer from Raphael's lair. Orpheus Tafki Nazin. Voss has done his duty. Now, we will do ours. We must find our way to the House of Hope and take the Orphic Hammer. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will use the hammer to break Orpheus free. I'm listening. The one who gave significance to this trivial rock. And the one who unblinded me to a terrible truth. I had built my life on an empty foundation. Orpheus is the road to my freedom. And you are the reason to march down it.
so, Lazel's finally seen the light and turned on her mistress. It took a little time, but she got there. Though it's not over yet. Masters rarely let their slaves go without a fight. I didn't think I'd live to see the day when Lazel turned her back on Vlakith. But all things considered, good for her. Fine. What's on your mind? How are you holding up? Don't be so modest. I can't remember the last time I met someone like you. Perhaps I never did. And never will again. It's certainly good to be back at camp. How I've missed the smells. Indeed. And I'm sure Dringo will do a great job. He always took good care of me. If our traveling companions continue to make poor choices, we will soon have every god in this plane and the next hunting us. Lazelle risks everything with her childish rebellion. I do not want a devil to hold my fate in his hands any more than a god. I say we put the devil from our minds and trust in ourselves. If anyone should have the power of the crown, it should be us. Keeping very well, I hope. We must claim the crown of Carsus for ourselves before anyone else does. Glad to see I'm not the only one on the wrong side of an omnipotent authority figure. Lazel did well to break free of Vlakith's manipulations, though I doubt Vlakith will let such insubordination go unpunished. Fate spit. Dost thou require a new... How did you? Oh, it's you. I must have let my mind wander. Enough for you to wander in. Forgive me. I am drained. Ever since you killed Catherick and took his Netherstone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been brittle. It's rebelling against Orin and Gortash fiercely. I suspected that when we took Catherick's stone, the brain would begin to break free. Those brain quakes confirm that my suspicion was correct. I do not know what happens now when it receives their orders. 
And I do not dare guess. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An Elder Brain enslaved is one thing. An Elder Brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Come. You may as well sit a while, now that you are here. Your company isn't unwelcome. Trying to guard us. The brain is restless, but I am distracted, and my lack of focus is endangering us. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one else. Indeed. Duke Stelmane. Or as I knew her, Berlin. When she was alive. You thought you were my first ally. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was different from my relationship with you. In life, she was my business partner, back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a mind flayer. Duke Stelmane trusted me, and the city trusted her. I concede the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. I appreciate your understanding. What I feel is deeper than superficial cures can reach. And not entirely unwelcome. Most people think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most people. You have shown me great empathy. We are closer now. Close enough, I hope, that I can ask you to reconsider your position regarding your physical form. I know it is no easy choice for you, but we will have a far better time ridding the city of Gortash if you accept just a touch of illithidness. Not to mention the Elder Brain itself. Our chances against it greatly improve the more illithid we both are. Another quake. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. And so do you. I brought my own paring knife.
seems simple enough. If you're here to shop, just buy what's needed, all right? Some people are panic buying. Let's not add to the problem. Why is everyone acting so normal? The Absolute armies are coming. We need to stock up. Fruit, vegetables, what can I do you for? If you're hungry, you know where to find me. How long do the effects last? It depends on the person and their virility. For you, I'd recommend. Two doses. Two? That seems like a lot. Do you not wish to pleasure your fine maiden? To feel her fingers grip yours in pure ecstasy? Shh! People are leaving. Good. Let them see you taking charge of your pleasurable destiny. We can get in worms crossed. If you are in need of some pleasurable assistance, might I direct you to Charesse's caress? I only deal with referrals. I'm, uh, I'm not doing anything. I mean, uh, good day to you. I'd love to chat, but I've got a suit to find. Who knew buying something so simple would take the bones of a day? You have got to check out Dan Thelon's dancing acts. Their leather work is amazing. My mate got thrown by a steel watcher. Lucky bugger. The trajectory was perfection. <laughs> Excuse me, we're discussing steel watcher gyronetics. A topic beyond your understanding, I imagine. Did you get to look at their gyronetics? Or their targeting module? Let the man breathe. That watcher sent him flying. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Did you see how far that was? Oh, 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 Believe you tried to climb up one, you madman. Leather-like. Are you a steel watcher fan too? If so, we meet here every day to discuss their mechanics. Actually, invented the steel watch. No. No one stopped me yet. 
Did you get to look at their gyronetics? Or their targeting modules? Let the man breathe. That watcher sent him flying. In a words. Did you see how far that watcher Let's threw me? Must have been ten legs. Nice. I can't believe you tried to climb up one, you madman! I would, and didn't this armor was... How else was I supposed to see their optics? You told me the armor was a bargain. It was! What I wouldn't give to be the Gondian who invented the steel watch. Actually, Gortash invented the steel watch? No, he merely offered patronage. The Gondians built the steel watch. Yes, but they were Gortash's idea, which makes him the inventor. How about we settle on the Gondians and Gortash invented them? We're shopping for a suit. Dinner with my... Remember? Never a dull moment. Let's go to Calm's Guts. On my way. She has the most fabulous sandal. It's perfect for a shirt. We've got the tool for the job. Need something? I've got the tools for any job. Any job. Whatever you're working on, hope that fixes it for you. Steel watchers in operation during the coronation of Lord Gortash. Please refrain from criminal activity and be courteous to the flaming fists. Voss is waiting beneath the city. We'll apprise him of our progress once we have the Orphic Hammer in hand. My name's Narber, adventurer to be, soon to be the best adventurer anyone's ever seen. As soon as I figure out what kind of adventurer I want to be... What do you think? Can I be a fighter? Oh! Uh, all right then. Sorry to bother you. No time to dally. This is safe to take. Put him up. Put him up. Wait! I wasn't really gonna fight you. I was just trying something out. My name's Narber. Adventurer to bees. As soon as I figure out what kind of adventure I want to be. What do you think? Can I be a fighter? Um, sh sure. I'll just raise my fists and... Uh, it's no use. 
I can't do it. I guess old Narber's more of a talker than a fighter. Right you are. I'll just find something to punch, I guess. It won't hurt, will it? No, surely not. I have a lot on my mind. Well, oh my Mulworm Sendle, Icewind Dale Strandling, and Horde Scarab die now on sale. Enjoy our new collection of luxury sleepwear, Never Winter Nighties. Have to keep going. Oh, hi, stranger. Thanks for stopping by Calm's Garms. I'm Calm. Well, Calm Men. <laughs> what can I do you for? Ugh. If it's empty patty you want, get your clothes from a brother, Figaro. But if it's genuine quality and genuine taste you're after, calms garms as you covered. A killer? That's... I have no love from my brother, but that's extreme. He doesn't deserve that. Thanks for warning me, but it's him that needs warning, and he never listens to me. You wouldn't either, if you knew him like I did. Since Dad died, he thinks he's cock of the bloody walk, that I should give up my shop and work for family business. For him, <laughs> dick. Maybe you should keep your nose out of where it doesn't bloody belong. Now, you want clothes or not? Sounds good. Get you something a bit... fresher than your current outfit. Remember, Calm's Garms, here for all your fashion needs. Wonderful. 
Let's see what this does. Blackets will be done. Onward. No one stopped me yet. I wonder if the gods are watching me. Every substance has been tried and tested by Let's go to Calm's A hero is nothing without the right equipment. See Danthelon's dancing axe for all your adventuring needs. You told me the armor was a bargain. Welcome to Danthelon's Dancing Axe. Our stock isn't used, it's tried and tested by the finest adventurers. Don't draw any trouble on old Enthal. He acts like he's up for it, but he's retired for a reason. What's up for discussion? Greetings, sir. Your noble bearing brings a little class to my humble... Oh, you can turn off the charm, Enthral. He's with me. Blueberries. Thought I had a sale. You look tired, Harper. I missed you, too. They're already here? Down below. Here's the key. You seem a nice sort, so I'll assume the insult was accidental. <laughs> and Farrell's no harper, and claims no love for those who are. But he's been known to shelter us when we need it. Entarl has been known to charge rent. Harpers have been known to ignore him. Now go on. The short father may send me an actual paying customer today. To buy? <laughs> You're already my favorite. A pleasure. Jakira needs more friends like you. Right, Sommy. 
You're on the door till our friends are done. Gods forbid we do any business today. Limited edition adventuring starter packs are currently out of stock. We apologize for any inconvenience caused. You break it, you... Well, knowing Enthal, it was already broken. Every weapon, scroll, and elixir is crafted to the highest adventuring standards, and that's a damn felon guarantee. I wouldn't keep your contact waiting. Look to my twitchy. Unless you're buying, then he can wait till the soul forge goes dark. <laughs> Pleasure. Jakira needs more friends like you. Need to find a way forward.
Hi, Harper. May Saluna's tears shine on this meeting. A very formal greeting, Geraldus. You are well? Yes, Hi, Harper. Standing beneath Saluna's tears. The lad's a little nervous, Jahira. We heard of your great victory against Ketherick. Geraldus isn't nervous. He's terrified. And he's using Saluna's tears as some kind of code. I understand, Geraldus. Take a moment. And you, Harper. Mm. There is something familiar about you. Doesn't she remind you of our old friend Marcus? Jahira's meaning is clear. Marcus was a traitor laying a trap. The same, it seems, is happening here. The problem with Marcus, of course... We didn't end on the best of terms.
Mahler's mother. How many more Harpers dead? Whatever comes, I'm ready. your command. Let's see. All's well that is. Not as bad as it could have. Did I... Uh, did I get it right? Shaluna's tears. It is that no false face can stand beneath their light. An old code, Harper. But yes, you got it right. Now I need your report. We had eyes on suspected cultists in the city, like you asked. We thought we were tracking them, but... They were tracking you instead, evidently. Doppelgangers. And they're not just working with the cult, our High Harper. They're part of it. The Baalists, I think. Sworn to or in the red, yes. We've already had the pleasure. Go on. Everything seemed fine until your latest orders. Until we started to search for the Rashima. They struck the same night. I woke to one of them strangling Chelvin while smiling at me out of her face. She said, it said that I'd report back to you as normal. Lou, are you here? And I had no choice. I'm sure it felt that way, Geraldus. The others were likely dragged back to Orin. Tortured. Sacrificed. I do not expect you to die for me. But to risk Antharl, any citizen who might have wandered in, there is always a choice. And the Harper must be able to make the hard ones. Perhaps this isn't the life for you after all, Geraldus. No, Jahira! Hi, Harper! Please! I'm still a Harper. I want to help! You've scarcely signed up, boy. And there is a war coming. Why die a Harper when you could still live as anything else?
This work isn't for everyone, boy, and there is no shame in that. Go home to your mother and leave the test to us. Yes, I have. Just Jahira to you now. Go on. I have all the help I need. I have not been overly generous with the truth. I came here to learn of the Chosen. True enough. But I set my heart for searching for someone else, too. Tell me, what do you know of a man named Mince of Rashomon? The name is as familiar as Jahira's own. A hero of the time of troubles, who saved the city more than once. I sense you mean no insult, calling scarce a century ago the old days. Which is considerably more insulting. Minsk is an old friend. Perhaps my oldest. We've fought at one another's backs times beyond counting. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. There always is. But that is still the fundamental fact of it. Before we ever heard of this absolute, we received word of a gathering in the Undercity. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there, cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Minsk charged in alone. It was chaos. He was overrun. Dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us, or leave him and live to fight another day. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But sometimes, you get to take it back. So don't be sorry, because I mean to use you, if you're willing. Infection, indoctrination, eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far, but it has not been yours. With your help, perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. Because I was playing the pragmatist and writing my friend off for dead, then I met you. If I seem suddenly flushed with hope and soft feeling, you have only yourself to blame. Oh, the point is moot without the means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another path. I'll have a better idea of what that is once we're through the gates. Seems I need to reacquaint myself with this damned city. Best be on my way.
has to put my hands on everything. How much farther can I go? Now here's someone who appreciates the finer things. Welcome, sir. Stop. Inhale through the nose. Hold. Exhale slowly through the mouth. Now you've just sampled some of Baldur's Gate's finest incense. Delicious, no? <laughs> There's no accounting for taste. You may find my selection somewhat misaligned with your particular preferences. I must say, I'm rather proud of it. The wood panelling cost a fortune, but it's so worth it for the lux atmosphere it provides. Everything alchemical from potions to poisons. Just do make sure you read the label before quaffing. Hmm? Be sure to savor each purchase. Even traders have private property. It seems that item is not for sale. Lies before me. No. If your lot have cracked another bloody cask, I they're dead in Thurl. Doppelgangers were using them as bait. Seems they snared more than they could skin in you. Uh, did Geraldus survive? Alive. But they harper no more. <laughs> He's better off out of it. Likely you're right. I'll talk him up tight till I can ship him back to his mother. What are you going to do? Continue the hunt. Aye. Silly question, I suppose. something to ask. 
Sounds like you've left some bodies to bury. Plus side, enthalpies over time. Go on. If the steel watch come poking around, my brother and I will earn our coin. The Velveteen Elixir. Let's see what this does. Danthalon's dancing axe. It's perfect for a shirt. I would. This armor was choices. You told me the armor was a bargain. It was. But good armor is hard to pay. Let's get on with it. Dinner with your folks. Take your armor to meet my mother and father. How long do you think it's last? It depends on the person. And therefore it is. It ain't true. We already take you. Let's move. Yes, darling, it's very leather like. Whether you're getting hammers or getting nails, we've got the tools for the job. We're shopping for a suit. Sorry, chum, can't let you through. Worms Rock's closed for the day. Ordination is what? Lord Gortash is becoming Archduke. All the peers came to pay regards. Might be. You don't look the posh sort. Last door on the right. Go on. Make merry. Lower the gates. Special permission. Greetings, citizen Fluffington. I trust you are enjoying... Oh, halt! We do not know how you gained entry, but your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place, confident, dominant, commanding. My most esteemed guest, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Ketherick Thorn. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. I admire your audacity, but it'll be the death of you. Catherick had an army of corpses and a crumbling tower. I have a city and an army of steel. It will be better for us both to resolve our differences amicably. And I have the perfect venue for a face-to-face -face meeting. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. from the Gortash. We shouldn't have any more trouble from the guards. Oh, All we can do is be patient. Lord Gortash is Better. expecting you. I almost need you this time. The audience chamber. <sighs> it's a waiting that's hard. If we could just talk to one of the fists, it would be as clear as day that we're not criminals. And tell me what 
she would... Have you heard anything about what it's like in the prisons? <laughs> Actually, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Very well. Are they going to arrest us? They say Gortash won't be king. But that pomp upstairs sure sounds like a coronation. Oh, I can't bear glaze that Pete's the are. This is the armory. Not a bloody open house. Fists only. Now clear off. Trade? Do I look like a shopkeeper? This equipment isn't for sale. It belongs to the Flaming Fist. Of course I bloody wasn't. Too busy ordering more of those mechanical monstrosities to tell me. I suppose you can take a look, but make it quick. A long way to go still. Stay sharp, stranger. In these times, all we can trust are the blades in our hands. Oh, I can't bear glaze that pizza. Uh, he wasn't even hurt. I spoke to a witness who says you entered the house before gonna the fire to us. started. We'll tell them what happened, and we'll be home in no time. The flaming fist don't stand for trouble. So stay out of it, yeah? I don't what know. Do this time? All we can do. No time to talk. I have clients to brief, and they're as sharp as spoons. I ain't saying nothing to nobody until I've had my trial. What if they throw us down? Oh, leave it out. I've got a trial coming up, and I need to rememberize my lines. Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way to the Hell, audience not chamber. this again. The brain is resisting its orders. Without all three stones to control it, it will soon start acting on its own will. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Lord Gortash is expected. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Flaming Fist Barracks. Authorized personnel only. doing in here you notice the gnome slip a lockpick into his pocket you're not a fist go on get out or i'll i'll wake the others I'm no thief. I... I was going...
going to pay it back. Eventually. I just... I needed the gold. I'm getting out of here. Taking a ferry down the coast to get me home. Those bloody crooks at the docks are charging triple, though. Danger money. It's a joke. No! I mean... Uh, I'm just... I quit. Nothing wrong with quitting a job. My wife said we have to stand and fight and... And I can't. I won't. I'm not made for this. No! Wait! Why do you have to stick your nose in? What in the nine bloody hells is going on? Rain Ash? You've got one breath to explain why you're in here, or you're going straight to the cells. That's impossible. Rain Ash was on duty the whole... Sneaky little gate. It was him all along. How's this? You leave now, and I won't arrest you for being in a restricted area. not over then through better be cautious to keep going moving in
You're too late. It's over. Floric? Oh, what have they done to you? I don't speak of myself, High Harper. I speak of the city itself. We came too late. It's over. The Steel Watch happened. I came seeking allies to our cause. Watchers spotted me, dragged me to Alder Ravenguard's husk, empty as a stair, a tadpole's puppet, nothing more. He spoke in accusations, apostasy, conspiracy, sedition. I'll be executed in five dawns. <laughs> the fish can go hang themselves. We're getting you out. When the people need a miracle, you cannot wait for the gods to answer. Alder's words. I'd almost forgotten. No more sulking. I know what to do. Unlock my cell. Escort me out of Worm's Rock. I'll seek out my connections. When the city streets shatter, you'll want their blades. Hurry. Something's on my mind. What do you want? You're the one pestering old men in cages. Now scram with your sourpuss. You're disturbing my sitting time. There is work to do. Let us start a conversation. What do you want? I don't need to escape. I've got food, water, privacy, and I mean to keep it that way. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. With haste. On your way. May Lord Gortash provide. Lord Manotto's been muttering in his sleep. I'm not paid to chat. Huh? Stay on my good side, yeah? Focused. We can talk once I'm free. And 
the other arm is gone. Oh, the person with you. Yes, darling, it's very leather-like. Fifteen known cities. Well, we're shopping first. down the door because it sounded like somebody was in trouble uh, inside. The house was on fire and we were rescuing her. I spoke to a witness who says you entered the house before the fire started. Hackles are raised. Enough circling. On the move.
Whatever it takes. Still breathing, despite everything. Wherever we go, ye gods, let there be something green. Let us show them how it's done. Might be useful. No one back home will ever believe this. Don't waste the step. Keep focused. We can talk once I'm free. Fine. But be quick. There are no safe corners in this fortress. Ready? Here goes nothing.
to do. These boots have seen everything. This is far enough. The way should be clear. I can't thank you enough for getting me out of that damned prison and for giving me courage when I'd all but run out. Yes, I have some connections in the upper city. Perhaps they'll heed our call. You won't fight the coming battle alone. As long as the city stands, I will stand with it. This is my promise. Battle. Still alive, so that's progress. <laughs> that's curious. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Quickly then. Found and taken. Too big. Time to press ahead. Do what must be done, at your command. Uh. 
I'm ready. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. No rest. Be you wicked or wise. Lies before me. Boots worn through. Steel watch, they find refuge. You mean no less than best be on my way.
Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Cult army on the march, killer on the loose, and Mistress Dorenbold still drags me hither and thither. I should speak up. You hear? My lady says Absolute's army's on the march. There's watchers. We'll hold the line. You best believe. Head up, chest out. Lord Portier could descend any moment. Gortash has Ravenguard on his side. Lord, Archduke, God. <laughs> I'll call Gortash what he wants. As long as Lord Chatshield pays me for all this waiting around. To be so cynical. Look, I'm all for Gortash. But those clankers, they don't sit right with me. Because they do your job better than you and without complaining. It is unnerving. Imagine where we'd be without them. The city would be overrun. They're all that's keeping this cult at bay. He has a point. They make people feel safe, if nothing else. Ha! You hear this? Tell my friends how safe you feel with those metal giants stamping about. You've been reading too many picture books. Lord Gortash himself is the one pulling their strings. We're all better off for it. You're free to explore. Within reason. Master Porter, I've taken the liberty of... Oh, you're not the master. Just as well. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Ravenguard is a legend. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Ruff's babbling, no time to talk. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make me So much for the cavalry riding to our rescue. This is what we get for putting our faith in a network of spies, I suppose. <laughs> I have heard much of the cunning and caution of the Harpers. Clearly those tales were exaggerated. Their entire network in the city has been infiltrated and undone by a handful of imposters. Little wonder the surface world is in such disarray if they are among its protectors. No. They seem to combine. 
the obedience and strength of a golem with the precision and intelligence of their creator. For now, they act as a defensive wall of steel, but their true purpose is conquest, mechanized slaughter. Imagine how quickly the grove would have fallen if we had machines like those to command. Imagine how quickly a city would fall. <laughs> Gortash has revolutionized warfare. We could melt every steel watcher down to dross and change nothing. We cannot stop an idea, and we cannot stop progress, and nor should we. Instead, it falls to us to make sure we control the idea and profit from progress. Even the venerable Harpers are compromised by the Absolute's poison. A grim turn of events, but one we must take in our stride. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way to the audience. Stand down, villain. In the name of the Steel Watch, aggressive action will not be tolerated in the presence of the patriarchs of this proud city. Correct your tone, citizen. Dearest patriarchs, but a moment. I must greet a most honored guest. My friend, forgive the cold welcome. My steel watchers are eager watchdogs. For the good of the people, I'm sure you understand. Lord Enver Gortash at your service. I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that netherstone that you carry. You know, it takes all three to control the brain. Without Thorm's, it's become vexingly willful. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the Sword Coast's infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well... Not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided. If you and I come to an understanding... Together... We can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity.
It's not. But it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Neverstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know, she's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. I'd like to propose a pact, a divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here, so the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods, we rule as the absolute. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you. So Kethrick was ready to betray our alliance too. I can't say it comes as a surprise. But you should know this. I initiated this plot. I brought Ketherick and Orin together to create the Absolute. They knew this would only work if we stood united and coordinated our powers. Their ambition blinded them to reason. I don't suffer the same affliction. In short, you can trust me. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. A doppelganger in our camp. That sounds all too believable. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly, or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. Even horror has a home. Find her nest and slay her there. For all its charms, Baldur's Gate has long had a cancer at its heart. A hidden temple devoted to Baal. That's where Orin became what she is where she worshipped and schemed. And now, it's where she hides from my watchers when she's not spilling blood in the streets. 
You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. First, Orin the Red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherick Thorpe. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them, all out of fear of the Absolute. Next, I, we, will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our subjects will hear the voice of their Absolute God. The faithful will do anything in the name of their God. Our tyranny, and we are saviors, defenders of the Sword Coast, our loyal subjects will love us, not hate us. What comes next will be entirely their fault. Powerful connections. Let's leave it at that. More importantly, just. Now, come, be witness as I make history as the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. You will follow me and you will show due respect. Distinguished dukes, patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same, by word, deed, and decree, so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent? Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. Kill Orin and take her Netherstone. Find me in my office upstairs when it's done, and do not return until it is done. Let this be my one warning. Truest of souls, bathed in her light. There is a fleeting connection. Your parasite communes with his, then falls quiet. Have you come to behold the new dawn?
help me? Ah, the Black Widow caught you in her web. Floric chose shadow over light. Her betrayal burned deeper than the fires of Avernus. She's been punished for her lies. Don't let her get to you. The Duke wants to keep Floric's location a secret. Little does he know that you've already found and freed her. Not just glory. Paradise. Faerun suffers in darkness. Tear has abandoned us. Helm's eye has strayed. But Baldur's Gate will soon burn bright, a beacon to light the heavens. And it will be Gortash who ignites the final spark. An Archduke! Finally, someone who can stand up to those wretched absolutists. Ravenguard has not once failed this city. If he trusts Gortash, then so do I. The Steel Watch has made an impenetrable fortress out of the Sword Coast Crown Jewel. I can't think of a better endorsement for Gortash than that. Archduke Gortash, man of the people, the right people. What glory, our city, and what glory, its future. Good day to you. These boots have seen everything. The commoner made Archduke of Baldur's Gate. I never thought I'd see the day. Well, what are they thinking? Giving a fellow like that such power? I give him a year, at most. I need a quick word. The Absolute's Blight will be a hard one to cure. Gortash is the Archduke for the job. Ravenguard freed from the Hells, Archduke Gortash secures our borders. Baldur's Gate's future is bright indeed. Archduke Gortash. Now there's a man who knows good business. Finally, a leader with some charisma. Ravenguard was quite the dullard. Charlatan, like every last patriarch. 
Keep those feet moving. I brought my own paring knife. No. So, we have a uh, shape changer at our camp. Hm. Good luck finding her. You could watch out for anyone acting strangely, but, well, you know the lunatics we camp with. Yes? <sighs> there might be, but... Mm, it's not a path I dread until we must. Let it wait until the city proper. Perhaps I'll have had a better idea by then. It would have been prudent to ally ourselves with Gortash. While Orin lives, she is the greatest threat to our survival. He is rather fond of himself. If he truly intends to be the savior of Baldur's Gate, perhaps he has reason to be. Even if I personally faced down the army of the Absolute and drove it from the city single-handedly, I would not be welcomed as a savior. No matter what I do, the people of Baldur's Gate will always see me as an enemy. I do not want to be tolerated. I want to be feared. Don't you? When we have all three Netherstones and control the Elder Brain, all of Faerun will have reason to fear us. We must claim the Crown of Carsus for ourselves before anyone else does. Gortash is to be believed, and even our camp isn't safe from Orin's influence. You might want to confirm the veracity of his claim, or at least clean up the mess. An imposter in our ranks. If this is true, it could be anyone. You, me, well, not me, I know who I am. Perhaps we shouldn't take Gortash's word for granted, but if he speaks the truth, we need to be careful. Orin could have eyes and ears on us right now.
tries to put my hands on everything. must agree, this is ludicrous! How are we meant to survive without our livelihoods? Move along! I've got my hands full enough without gawkers! God, so Still can't fathom that they hang folk in this city. Those gallows get more use than some temples. Every ten day, I write into the boulder's mouth about it, and every edition fails to mention it. Pathetic. This is out and out madness. Eyes front and keep your nose clean, newcomer. A noose and a short drop is how we deal with troublemakers. That sounds like a threat. And people who threaten the fist end up in jail or dead. Now run along before I start taking you seriously. Distract me. It's all I can do to stay balanced. I stole a purse from the evidence room. It was stupid. And I swore to Blaze Portier I'd never do it again. Ever. I have to stand on one leg until she believes me. It was just a purse, mate. Bloody hells. You make Blaise Portier look like a softy. <laughs> Don't distract me. It's all I can do to stay... I... I have to stand on one leg until she believes me. That's not funny! If I fall, I have to start all over. They'd be out catching crooks, not turning a black eye. If you're here to report something, don't bother. The fist don't give a damn. The thugs are getting bolder. My husband's been mugged twice this month, if you can believe it. You'll be safe out there. Can't trust a damn soul. Don't waste the stuff. 
Distract the gauntlet, will ya? I think she's set on killing me. <sighs> I am never sleeping on duty again. Well, hello. We don't get too many visitors from down below. Behave, yeah? I don't see someone as pretty as you in cuffs. Right. About time. The Manif assured me a builder would come around a ten day ago and pulled it. You're not the builder. Which means I've got no use for you. Look here, son. To get by in this place, you got to be tough as tax. There's no winning over the hooligans at the Blushing Mermaid with a smile and a nice hello. Now, either you learn to fix my broken shutters, or you wag your tongue elsewhere. Keep crime reports short. Do not waste our time with frivolous issues. Same, simple enough. about a lead said that I should come see you about it of course madam let me just <sighs> forgive me why are you here is this some kind of sick joke do you have any idea what I've been through these past few days my daughter Vanra my little girl she's missing Stupid, useless fist. Said she had a lead, but she must have been sucking dream mist or something. Madam, tell me. You said <laughs> she was <sighs> taken from a tavern? You catch the barest tendrils of magic coiled around the flaming fist. Yes. <laughs> The blushing mermaid down by the docks. I told you a hundred times. Why aren't you listening? Someone or something has tampered with her memory. What, um. What were we discussing? What is happening? I feel like I'm going mad! Of course! I haven't stopped! I tore that tavern apart! The rooms, every nook and cranny I could think of! She's gone! <laughs> Nonsense, I'm fine. Madam, tell me why you're... ...here, and I will assist. Got you right. Something's wrong with her. Can you help me? I've no family, and Vanra's father isn't around. The flaming fist my last resort. I'm so afraid. I'm so tired. I've been looking night and day everywhere I could. You will? Thank you. I haven't slept or eaten since she disappeared. 
I'm terrified something has happened to her. Her name is Vanra. She's seven years old and has red hair, like me. We were in the Blushing Mermaid when she was taken. Just up by the docks. No, unless you count a couple of old drinking mates at the next table. But they'd be no help. They barely remember their own names. We were sober, though. I swear. I stop in the maid for a drink sometimes. But it was only a quick one. Of course. The front of house, both St. Gannett was there, and the owner of the Blushing Mermaid, Captain Grizzly. Neither lifted a finger to help me look. It was awful. Thank you. I'll head home. Can't stun being around these idiots any longer. Come find me the moment you hear anything. I apologize for the hassle that woman caused. Such time wasters and troublemakers are a plague on the Flaming Fist. Blaise Portier is perfectly fine. She's simply uh, under tremendous pressure. There's nothing to worry about. Can. Those fists have got bottomless bellies, I swear.
Don't go looking for trouble. Something over there. I'm way too big. Quiet day, mostly. Don't go spoiling it. This calls for careful footwork. Mind their business, I'll be fine. Time to press ahead. Moving ahead. I have a word. New client? What a thrill. For you? Laterally. <laughs> Some call me the Great Collector. Others, the Merchant of Mysteries. But you, my friend, you can call me Skittle. Step up and marvel at the spectacular wonders on offer. Indeed, my mirthful mate. Care to take a squeak at my fan rastical wares? <laughs> the prison's pipes are a veritable maze of cracks and crannies. What a rat finds, a rat keeps. Captives have wants and needs, my plentiful patron. It is my pleasure, nay, my duty, to fulfill them. My enterprise is a more covert sort. I do my dealings in squeakret. <laughs>
accept your command. Is that all? These boots have seen everything. Greetings, citizen. I trust you are having a safe and productive... what must be done. The gods are watching me. At the ready. How's your head? That last <laughs> one the hell of a mark. Still attached. Let's see what this does. Right, sure. right. We can come back another time if you ain't feeling up to it. Nah. Let's see what put here. <laughs> As well, but it is not as bad as it could have. Please, Another step forward.
anyone want to buy a cassette? you. How delightful to meet in person. Though, you're shorter than I expected. <laughs> it's just an opinion. <laughs> it's my job to have them. I meant no offense. My name's Estraster, journalist. I speak to the people of Baldur's Gate so our readers don't have to. And then there's people. You, my dear, are people. In fact, you're the star of the next edition. <laughs> if I told you, you'd lose the fun of reading it yourself. It's our juiciest edition in an age. Bound to get everyone talking about you. Darling, we can't let the readers decide what the content is. We've editors for that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've really said rather too much and written rather too little. Good day. The pair of you. Get it right here. Just be Thank hell we made such good time. The army of the Absolute at your back certainly encourages a brisk pace. Don't get too comfortable. It's only a matter of time before the army of the Absolute gets here. Sorry about the pong. We've been on the road for more than a ten day. She's no thing. Stay back. And stay calm. I'm warning you. She's on the list. I don't like this. I don't like the look in some of their eyes. One blow. One blow and she drops like she's dead. Well, maybe she is. Used to think those things were gonna make me feel safer. Not anymore. If all these folks can just keep their shit together, maybe nobody else will get hurt. Maybe. These street trash need to watch their tone. I don't tolerate disrespect. Citizen is unconscious and won't be waking up anytime soon. Greetings, child of faith. Be welcome to the Stormshore Tabernacle. You have come far, I perceive. How may I serve you this day? I am Vicar Humbletoes, guardian of the Stormshore Tabernacle. I keep the peace in this sacred place and guide those in need. 
Here, clerics may commune with their gods, and even hear their responses, if they are so favored. I am also granted the power to provide holy resurrection through sales of revivification scrolls. Of course, my child. Within limits. Behold my wares. You see an altar dedicated to Mistra. Mistra, mother of all magic, is the patron of wizards and often called upon by other spellcasters as well. She's said to be a jealous goddess. Even though you do not follow her, you feel her power resonating from the statue. She is the one true spell at the heart of all spells. The weave could not be in better hands. Swift as my feet can carry me. You see an altar dedicated to Saluna. An inscription reads, Let all who worship the changing tides of life and knowledge feel the blessings of Saluna. Trust in the purity of my light. See the constancy in its inconstancy, and you will be guided aright. Goddess of the moon and stars, her words and light have long helped wanderers to find their way. Perhaps it could help you, too. Whatever comes to Luna, had life turned out differently, I might have been kneeling in prayer here. Feel the chill gaze of the Moon Maiden upon you. Saluna welcomes you. No one back home will ever believe this. So may it be. What path lies before me? Oh, I'm cursed to put my hands on everything. You see an altar dedicated to Tyr. Tyr, the blind god, offers justice to all, innocent and malefactor alike. The law dictates what is right, be that reward or retribution. Your knowledge of religion isn't extensive enough to tell you more. There's no time to waste. You see an altar dedicated to Tear. Tear, the blind. His unseeing eyes are a testament to the lawful life he lived and what it cost him. Make a sacrifice out of your own pocket, and you may yet be blessed. All right. What now? Here goes nothing. You see an altar dedicated to Helm the Vigilant. Helm the Watcher is a guardian god, dedicated to the preservation of order. Many turn to him in troubled times. Your knowledge of religion tells you nothing more about the worship of Helm. What's next? You see an altar dedicated to Helm the Vigilant. Helm the Watcher. Make your donation to him and you'll likely feel more vigilant, more resilient to the unexpected. Still breathing, despite everything. This altar isn't dedicated to a single god, but instead acts as a conduit to many. Your god is one of many, and in this place you sense a spark of its mighty divine flame. It reads, show your devotion with an offering in your god's name. Blessings may follow.
Divine protectors of Baldur's Gate, hear this mm. humble plea. Better not be cursed. Shield our people from the depredations of the absolute heretics. Bless them with the strength to endure and the courage to resist. So may it be. Place is trapped.
fate spins along. Dost thou require a new ally? Very well. Impossible. Thy party is full. Lifetimes feel of watching little men buff themselves up with grand titles. I look forward to the day we show the Archduke that his tongue is not half so silvered as he thinks. He's protected by his steel watch for now. And Orin will have her own defenses should we choose to play the part of Gortash's bloodhounds. We cannot expect either of the Chosen to fall easily. But fall they must, if we are to have all three stones to command the brain. Still, if you see sense in making an alliance, I won't question it. I'll just look forward to the inevitable breaking Gortash spoke of. It would be irritatingly true to form. We did not. Mm. A harper learns to doubt. To peer through every smile, question every look. Eventually you find what it is you fear. Whether it is there or not. When we cannot know, we can only trust. But then, that is exactly what a traitor in our midst would say. Isn't it? I have, and while I do not love my conclusion, that does nothing to change it. The Harpers are the city's best information network. With them out of action, we shall have to fall back on second best. Nine Fingers Keen. A name known and feared throughout the city's underworld. The mysterious Keen runs the guild, which in turn runs every criminal enterprise in the city. <laughs> Nine Fingers is much more than a thief. Nothing happens in this city that she doesn't learn of sooner or later. How hospitable she will be to a harper that comes begging to her guild hall, huh, we will find out. Perhaps I will let you do the talking. You're sure? Later then. I tell you not to get in trouble, but I suspect it will find you whether you like it or not. Very well. Fate does thou require... Very well. Choose. This vessel is at thine disposal. Do what thou wilt. This soul remembers its invective, but remembers not its tongue. Though spoken with a different voice, you recognize the eloquent drawl of Withers, the wraith that summoned the hireling. They are but echoes. They recall not a manner of speech, Thus, I lent them my rhetoric.
To speak thusly takes little of my effort. Besides, what better use is there of time than discourse? Because you needed to speak to it. Because it feels correct, fitting. These souls clawed their way back from the fugue plane for vengeance. The art of violence is one memory not lost to them, I assure you. Now, let us return to the fray. Can't give up now. have wished to live in more interesting times. something to ask this vessel is at thine disposal do what thou wilt thou art the master so it shall be yes as you wish. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most welcome. Keeping very well, I hope? I hope you're keeping well, friend. This is the city proper, is it? I didn't expect it to be so outrageously... ordinary. Murder? Oppression? Conspiracies? <laughs> this city has its charms, after all. My mother visited during one of her grand tours of the surface world. She claimed the streets were almost as varied and full of danger as those in Duthcloim. Ha! Huh. I never believed her until now. He is the only authority figure in Baldur's Gate worth a damn. 
Even as the Elder Brain tears at the foundations of the city, he stands strong and looks for solutions. Better for us to be a solution rather than a problem for his steel watch to scrape off the street. It would be wise to return to him and pledge an oath of allegiance before he declares us enemies of the peace. Baldur's Gate. You know, I never quite believed I'd actually make it back. It wasn't until we got within reach of Worms Crossing that it felt real. It's so strange. I don't remember much of it, yet I can't help feel like I know it. It feels like home. I suppose I am. Though, the chance to savor the moment might be brief, given all that still lies ahead of us. I brought my own paring knife. But please... Bustle here takes some getting used to. <laughs> Crackling fire and a tressum for company is usually more my speed. Still, we must flow with the current we find ourselves in, however tumultuous it may be. If you've need of me, I'm glad to help. God, this is the first time in 200 years I've seen these streets in the sunlight. You can forget. Just how much color there is in the world. Hmm? Yes, of course. Obviously. Sorry, did you want something? Moving in. Submit to Lord Gortash if you are to be saved. Only Lord Gortash has the strength to protect our city. Gortash is the light bringer. Gortash will burn the absolute to smoke and ashes. The Steel Watchers are doing most of the good here, really. I'd love a gander at those schematics. Who will save us from certain Ready? Ooh, calm down, would you? It's all in your head. I 
a good mind to get the flaming fist before people start chucking themselves into the chiampa. Listen and submit to the mistress of disease. This corpse has been desecrated, displayed, and there's nothing random about it. Eager for battle. will be done. A lone pelvis and a bit of colorful cloth. Dribbles met a brutal end. The circus of the last days has returned. See Dryad's Gin and Dribbles the Clown back with a new act. Wasting my time. You don't want none of this. Trust me. It's not what it looks like. I promise. How about this? Afternoon. You hand over everything you've got on you, and I'll give you three ounces. what you just said i'm doing you a favor you don't want it it's no scales off my back something's on my mind the city is chock-a-block with bodies, thanks to these murders. I can barely keep up with all the orders. How many coffins? Bloody hells. It's not much, but handing out leftovers is the least I can do with the absolute almost upon us. I'll be making for next time. 
Welcome, traveller. Remember, this ain't the blushing mermaid. It's the elf song. So behave yourself. That's right. And a lonely job it is, too. When you're the muscle, no one thinks about your heart. Very funny. Go on inside. We're looking for comedians. walk around the pub after each pint, you don't get a hangover. And if it's in the Gazette, it has to be true. Tales shelter, refugees welcome. <laughs> the soap here smells funny. I'm grateful to be here, I am. But I thought we'd arrive as a family. Not like this. Welcome. If you've need of a bunk or a bath, you'll find them upstairs. Good luck getting some kip up here. I'd stuff your ears if I were you. some keep up here.
wants to make sure that there's no misinformation. The truth is the truth. We trust our readers to make up their own minds. Very well. I keep telling you, animals, if you want to buy a gazette, talk to the loud little shit screaming headlines. I deliver the papers. I do not sell them. Boulder's mouth. Watch yourself in there. Sarky bastards, these writer types. Sorry, can't chat. One five. Shit! Where was I up to? Oh, thank Karellen. You're a lifesaver. One five eight, one five nine. In my opinion, we should have a still watch in every bug. One sixty. Okay, let's mark that. Great. 161, 162. Okay. After the joke, you'll laugh. Leave him some time and then. it out, will you? I've got deliveries to manage. about you, but them big metal bastards really put me off my flow. Looking for a core, core, corpusculent. That's it. As you were. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Still missing one link. Oi, shove off. Don't be peeking at my scoop.
risk being an open view. What path lies before me? Anything of use? be on my way. Should mind my step. Don't want to draw any attention. If not over, then through. Hang on! You're not allowed down in the basement! Only Master Needle is permitted access to the print works. I told you already, no access to the printer room. If you keep forgetting, I'll print it out and nail it to your head. Sod off! If it isn't the city's next celebrity, you star in our next edition's top story. Oh, we have plenty of ink. Enough to cover all your misadventures in this good city. I've never heard so much violence against innocent circus freaks before. The truth will be out with tomorrow's broadsheet. People will spit in your face. Your very presence will be bad for business. You'll be a pariah, an outcast, as you should be. And then we can only hope the fist do their duty and escort you to the gallows. Your days of scumming up this good city streets will be over. Pray tell, how exactly will you disseminate that information? What's the name of your highly popular broadsheet? No, exactly. The headlines are loaded into the print works already. Tomorrow, you will feel the power of free speech. Vox Populi, Vox Dei. Now, guards! I believe our distinguished guest was just leaving. Would you care to escort them out? Edvard. Can I call you Edvard? Well, Edvard, I do support Lord Gortash's campaign. For several reasons. Much farther can I go? Thank you. 
Jobs, they can sing sea shanties for all I care. Fear not, friend. The days of us proper Baldurians walking these streets in fear are over. Lord Gortash made that very clear in his latest interview. I'd recommend giving it a read. Aha! The wide eyed gaze of someone new to Baldur's Gate. Well, you've reason to be excited, friend. Our city's entering a most wondrous age. One of steel, of smoke, of efficiency. And we've Lord Enver Gortash to thank. What do I think of Lord Gortash's still watch? I am so glad you asked. <laughs> I'm rather enjoying the white. Maybe you should give it a try. have a still watch in every Baldurian. Oh, a joke. You're not. Leave him some time and then... Thank <laughs> you. 
Smith. I wonder if the guys are watching me. still watch. Well, I am so glad you asked, Edvard. No, no, a bit too familiar. Mr. Mr. <gasps> Soften my steps. Best keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. Sylvanus, so soften my steps.
This is the easy part. But not today.
haste. and waiting. Well, certainly waiting. Nature's servant awaits. A harper must sometimes invite herself in. have stayed interesting. Anything of use? Always nice to be wanted.
useful. get closer to the print work, something odd happens. You hear it speak. Gormless! Not one step further. You are interrupting art. You feel a dancing, mischievous magic sparking through the air around the printer. A fey creature resides within. in the head. I'm no chattering contraption. I am a person. An artist. Name's Jellywig. This is my paintbrush. I make sure everything that's in those big, ugly article blocks becomes fine printed artistry. I'm a master pensman, I am. Now scram it. One mistake and the reputation of Boulder's Mouth Gazette crumbles to dust. Clever. It takes a lot of craft to write trash this good. Where's your Gazette's Golden Quill Award for Truth and Excellence? Oh, don't have one. Bloody thought not. Ugh. 
<laughs> Someone who appreciates the art of words. And a celebrity to boot. You'll enjoy this. As it happens, the next edition has an article about you. <laughs> it's a mean one, too. Real nasty. Etzard must really have it out for you. Hard luck. We'll require a delicate touch to spruce up. I think I'll need my number seven pen. Real sharp. I wouldn't take it too personal. Edvard gets his lines from up top, then gets all worked up over it. Although, it not being personal doesn't change how shafted you'll be. to my own heart. Wonderful. Uh, right, uh, let, let's get this article nice and loose. Uh, there. Now, you'll, you'll need to find a replacement piece, of course. Uh, make sure it's a good one. Listen, mate, I'm already doing you a favor. I'm sure you can figure it out yourself. As the old saying goes, ours is not to wonder why. Ours is but to print or die. Or something like that. You've returned. Ready to sow some discord? How delightful! Editor will be in for a surprise tomorrow. Papers printing right now, pal. Should be on the streets tomorrow.
Watch your elders and learn. Swift as my feet can carry me. At your command. I've got a long road ahead. As long as they do their job, they they'll catch a break. Sea shanties Now don't believe anything Kay over there tells you. She's an awful liar. Seems like a good moment to talk. You want the who's who and the what's what? Speak to Karis. She's always got the best goss. None of it's been wrong yet. La la la. Dee da dee dum dee dee. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Very funny. If that joke wasn't older than I am, I'd laugh. Assume nothing. La la la. De the roses of Elliot. I may work for a hard-hearted rat fucker, but I still keep a song in me heart. Give up now. Vincent here is a wastrel and a scapegrace, but he does amuse me. Yes. 
When I think about the poor refugees starving in Rivington, I could just weep. I believe I'll drown my tears in another brandy. People don't always know their own push-ups. This watch has a short temper. That's the first thing you want to do after we settle in. Sleep for ten days, or maybe two. I'm afraid your piece hasn't gone to print yet, my sweet. Patience. Tasha still watch. Well, I am. Why, yes, I'd love to do an interview. Oh, sorry. Thought you were one of the mouse journalists. The Elf Song Tavern. You talk about the honor of your order, but what about my honor? I made a deal. Stog, if you want to join the Vigilant Knights, you have to quit beating people up. I'm supposed to bust up this guy what owes money to Uktar of the Guild, but Gerva says if I want to join her order, that's a no-go. But I already took the money for it from Uktar, so I gotta follow through. It's like an oath or something. And I know you understand oaths, Gerva. What am I going to tell the Vigilant Knights, Doug? That you're knee-breaking for goodness? Helms, Gaze, you sound like a guild lawyer. You must think I'm pretty dumb. And maybe I am. Because I'm going back to return Uktar's money. Don't wait up, Gerva. It might take me a while to crawl back home with two busted knees. I've been thinking about it. No, I feel bad about all them refugees, but we just can't let them flood into the city. We'd be overwhelmed. In fact, that's probably the absolute army's plan. They ruin everything. As far as I'm concerned, Lord Gortash gets the benefit of the doubt. Until he does something obviously wrong, he's got my support. We can't afford to be squabbling with the absolute crawling up our asses. If it were up to me, I'd replace all the flaming fists with steel watchers. At least the big teapots don't make lewd suggestions when you pass by. They smell better, too. Just between us, I don't believe everything I hear from Director... Sorry, Archduke Gortash. He's entirely too slick to be trustworthy. See Alan at the bar for drinks. I'm busier than a two-pecker go. <laughs> I sure wouldn't want to be one of the flaming fists. They got the shittiest job in town. Believe me, I know something about knocking heads together. From one warrior to another, I must say, 
It's just embarrassing the way the flaming fist lets this murderer go around killing people and getting away with it. You don't need subtlety to sort these matters out, just persistence. That's what I told Commander Portier, anyway. I'd start a special crime unit. A half dozen hard cases. Grab some likely losers in the back alleys. And beat on them until we got some answers. Commander Portier says she already has some investigator she trusts. Soft-talking namby-pambies, I'd wager. But when they fail, and they will, count on it. She knows where to find Dame Gizarm. Then, it'll be my turn. Where is that confounded mob? It was a rhetorical question. Do you know what that means? No, of course not. Who would know anything about rhetoric in this place? You are obviously wrong. As demonstrated by the fact that I am on staff at this tavern, and this is my form of elocution. <sighs> now, I believe you're standing between me and my mop. Good day. Sounds better every day. Hello, old friend. Oh, so I assume I I used to know everybody around town, but now I'm a new man. Worried man, a playwright who lost the will to write. <laughs> now I worry no more. Can't write a word? What does it matter? Archduke? <laughs> Lord Gortash is a trifle young for that, don't you think? Not that anyone cares what you think, or me, for that matter. That puffed up parvenu, Gortash, an archduke. Mm. However, did they find a crown big enough for his head? That newcomer, Gortash, an archduke. Of course, I heard that. Drink up, Blas. We're celebrating. If you won't drink with me, I bet this stranger will. Right, stranger? I'm Clovia Throkes. Pleased to meet you. Our son Gasper has finally found himself a proper job. Aye, security at the Steel Watch Foundry. But I still wish he'd taken up the family business. Now, Lars, you know Gasper never had the patience for all the stitching a tailor has to do. <laughs> Sewing rabbit skin cloaks? Well, that's all right for some, I guess, but not for our Gasper. No, our Gasper preferred hanging around the guild hall. I was afraid he was going to end up as a guild bone breaker. Good thing I introduced him to darling Tommy, a host. She straightened Gasper out, found him a place in the foundry. <laughs> Perceptive one, aren't you? <laughs> Blast. Plum bubbles may have gone to my head. But I, I guess it's time to tell you. 
I'm leaving you. I'm starting a new life with Tamiya. I'm going to sell the business. And the money we used to start, it was mine in the first place. I'm afraid that's it for throats, for cloaks. Oh, dear. The bottle's empty. Let's have another and talk about it. I... I think I need to take a walk. In a minute. I thought you were going for a walk, Blas. What? Oh, you're still here. Maybe you should take the walk. Mother was still alive. The shame of the killer. A new Archduke? Fancy. Never had one of them before. Gortash, Archduke of Baldur's Gate. I hear he's moved into the penthouse at Worm's Rock. That place must cost a fortune. Per diem. Aye, aye. Pull up a seat. If you can find one spare, that is. Welcome back. What can I do you for? I'll tell you what. The murder upstairs has brought some pointers, but it's also really spooked folk out of renting rooms. If we get you staying up there, perhaps folk will calm down and realize there's nothing to worry about. You can have the whole upstairs floor until this killer thing blows over. The city always wins. There's always some hero that saves the day. It's the way things work. <laughs> Charity! In Baldur's Gate! Good one. and chairs means more coin in my pouch. You got yourself a deal. Top floor's all yours. If it gets a bit too noisy at night, well, don't sleep above a pub. Welcome back. What can I do you for? <sighs> Going to make this place famous, I reckon. Victim is a bloody duke. Berlin Stelman. Well, she was a duke. Now she's just bloody. I reckon I'll be able to charge double for that room once the constable's done with it. Murders and ghosts are always grand for business. At least, I hope. It's been slim picking since the absolute butchered that supply convoy. But have a look. Let us show them how it's done.
fill your boots, mate. I know you said porter, but we only have eight. Thanks again, stranger. We'll make her guide you. I wonder if this was brewed with my barley. I wonder if this was brewed with my barley. Pardon me, sir. You look prosperous. I'll bet you have someone who'd like a nice piece of jewelry. A discount price. For... For a good cause. Escape. Escape from Baldur's Gate for my husband and me. Lord Gortash wants Marek's head, so we have to get out. There's a smuggler's sloop leaving for Waterdeep with two berths left. But the captain wants a fortune for him. This necklace is all I have. You think so? I wish I shared your optimism. But I can't. For Marek's sake. Goodbye. Damn rats. Oi, you! I thought I asked you to clean the rats out of this cellar yesterday already. Hop to it! Get in there! <sighs> Probably. Lots of rats in this world. Been having problems with them in cellars for the whole 20 years of my career. Oh, go on. Nothing better to practice your skills on than a few rats. Enough waiting. I'm I crave blood. Cats, especially lazy lumps that won't catch rats. <laughs> Chef Revere still hears squeaking. Why do you not kill rats? Rats too tough. No, I need them rats taken care of. Here's the deal. I'll keep a lookout for murderers. You murder the rats. Time to start the Sturge fricassee, I guess. Rovia burned the bullier base again. And now I have to scrub the pot. Some chef he is. <laughs> hey, not what's up for discussion. I love chopping things up. Okay. Who doesn't? That ah, never goes. Oh, look, Tambourine. A servant comes to help us. Oh, kill those rats, would you? When they're dead, the other servants will feed us. Hello, 
serve and tape? Would you kill those rats, please? Their presence vexes me. Halt, Sivy. Turn back. This is an active crime scene. Hold on, Thornil. I'm tired of standing here. Devella's been up there for ages. <laughs> Some diversion would be welcome. Constable Devella said she wasn't to be... Investigator Valeria outranks her. As you were, Sivy. Fair warning, though. She's in a foul mood. Those idiots not to let anyone through. You. Name, rank, and reason for interrupting an active crime scene. For your sake, the last one better be bloody good. An adventurer. <laughs> Fantastic. We don't have enough of those in Baldur's Gate. Unless you've got useful information, leave me to my work. Duke Stelming's dead, and I've got to find who killed her. Ball? That's exactly what I... Wait. How do you know about that? God. That's it. Proof that I was right. I've been working on an assignment, see? A research project of sorts. I knew my conclusions were sound. But this... I never expected this. I'll tell you what I know. A century ago, there was a man. Saravok Anchev. He was a child of the god of murder, Baal. He ruled the Iron Throne. A dark tower hiding a darker secret. It was the front for a deadly arms dealing network. There, Saravok amassed an army and sought to become a god. Under his stewardship, the Baal temple was revived. And with it, the Baal cult itself. Fortunately, the temple was destroyed. And to cleanse the city of Saravok's memory, the Iron Throne was torn from its foundations and cast into the Chionthar. For most, that was the end of it. But cults like that don't disappear overnight. That list you spoke of confirms I'm right. The Baal cult is back. And someone is out there, continuing Saravok's work. Stranger things have come back to haunt this city. The brutality of the killings is on a par with Saravok's own. But there's something more here. Something new. There's a reference to these murders. A certain flair. It's as if they were done in worship. The precision of the cuts. The depth, the execution. The best butchers in Faerun couldn't make a cut like that. Trust me, I've asked them. I tried to explain all this to my superiors, but they wouldn't have any of it. They told me to drop it. Told me the city doesn't need another conspiracy theorist and to get back to doing my job before they find someone else to do it for me. But you... You're not bound by such constraints. Oh, help me out here. Help the city out. 
I bet if you follow the trail of these murders, you will be able to unearth the truth of this resurgence. There are patriarchs on the murder target list. I'm oath-bound to secure them first, so I'll be heading to the upper city next. While I'm there, the other potential victims will be at risk. Could you warn them? Not from round here, are you? We're in Boulder's Gate. This is just how things work. Thank you. That's all I can ask, and more than I hoped. Once I'm done with the Patriarchs, I'll head to Basilisk Gate to have another go at convincing my superiors to put some resources into this matter. Meet me there if you've anything more to report. And good luck. Bottom. Even stranger smell. and blades always shock. What to do? At the ready. A welcome face. How can I help? Bloodied ring. Guess the killer didn't want jewelry.
best be on my way. Seems simple enough. Like you don't know me. Come on, be a pal. I am hopeful that we shall be thoroughly entertained. I hear this fellow is monstrously droll. Snappy dresser, that Willoughby. Though he should lose the monocle. Get ready! 
I hear this guy is really good. My buddy Roanoke almost pissed himself laughing. This dwarf in the audience matches the description of that serial killer. He bears watching. What in the hell are you staring at? I got spinach in my tea. No, and it isn't sucker or patsy either. Whatever your con is, try it on someone else. <laughs> this guy. This dwarf. What in the hell are you staring at? Isn't it? Got it at Carmen's, if you must know. Now, button it. I want to hear this guy. Welcome to the Elf Song Traveler Tavern. No, wait. That's backwards. Anyway, my dad tells the jokes here. Sometimes they're funny. Hey, smart stuff. I'm Willoughby, the comedian. And we got a little contest here called the Laugh Riot. You want to play along? Hey, I'll go first to show you how it's done, and then you can see if you can top me. Hello, Bulgarians. You know, I wouldn't be here tonight, except my wife ran off with a cambium. That's right, I got fiend zoned. <laughs> we used to have a drow comedian. I had to ask her to stop casting Tasha's hideous laughter on the audience. Then I asked her, how many drow it takes to light a torch? And she said, none. We have dark vision. <laughs> so I killed her. The elf song patrons think that one's funny. There may be hope for you yet. Your turn, smart stuff. Knock them dead. But not literally. Got me? <laughs> Got me with an ancient jest that's older than I am. <laughs> Win or lose, I'm stealing that one. Big jokes are never wrong. Well done. Cheers, whistles and applause. You're almost shocked. Yeah, yeah, you're hilarious. Now get out of here before I lose my job. Mother was still alive. Second best. Me. Maybe it's time for this old boy to find a new grift. When my break comes, I'm going to play with the kitchen cats. I don't care what Rivalor says. Tears balls. Just lost the best job I ever had. Easy work in the upper city. But you don't care. And why should you? Sorry I said anything. <sighs> On days like this, I miss the forest. I used to scamper amongst my woodland friends, if you can believe it. Here, not a squirrel in sight. The service here is worse than ever. What do you have to do to get a drink around here? I 
I would love to have seen Gortash's coronation, but I would have to have skipped the after feast. I'm on a strict diet. Gortash, an archduke? Saw him once at a distance. Looked like too much of a pipsqueak to fill those boots.
is somewhere among the wine racks. On the other side, you'll find a passageway, known only to those invited to do business. That might be worth a look. No traps, please. inside. I'm ready. No time to waste. have stayed interesting. Should mind my step. The pilot's been awakened. Racket's forces are near. Every brick out if you have to. If it doesn't come, we must find evidence of its whereabouts. My faith will guide me. On I go. All right. What now? Light on my feet. Lazel, glad you could join us. The Kithraki have spread word of that artifact that you carry. Tell me. Lazel of Kalir. What reward do you think the Astral Prism will fetch once I pluck it from your corpse and present it to Vlakith? What honors, what riches will the Undying Queen grant me when I hand her the failed prince? Stand down! I protect the Prism on our Queen's behalf. 
The Undying Queen cares not for who delivers her the prism and the traitor prince within. All that matters is that it is delivered. The false heir's head will make a fine trophy for Vlakith. As for you, I will leave nothing behind but meat and shattered bone. Damnable whelp. For a thousand years I have given my life to Vlakith. I will deliver to her the Prince of the Comet. She shall exalt me. The Gish will record my great deed in slate. Jamar Zala Vlakith! No rest, be you wicked or wise. Dear me, I think we have given offense. Hunting. For the Queen! In many of the
dampen the pain. Take your view. Oh.
Kajazeth. to be friends. For the fallen. Ever easy. 
with haste. Seals the way through. I'll reveal it to you. Wonder if the battle has taken its toll. I should rest. That's a dear job. Can't afford to stay idle. Always nice to be wanted. No rest. Be you wicked or wise. Wherever we go, ye gods, let there be something green. That won't stop me yet. Never wanted the easy path. Watch your elders and learn. Just poking around.
That might be worth a look. My old home. Thank you for bringing me back. Look around. You'll find some of my things still intact. Perhaps even useful. That's curious. My old sword. My first purchase as an adventurer. No use to me anymore. It's yours, if you want it. Brave blood. Still alive. So that's progress. On my way. Hmm. What's that? My cutlery set. A gift from my mother. The butter knife is missing, but otherwise it looks to be complete. I don't need it anymore, but the memory stirs something. I use to buy my meals. Villains and lawbreakers. You see, I tried to exercise morality where I could. So brief, so simple, and yet full. Something over there. goes nothing. Breathe. 
breathe deep and move. You kill the rats, yes? I heard commotion in the cellar. Good. Perfect. Here, you take this. And do not worry. Chef Revere's eyes will be kept most peeled for murderous knaves. No time for playing with cats. Especially lazy lumps that won't catch rats. Chef Revere has been staying most vigilant since your warning, yes. Only murders in this kitchen will be of the rat kind.
These boots have seen everything. They say that home is where a person can be their truest selves, without guile, without pretense. You did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. The flavors of my favorite fiddlehead soup should you wish to experience it for yourself. My beloved confidant and loyal companion Rascal. The very first reward I gifted myself on completion of my first adventure. The garments with which I concealed and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. We spoke of my relationship with Duke Berlin Stelmane. A story I have told no one else. I have no more secrets from you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common goal. By necessity, not design. But I'm glad you appreciate the richness of my experience. Yours has been no less exciting, but even with all your experience, it has not been easy. The only way we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together. But few would trust a mind flare. So I did what I had to to convince you. I studied you, your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. That you are complex and full of contradictions. It was no easy task, but I had to persist. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how much I would enjoy your company. Crown's magic, it has complete control over each and every member. It was intelligent before, but now, with its hide mind established across the city, it is well on its way to becoming indestructible. You should reconsider your attachment to your physical form. You have seen what an illithid can do. Imagine. Some of that could be in your grasp. 
Not enough to warp your appearance beyond recognition, but just enough to enhance your potential. And believe me, it will radically increase our chances of success against the Elder Brain. Think on it. Welcome, Face. How can I help? The dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. As long as they do their jobs, they can sing sea shanties for all I care. issue. Print issues limiting space, according to our esteemed editor. Do you want a paper? Thank you.
festival last year. The streets were packed. The stem. If you've not tried Master Metzli's wines yet, I, I hear they're lovely. I must say, this vintage is... These barrels aren't light. I'll tell you that for free. Excuse me. Your unwashed stink is putting me off my wine. In my opinion, we should have a still watching Western Algeria at home. Why? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. A fine festival indeed, wouldn't you say? Okay, uh, the joke. You're last. You can say hi. Welcome. I'm not really a wine person myself, but freeze free. The wine here is good. Can't say the same of the immediate company. I'm afraid I can't talk. I need to focus on this wine. It... You know, they're just giving out free wine here, calling it a sample. Very cosmopolitan. Have you heard what those refugees have been up to? Murder. And worse. You know, festivals like this give me a bit of hope. Everyone's so happy. Now, keep it quiet. I'm thinking I might have a little work tipple. <sighs> Glorious summer's day, is it not? Perfect, in my opinion, for a light, refreshing tipple. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think some of these folk might be drunkards. Lovely day for it. There's some rather lovely vintages out today. I'd get in quick if I were you. Let's see. What's inside? Too. Adults have parents too. Cora said so. <laughs> I miss my parents, especially Mum. She made the best apple pie. I've got Molly. And Cora, she makes a really good pot roast. Don't tell anyone I said this, but I actually think it might be better than Mum's. Have you seen him? Have you seen my dad? His name is Yatsik. He's a super brave knight. We came here together, but he had to leave. 
He said that Cora would look after me. She's really nice, but I miss Dad. There's a sadness in her voice that betrays a wisdom beyond her years. She knows her father's not coming back. He is. I miss him. But I'm glad he left me with Cora. She's really nice. She looks after all the kids who've got nowhere to go. She's helping me write down all of my dad's story so everyone will know how brave he is. Let's get on with it. And as well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Why don't they let us have any wine? It's just grape juice. Wish I had a bag of holding. Say that stresses me out more than the Gazette, mate. Something over there. I can crack that open. Assume nothing. No time to rest. Wonder what's past this.
hello there. We were just about to try some of Master Metzli's delightful wines. Oh, would you care to join us? Oh, they do look ever so tasty. Ah, Mrs. Highbury. I prefer to conduct tastings individually, so I may assess your palate. Call me Cora, Master Metzli. And I'm afraid I must insist on their joining us. Wine's no good without company, after all. Wine scent is almost sickly sweet, with an acrid note just on the periphery. Poison. No! It was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect! You have sullied it with knowledge, made it an unclean sacrifice. I will remember your face, and I will peel it from your skull, should you interfere again. You still have time to surrender.
shackles are raised. The assassin escaped. To move on to his next victim all the faster, now we have his trail. Yes, Edvard. Can I call you Edvard? Well, Edvard, I do support you. I'll never understand people who don't want to be famous. The more the people like you, the more you can get away with. to talk to the locals if you want the true story about Stelmane's death. The Gazette would never print all the juicy details. You've eaten at the Elf Song before. Awful, just awful. I had a stew there once that looked like it had a finger in it. doing here this is a private home understand shouldn't talk to them if they showed up. Hello? I, um, wasn't expecting any guests.
this time, would you believe it? Apples are everything that I've forgotten. Ghosts at this rate. a candle in the box with her. She never likes the dark. Death's blessings upon you. I am Mortark's sire, devotee of Kelimvor. I pray you find comfort among the dead, as I do. To rid ourselves of the coils of flesh is a beautiful thing. I'll take that. I thought I was done for. Lady Look, bless you. Sightseeing. What do you think? I filched the wrong baldy and got myself buried for the trouble. Stone Lord, he calls himself. More like Stone Shies. <laughs> A high and mighty type. Ahem. Oh, I've learned my ways and I'll never steal again. Happy. Look, I ain't got much in the way of thanks, but the stiff below has some fancy doodads. You're welcome to them. I understand. I will do what I can. What's next? Is that blood? No, never mind. I'm cursed to put my hand on everything. What path lies before me? What's up for discussion? I am not leaving until Lily has a god damned coffin. I'm sorry, but our baby girl... Our baby... I know, love. I know. If you're here for a burial, good luck. The carpenter around back claims there's a backlog. We asked for a child-sized coffin, but I said it'll take a month. Seven years of age and murdered. What kind of monster hurts a little girl? <laughs> Shush, love. We're going to get Lily a coffin, all right? Give her the burial she deserves. City is chock a block with bodies, thanks to these murders. I can barely keep up with all the orders. 
Then you'll be a long time standing. Now, you want to bump someone else to the back of the queue? Fine, but it'll cost you. They could pick it up at sunset. Now, get out of my sight. I won't bury Lily without a coffin. I refuse. No one's suggesting that. We've just got to figure this out. You did. <gasps> you hear that, honey? Lily was our world. Knowing that she'll be able to be put to rest properly makes things easier. Thank you. I'm sorry for your loss, but it will be a ten day before I can take your departed. Maybe more. If you notice any odors before then, treat the body with jasmine, honeysuckle, whatever you can get. Kerwin? Oh, yeah. He's just outside, under the great willow with the drooping branches. It's good of you to come. He hasn't had any visitors in a long time. It's important to remember those who have gone before us. I wish there were more like you. Don't mind if I do. the easy part. Seems simple enough. Here lies Bargus freely. He should have looked before he leapt. Mighty Branwen, the foe hammer grants you honor in death. See Baldurg, taken by Umberly's rage, recovered by her grace. This tombstone shows only the graven initials M.T. Grint Thorg, fighter lost in Durlag's tower, 
We couldn't recover your bodies, so we buried your ten-foot pole. Here oh, rests Alistair Manley, can't help taken but feel too a soon. Of sorrow at this grave. But why? Who is this? That name on the tombstone before. It meant nothing to me, yet I felt a pang of loss all the same. You'd be surprised. Not all of us don robes and dark armor. Some people live perfectly normal lives on the surface, blending in utterly, so that they can serve the Dark Lady in utter secrecy. And not every skill that the Dark Lady asks of her followers can be taught in the shadows. Some can only be mastered on the streets, in daylight, amidst crowds. Lying, tailing, observing without being seen, picking a purse without being felt. I think I must have been sent to learn all these things from the man in that grave. Alistair Manley. Sounds human, and the grave wasn't recent. He must have died some time ago. And I mourned him already. He'd surely not have been buried here if he was exposed. He must have taken the secret of his faith to the grave. Undiscovered. A very Sharon ending. This headstone has been vandalized, altered to read Rotting Place of Gothric Rillin. Bibik, favored of Ogma. Your songs live on in the streets and in our hearts. Here rest the remains of Ronnie Morello, cause of death, starvation. Honored Commander Harold Loggerson, killed by deceitful followers of Baal. We will not let this happen again. Rest in peace, Janina, beloved mother, gone too soon. Here lies Anna Marie, my nanny, but good as mum. The stone on this vandalized tomb now reads, Fear the Lord of Bones, he never dies. This tombstone has been vandalized, its original wording replaced with Vampires are real. This stone on this vandalized tomb reads, cry a rain of tears so flowers may bloom over Iris. Here lies Ogre Bob, his arm anyway, it's all that would fit. He will be missed at Whitburn Quarry. M. Kerwin, treasured. Yeah, well, no, uh, I 
dug in, see? Looking for trinkets. <laughs> found them too. <laughs> and I found them first. So you can find your own bleeding grave to rob. <laughs> Here lies Ogre Bob, his arm anyway, it's all that would fit. He will be missed at Whitburn Quarry. Final resting place of Dolcan Elendara, ever close to your beloved Elf Song Tavern. Here lies Duncan, last of the Gory clan, who died without issue. Gwyn Highbury, stillborn, but not we forgotten. Play here. This is where they like to hide. But it's not allowed. Why are you being stupid? Is this part of the game? You're going to be in so much trouble. Come out, sister. I will find you. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The smell of rot, the smell of death. Sister always hides from me. She likes to play. In the ground, over there. <laughs> Some people covered her in dirt, <laughs> but I will find her again. I can't leave her out here alone. Sister is always happy to see me. She told me so. She will smile so much when I find her. He won't listen to me. I told him it's naughty to play in graveyards. Ah, Sandril. Gone, but ne'er forgotten. This headstone is anonymous, reading only, As I am now, so you shall be. Here lies flying Martha, who couldn't. Beloved little Tan, never forgotten. Calamvor guide your soul. Very well. My Agnes shall be dancing in the market. Flowers in her hair. Not here. Not like this. I hope the Grand Duke strings up whoever did this to her. Beloved Agnes Schweitz. Her smile shined like a thousand suns. 
Prisoner 3046, commended to Jurgle's Ledger. Here rots an executed traitor to the city. Do not repeat his mistakes. Here lies Arthur Billfold, dedicated patron of unconventional arts. Flandro Tarask Biter Grassley, the hunter hunted, the biter bit. Slow down. That might be worth a look. Mm. Better not be cursed. Here lies Lord Gregorian Gorion, first High Constable of Baldur's Gate, the city's protector. Never a dull moment. Something good here, I hope. Moving in. Thank you. 
No time to dally. Not a chance I'll fit in there. Indolence breeds madness. If not over, then through. a break. Brave and loyal Rocky, who saved his master from an ambush.
Same old song. harvest. Still enough to be done this day. What's in here? Should mind my step. Brave and loyal Rocky, who saved his master from an ambush. Fearless Gordis, 
who would chase any prey and helped bring in our greatest trophies. Lionheart Xena, fierce watchdog. At night, no one dared to pass her post. Master Paul, who trained our pack to perfection. before its teeth were fully grown. Here we go. Here lies the Houndmaster of the Durinbolds, surrounded by his loyal pack, good boys and girls all. swift as my feet can carry me. Statue of Jurgle, Lord of the End of Everything, the final scribe of the fate of the deceased. in the elder open the bloody gates 
adventurers Alexa and Orion Goodbeard, intrepid explorers of the Plain of Shadows. Jay Orchard, artificer of Gond, crafter of odd sockets. Eldoth Kron, raise a glass to the poor bastard. Fidia Pengist, a noble lanceboard player to the last. Didn't know her name, we just called her Gramishka. Keep a look out. The Mortark don't take kindly to raising the dead, but I won't be long, I promise. My big brother, Garrett. He got killed by that murderer guy, but I'm gonna fix him. Now, keep watch. The Mortark said the same thing. But I miss him. A lot. Fine. I won't try again. For now, at least. Mum can't even look at me. I want you home, Garrett. Mum won't stop crying. Dad is always at the pub. Brighten up a loved one's grave with a bouquet. Freshly picked. Andreas Lota, beloved of Ciro Lali, may we keep your hearth warm. Here lies Gayira Snake Mother Denise. Matriarch to a brood of venomous daughters. Here lies Anonymous. Whoever you were, we buried you with care. Josie Ann Fountainhead, outstanding manip of the fists. L. Brenton, beloved. This tombstone has been vandalized and now reads Your money don't matter when you're dead, prick. Would Sarah like some flowers? They do a wonder at brightening up a grave. I bring fresh ones to my husband's every few days. I'm not. My husband was an ass. <laughs> but he gave me three beautiful kids. So the old goat gets flowers. I get them up by Bloombridge. A druid lives that way, so you know they're extra fresh. They're not for the dead, they're for the living. Same with funerals, coffins, all of it. I put flowers on my husband's grave for me, to remember the good from the bad. We get on better now than when he was still alive. Of course.
come back any time. You won't find fresher. Brighten up a loved one's grave with a bouquet, freshly picked. This tomb has been defaced with crude marks pointing downward. Aradin the Elder, open the bloody gates. Look at me. Let flowers say what words never can. Don't give me trouble now. to the easy part. goes nothing. Step carefully. There's a trap. Let's move. What's the point in having my flowers? Every color of the rainbow, right here. Oh. 
action, not reaction. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. I must keep going. Better fetch that. No one back home will ever believe this. Breathe deep and move. Blackets will be done. Without delay. of a real war devil but they were a pain to acquire Blackets will be done shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times Come on, open up. Light on my feet. Always room for more. On my way. I welcome thee to the Devil's Fee, where every hellish curio's a rarity. So merry be and shop with glee. You're a steamer. 
timidness returns. Oh, joyous hour. You must be awfully familiar with our esteemed Archduke to know about a thing like that. Truly, that's remarkable. I like to deal with remarkable people. Very well. You seek answers. Lord Mammon seeks coin. I will happily mediate. Make me an offer. The first hit's free, eh? Oh, fine. I'll humor you, mortal. Just this once. You stand before Mammon's picklock. Latch keeper of the nine hells. My business is not information, nor hellish curios. Not really. I break people into the hells. That's my thing. I can reveal to you that I opened a portal for Lord Gortash. Raphael. That sounds vaguely familiar, but I have a terrible memory for names. The only thing that jogs it is coin. I mean, I suppose that'll do. Stingy bastard. Yes, you are quite correct. The Crown of Carsus left the vault, and an opportunity opened for a devil named Raphael. His house of hope is furnished with a great deal of treasures, many related to Carsus. But alas, he lacks the crown itself. He's rather ambitious. One can only wonder what he has planned for the crown. The answers to that can probably be found within his house. Time for a social call, then. I'm sure Raphael makes for a wonderful host. What a fascinating proposition. Ludicrous, of course, but fascinating nevertheless. Very well. If you wish to die in Avernus, that's your business. Mine is charging you for it. Of course, such a task will require quite the substantial donation to Lord Mammon's coffers. Such a task would be tantamount to suicide. Do not even entertain it. put me in a difficult position, mortal. You are almost certain to fail. Almost. And so, there is a chance you might succeed. Fine. I'd like to be able to carry all of my precious stock without the need of a team of oxen. There are gauntlets of hill giant strength within the House of Hope. Free passage, and you fetch them for me. Deal? Allow me to outline how this is going to work. First, you were never here. We never spoke. Second, you will perform the rites yourself. I want absolute deniability. 
Here's the grimoire and necessary components. Oh, take this key, too. It unlocks the ritual room upstairs. There's a blood circle already drawn. Don't ask whose blood. Along with the grimoire and components, Helsick hands you a note containing precise instructions for performing the ritual. Finally, you were never here. That is of utmost import to remember. Now be gone! My most perceptive, prospective customer. Welcome back. Now you've seen what I have for thee. Remember, discretion is key at the devil's fee. Assume nothing. Let us have words. I welcome thee to the devil's fee, where every hellish curio's a rarity. So merry be, and shop with glee. Blood? No, never mind. Time to press ahead. Oh, I'll give it a shot. would have such an infernal collection. Crooks and swindlers beware. Steal from the devil's fee and it won't be the flaming fist who come knocking. Catch a glimpse of the delights of the nine hells. From a safe distance, of course. Crystal, you see the devil Raphael sipping from a goblet of blood red wine. He smiles as he catches your eye. Can he see you? The 
horns of a real war devil. But they were a pain to acquire. A real fiend skull. By the size, I'm guessing a gargatula. The Devil's Feet. Indolence breeds madness. I have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. Work is never done. Let's see. I don't. Don't see the point. Staying informed seems super stressful. Hearing you say that stresses me out. What are you 
do with a decapitated head anyway? Not like you could sell it. <laughs> What do I think of Lord Gortash's still watch? Well, I am so glad you asked. We weren't doing anything. We were just waiting for a friend. It ain't over, wizard. So, why are you doing nothing? Why are you waiting for a friend? Which is it? Here and here. Look, mama, look. It's so, so. Do you mind? I'm in the middle of an interrogation. you in a copy of our fine, fine broadsheet. Have a gander at that. Come back tomorrow if you fancy fresh news. Find all the remedy and alchemy ingredients you need at Bone Cloak's Apothecary. Bone Cloak's Apothecary. your goat. Sorry. Didn't anyone teach you to sweep towards the door? Need more business than this to keep the place afloat? Maybe if you didn't eat enough for three, Balin, you glutton. Sorry, Derek. <laughs> now there's a mug I won't soon forget. How's that noble stock treating you, eh? Better be good. Shrooms is why our customers came. We're out on our arses soon enough without it, I hope you know. <laughs> oh, sure. Cultists on the loose, a murderer hacking people to bits, and big metal freaks stomping hither, thither, and yon. Couldn't be more delighted. He's wrecking my head, as always. Makes himself useful with a broom from time to time, at least. Go on, then. It's bone cloaks. I'm Balin. Hello. Nice to meet you. 
We sell all sorts of ingredients and goods. Ah, go on, Balin. Get on with it, then. I've got to finish this now. Bye. Let's see what this does. Trader appears encouraged by your interest in this item, though of course you'll need to pay for it. Traders have private property. It seems that item is not for sale. I've got a long road ahead. I need to find a way forward. Well, what is it? Just a little further. So if I will soften my steps. Someday I will sit down. Quick and quiet. I'm sure I have not lost the neck. Just like when I was a child.
Nature's servant awaits. Gotta make my next move with a flick of the wrist. Let's get on with it. No time to waste. Time to press ahead. Yes. Let's see. Anything nice for an aged old harper? Still alive, so that's progress. Might as well. Just a little foraging. No rest. Be you wicked or wise. Have to keep going. Might be useful.
Let's get going. Don't waste the step. Just can trips. I can keep this up all day. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the verily uh, behold and stuff. Just like a stand over the greater says. Illuminations of the mysterious ancients. Back off, Chop. You're too close. Do you want to lose your eyebrows? Speak up. Got a tip for you, mate. Don't believe everything you read. Politics gossip. All of it gets in that bloody boulder's mouth rag. Can you believe it? They removed the boulder's mouth puzzle section. That was the best bit. And for what? An interview with some lord. I don't care what he's done. I just want my letter games back. What are you staring at, pal? You dropping eaves? Get gone! Or decapitated? Ah, decapitated. Hands down. Quicker! Are you? Same. Move along, citizen. Nothing to see here. As the superior officer, I think I'll delegate all the sentry shit to Gon Fallon and catch me a nap. Thank you. 
A magic show. It's been ages since there was any fun in this city. Nice. Cool. Seriously cool. My favorite firework color is like dark violet because it's the most cool. I'm gonna grow up to be a great wizard and wade through my enemies with spells of fire and blood. Mostly fire. Just look at her. <laughs> she hasn't been this excited since her birthday. Don't spend your gold in there, mate. Busted wizard don't deserve it. Get this tin pissed off out of my face. Up for discussion. Let me back in. I'll bring Laroakin out here, you tin tube. You tell Laroakin I went for his goddamn night song. And now he has to pay up. What are you looking at? Shit, it's you. You went looking for the night song after me. Please tell me you found it. Laroakin, the wizard who set out the contract, he owns this place. And his little page boy inside knows how to get to him. Laroakin said it'd be easy money. A smash and grab. Get in, get the night song, go. Turns out his little relic was in a temple of Shah, beneath an army of goblins. He'd never have taken my people in if I'd known. I can't bring them back. But I can make Laroakin cough up. Especially if you found the relic. And Asima. Hells. If I'd known, I'd have asked for more gold. Kidnapping costs more than theft. Don't forget, I'm the one who gave you that contract. I want my cut. some sense into you. But you know what? I'm too goddamn tired. If she's out there, I'm gonna find her. You mark my words. This armor is a construct animated by powerful magic. It has no soul or power of speech, but it follows the directives of its master. It feels no pain and knows no morality. It will act on behalf of its master and perish when the magic that binds it is severed.
Welcome, dear patron, to Sorceress Sundries. I am an unperson in service of the revered wizard Laroken, proprietor of this fine establishment. To browse our wares, say, trade. To provide information about the night song, say, night song. If you are a city official here to collect dues, say, taxes. For all other inquiries, say, other. I'm sorry, I didn't understand your query. To browse our wares, if you are a city official here to collect dues, the provision of information that leads to the retrieval of the night song is worth a great deal to Master Laroican. Do you have information regarding the night song? Please proceed upstairs for further instructions. Thank you. Please come again soon and have a magical day. Sure, you'll manage. It's not as if your father's a bear just yet. Oh, I shouldn't have. There's not much left. Looks like folks heard the absolute was on the march and brought everything that wasn't nailed down. Where is the famous Laroican? His shop is a nutter shambles. Not one for customer service. <laughs> Excuse me, can't stop. There's only so much shopping time left before the absolute breaches the city. I don't think it'd hurt. They'll probably have even less tomorrow. Madness. Utter madness. Next they'll start panic buying parchment. Oh, one moment. I'm trying to work out how many pinches of mugwort is equivalent to one of Mother's Leaf. Gods. The shelves are practically. Would you mind if I finish browsing before you, Musselin, please? I was here first, actually. Hunter, I see. The hidden gems here are far better value than the rare books Tolna keeps locked behind the desk. <laughs> it must have some sort of merit if social sun stops it. Well, at least they seem to use the... Everything is I can tell you're a discerning. You're after nothing but the best. And luckily for you, that's exactly what I want. The best necromantic charms in the city. Or your money back. Just think of the possibilities once you have a fresh, high quality, completely safe zombie at your disposal. Gods, but it stinks. Oh, and it looks like somebody melted most of its flesh off. I'd be a laughing stock with that lumbering round after me. Now, well, now, you and I both know that being undead takes a toll on a corpse. We also do a range of fetching liveries and complimentary perfume spritzers. All seasonal, of course. Complimentary, you say? The newborn zombie gazes at you hungrily, pus drooling from its slack jaw. Do you think that zombie looks fresh? Is fresh good? I never know with zombies. Apologies. I'm with a customer at the moment. You make a fine point. Very efficient, you'd be. No fish. Only chicken, beef, and vegetables. No pork either. Your body, you would make the rules. Have you seen? 
seen how much the prices have risen. Might as well be throwing my gold straight into the lava elemental. I want a pet elemental, but Mumba says I'm not old enough. I wouldn't let it die like the goldfish, though. The lava elemental looks at you placidly, near unfathomable heat beating against your face. I think it's very funny. Well, you're wrong. The water elemental appears to turn towards you, showering everything with a bracing mist. an environment of quiet reverence. Huh. Bold! You might have heard that our library has a collection other shops would lack the skill to curate. Even Master Lavorokan was reluctant to house them in his tower. The pen is mightier than the magic wand, apparently. <laughs> They're locked away here for their and our customers' safety. Our finest reserve includes the Tharkia Codex, the Annals of Carsis and Netherese Folly, Sites of the Sealy, and the Curriculum of Strategy. Do any of those interest you? choice. If I didn't know better, I think you might have the necromancy of Thay in your possession. I'd advise tremendous care with the Tharkia Codex. The cost of unlocking its mysteries is onerous. Its author was a spectacularly talented halfling. She was, allegedly, able to establish contact with members of the Seely Court. Can you even imagine what wonders the Fey Pantheon might have revealed? Oh, incredible. You've heard about the Red Knight, I trust? Devout strategist made Exarch of Tempest. This treaty is a compilation of her own design, kept here on the material plane for the benefit of us mortals. Quite rare. Bye. Books as temperamental as these are not on sale. They are secured in our vault, where none can harm them, nor can they do any harm. I'm happy to describe the wonders that lie between their covers, but I'm afraid purchasing them is simply out of the question. It is said to be written by Lord Carsis himself. The Netherese Arcanist, who attempted to replace the goddess Mistra, failed and was banished for the attempt. Great magic. 
magical knowledge lies within those pages. But not many can withstand it. The annals of Carsus would no doubt have much to say about the crown's true nature. If only you could read them. knowledge of these tones is enough to stimulate most. They must have some sort of... <laughs> well, at least they seem to use that. breeds madness. I will be heard. How can I help you? Scrolls, parchments, codices, tones. Take a look and see what caused it. How can I help you? Despite everything. for the least bit of respect for the written word. Go act the clown on your own time. Come back when you've cobbled together some manners and are prepared to pay for the damages. I don't think it'd hurt. 
probably have even less to Must have some sort of merit in the some source of sun to stop it. Well, at least they seem to use the blood, everything of jewelry, not a title for me, I think. That's exactly what I not everyone can just say. There's a man in charge in the city. Why aren't they rushing in? Gold, it's all about profit, my love. Very well. <laughs> Take it. God, stinks. Never wanted the easy part. Looks like something. Why, of course, darling. I'd be laughing with that. Pretty gale, isn't it? This is just his sort of place. Welcome, dear patron, to the floor at the top of the stairs. If you have information about the night song, great riches await. If you are here to waste the great wizard Laroican's time, reconsider. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. Song is an immortal being, the child of a deity. The Night Song is a priceless ruby from a realm beyond our own. The Night Song is an ancient potion that allows its drinker to become irresistibly attractive to man and god alike. The Night Song is a druidic staff that allows its bearer command over an army of ancient beasts. Still, Miklaw. Uh, Craig's aim is much improved, but uh, still leaves something up to chance. Yes, sir. All right, Crank. Ready? Aim. Oh. Hmm. We have a visitor. That is. Claw, you may go. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I see no night song. Uh, surely you wouldn't have entered my tower without the night song in hand. Surely you wouldn't have wasted my time. You'll have more gratitude than you know how to count once the night song is in my hands. Do you have it or not? She? Then you do know her. You've been to Shah's temple. To the Shadowfell. You've looked upon the Night Song's face. Tell me, and choose your next words carefully. Where is she now?
I'm growing tired of this repartee, my friend. Let us cut to the chase. Beautiful, isn't it? Worth more than your life, too. I bought it from a Kalashite warlock. There's very little of his soul left to him. It can bind a celestial to the wearer's service with a snap of the fingers. And this? This can keep her in place. Forever. We shall see, won't we? Do as I say, and you will be rewarded beyond imagination. Fail, and you give up the prize to the next motivated mercenary to encounter my contract. The choice is yours. But make no mistake, I always get what I want. Bring him the night song, won't you? He'll be so very pleased, so very happy if his plans materialize. have a job to do so do it quickly
more shopping to do. Haste. Be on my way. So Laroa can covet Dame Aelin. He'll live to regret that once we inform her. If you're sure. Fine. I'll... Let us find Aelin and extend Loroakin's invitation. It has been too long since I have seen a wizard cry. You're sure? Later, then.
We should tell Aelin that Lororican is hunting her. She has a right to know. Also, she'll want to cave his skull in. And honestly, I would not mind seeing that. Darling, lead on. If that charlatan Lororican thinks he can best Dame Aelin, he's even more clueless than I believed. We should inform her of his delusions. No doubt she'll have great fun in dispelling them. With pleasure. Lead on. We should tell Dame Aelin of Laroican's intentions. I look forward to helping her pound this whelp's skull to grit. swift as my feet can carry me. Better not be cursed. Storage and sorting of scroll work, parchment, and tomes. Quite some valuable knowledge hidden between these pages.
No entry to vaults. Trespassers will be disintegrated. Master Laroican. Don't touch me. <laughs> Easy. No one back home will ever believe this. Be cautious. A trap. Just as I expected. Be wary. This place is trapped. Keep your distance, darling. Each door named after a wizard of renown. The annals must be behind Cast's door. Don't linger. Trapped. How considerate. a break.
Ah, my fate. Hello, my dear. How delicious. within reach. Looking ahead. Don't waste the step. Step carefully. There's a trap. Someone's left a trap out. Unlock hereby the path to the Elminster Vault. And these things have stayed interesting. A step forward. Oh, curse to put my hand on everything. is more dangerous than I thought. What a day. Dread lightly. Traps. How considerate. Traps. How considerate. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting. Beware. This place is trapped. Trust no one. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out. Unlock hereby 
the path to the Carsus Vault. At the ready. There's nothing. Time to press ahead. Oh, action, not reaction. I wish I had a bag of holding. Indolence breeds madness. Careful, I bind. Moving. Still alive, so that's progress. of Carsus, the preamble to a civilization's downfall, committed to parchment by the very hand that wrought its destruction. If the crown atop the Elder Brain was truly forged by Carsus himself, this book will confirm it. 
All we have to do is turn the page. And since when have we sought to avoid trouble, eh? Come now. The knowledge lurking between those pages could help us greatly. Don't be a hindrance after being such a great help. That devil Raphael was telling the truth. There's no doubt. The crown of Carsus is what's controlling the Elder Brain. And this, this is no mere journal. It contains Carsus's original plans for the crown's construction. His designs for godhood. Gods have ascended through far stranger means. A circle drawn on a globe, a walk in a swamp. The destruction of a magical stone. Why not with a symbol of such innate authority? The book states that the crown and nether stones were originally one construct, seemingly sundered at the moment of Carsus's downfall. If we can collect the crown setting and the three nether stones, and with the correct invocation of certain spells and gestures detailed in these notes, I think I could reforge it. To every end you can imagine, and a thousand more beyond. Just think of it. The power of the gods in mortal hands at last would be free of doctrine and dogma, confined only by the limits of our imaginations. I promise you, the gods will never grant us such a blessing, no matter how much we worship and adore them. I don't know. Ao does not look kindly on gods meddling in mortal affairs. She may have no choice but to stand by and let events unfold. Even with the fate of the world at stake, she had little more to offer me than the means of blowing myself up at a more convenient time. She's done nothing to help us. Mistra wanted the brain obliterated because of this crown. She fears a world in which such power is beyond her control, ready to be claimed by Carsus's successor. Neither of us can know what truly may be if we don't at least try. Potential is nothing in itself. Just a fleeting dream unless we drag it into the waking world. Please, at least think on it. Powerful as he was, Carsus lacks some advantages I can lay claim to. I know Mistra intimately, and I carry a fragment of the weave itself within my body. Carsus achieved many things, hmm. but he never managed that. A long road lies ahead before the crown comes into our possession. All I ask for now is that you do not dismiss this possibility out of hand. Please, at least think on it. I see. I suppose I am asking you to take a leap of faith. Even the most loyal of companions might struggle to land gracefully. It's been so long feeling... inferior. Shut out from my destiny over such a simple act of youthful enthusiasm. Perhaps I got carried away with the thought this crown could give me back what Mistra took. Cure me. Even. You're right. The 
There aren't many wizards who'd care to be mentioned in the same breath as him or his folly. Whatever comes of this, we cannot allow the crown to be reforged in Raphael's image. A devil wielding the might of Cassus. It would be the end of everything. Seems powerful. What could it do once it's extracted? Nothing good can come of it unless it is contained. Why? It might be useful. Who knows? Moving ahead. Just enjoying a lungful of bull durian air. <laughs> yes, a distinctive aroma, though perhaps not one worthy of bottling. Tell me, what curiosities have you and your uh, companions discovered within the walls of this esteemed emporium? So, well, far be it for this doddering old archmage to pry into another man's shopping bag. Oh, uh, as we hear, I shall offer you a morsel of general and non-specific advice. Yours to apply to any relevant knowledge you may have recently acquired. Some things are best left broken, and some people are well worth restoring. What are you saying? Or rather, what are you not saying? Mistra knows you defied her game. Well, of course she knows. She's Mistra. She bids you come to her holy shrine in the Stormshore Tabernacle. There... She will grant you an audience at last. There is only one reason why you should set your ambitions on such an item. To offer it over to Mistra as a token of your loyalty. Perhaps then she would overlook your earlier failings. But if you crave it for yourself, you would not just be failing her, you would be challenging her. Choose wisely, Gail. Do not trade one calamity for another. If you will not hear it from me, Hear it from your goddess. 
And what truths she has to offer are for your ears alone. Gale of Waterdeep. <laughs> Godspeed. So all it took to get Mistra's attention was to learn how to reforge an artifact that once destroyed her. It's obvious when you stop to think about it. The Weave is a highly sensitive magical network threaded through all life on this plane, any shift in magical energy, no matter how small, is akin to a beacon alerting Mistra to its cause. Opening a book like the Annals of Carsus was akin to us shooting a firework spelling, look at us, Mistra, directly into the skies of Elysium. She knows. This is a conversation that's long overdue on both sides. I owe it to her to hear her out. Come what may afterwards. After you. Stormshore Tabernacle, if my memory serves me. <laughs> Do whatever you need to. But I shan't be paying my respects to any of the gods on show. You never felt the call of the divine, Astari. Oh, I tried them all. None of them answered. Some time since I stood before her in a place like this. I'm sure you'll understand if I remain unbowed. She stands, just as Elminster promised. Mistra, goddess of the weave, mother of all magic. The old man wasn't lying. She's opened the summoning channel. Can't you feel it? Gail's right. The very air around the statue crackles with magic. It sets your teeth on edge. A stream of pure undiluted weave i only have to reach out and it will carry me to mistra wherever she may be your goddess calls serve her or denounce her as you will but you cannot ignore her time was i'd have given my right arm for a chance to speak with mistra again <laughs> the left one too maybe a knee Thankfully not. No, she's not been averse to demanding the odd human sacrifice in recent days, has she? When I pictured this moment, I thought I'd feel more in control. Yet, yeah, here I am, with palms sweatier than a bugbear's armpit. I always wonder what being nervous would feel like. I hate it. You're kind to say so, but this is hardly my first time in Mistra's presence. It's more the matter of what I'm going to say to her. 
During my time locked away in Waterdeep, I prepared a quite comprehensive speech for her on the subject of our former relationship and the manner in which it ended. Alas, recent events have rendered the majority of it moot, so I'm gonna have to improvise. Unless you have any words of wisdom to impart before I go. The summoning channel Mistra has provided is one only I can enter. No matter how much I prefer not to face her alone. Hmm, you're right. A heartfelt apology is the surest way to a goddess's heart and her favor. I pray that she'll be in a forgiving mood. If she weren't the one I'd be praying to. I'll only be gone for a matter of moments. The Outer Plains experience time quite differently to our own. Wait for me. Please. Waterdeep. You look well. Mistra. I never thought we'd speak again like this. Why am I here? There is much unsaid between us. But time runs ever short. You discovered what lies at the heart of the Absolute. The Crown of Causes. And you disobeyed my instruction. Why? I didn't want to die. And when I saw the crown, I thought I might not have to, if I only understood its power. And you believe you have the right to such an understanding? The past cannot be undone with self-pity, nor can a future be forged. Only with the truth will you see the way ahead. The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. It is a corrupted, half-born magic, wrought in the brief moment Karsus ascended to godhood. It hungers for power, just as he did, and it can never be sated. You unleashed something that would consume all magic in existence, and yet you thought only of preserving yourself. That can't be. It wasn't. Couldn't have been. I only wish to prove myself worthy. I had no idea. You were already worthy. What you lacked was patience, and it cost you dearly. When the Carsite Weave entered your body, your gifts were the first thing it consumed. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave. A temporary measure, but one that will not be enough to save us. With each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god. Its worshippers, a scourge of soulless illithids. If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Carsis to me. I won't let you down again. When the Absolute is vanquished, I will surrender Carsis's powers to you. You have my word. Thank you. May the Weave's light guide your purpose, and its wisdom guide your hand. The future of magic rests on your shoulders. Gale of Waterdeep, I promise you, it is a burden you are strong enough to bear.
need to find a way forward. soil once more. I can't believe I saw her. After all this time. <sighs> Relieved. Drained. Proud of myself for summoning the courage to go to her in the first place. And, if I'm being totally honest, a bit lightheaded. As if it wasn't enough to have seen her again. She didn't exactly summon me there for small talk. The Carsite Weave. Within me this whole time. I knew the orb was no ordinary ball of magic before it to be Carsus's malignant creation. Gods! How did I not see that? Hmm, true enough. There's a reason such unwitting heroes have been the backbone of lyric and legend for as long as both have existed. Even so, I was hardly some naive apprentice at the time. I considered myself an archmage, and yet was fool enough to be mistaken for a common conjurer. At least now I'm armed with the truth, and Mistress' expectations. Once I bring the crown of Carsus to her, I can put everything right. The orb, too. I'll be myself again. For all that's worth. I, um... I don't know. It's been so long since I dared to imagine an end to the orb's hunger. But I start thinking about it, hadn't I? Imagine. Being able to picture one's life ending in something other than a cataclysmic explosion. What a treat. If I could promise you one thing in return for your faith in me, it's this. I will use everything in my power to ensure we defeat this evil. I will not let you down. Now, I believe we have a date with an elder brain to get to. Shall we? on your mind I've often asked myself the same question and never really found a satisfactory answer you clearly see something in me that I can't the wisdom and intelligence required to overcome almost insurmountable odds perhaps all the stupidity required to attempt it I take it as a compliment either way you don't get to be 13 centuries old without becoming a sound judge of character. And cheese, apparently. I regret many things in my life. Choosing to be here, intact and unexploded, is not one of them. Though the orb still seems to offer our best hope of destroying the brain, I retain some hope that another less costly solution can be found. For now, to have a few more days in your company, no, I wouldn't change a thing. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. So, Gale's agreed to be a good boy and hand the crown over to Mistra. I can't say I would have made the same call, but 
Each their own. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here. It sounds awful. A private word would be nice. I do not trust Mistra to do right with the crown. But I think I trust Gale even less. He should give it to her and be done with it. Or his lust for power might well consume him. It seems Gale has made amends with Mistra. Good for him. Though... I don't see any such reconciliation between myself and Shah any time soon. All right, some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. You wish to consult me? Good. I do not like to stand idle. You wish to consult me? A mistake. When you realize... Gale is a better man than most. To choose what is right, even after what Mistra asked of him. Me? I think I would have tugged the great goddess's hair a bit first. As you wish.
Never wanted the easy path. The book radiates power, but the words you read in the Codex echo in your mind, guiding your eyes safely across the page. The once indecipherable glyphs now feel dangerously familiar, promising unholy power to those who can take it. You can feel the book resisting. Ghostly voices whisper at you from the dark, probing and fighting your mind. But your will is iron, and you brush past these shades of the past, devouring every secret the book has to offer. You see now life and death are malleable as clay, to be bent and reshaped by your will, by your power. But as you close the book, a nagging doubt whispers in your mind. What consequences will there be for calling the dead from their rest?
another step forward. in the nick of time, saintly adventurer. I've been trapped for so long, I dare say I'm half mad! Ho ho! <laughs> Thank you for sacrificing yourself to save me. Such courage brings a tear to the eye. So modest. Oh, it warms the heart. Now, remember, someone must be in the lamp at all times. Toodles! <laughs> oh, freedom, sweet nectar. How I missed you. Oh, my rescuer left behind a servant. I'm terribly sorry for your loss. I'm sure you're to wit's end without your master. Ya fail, the stupendous! Or was it wondrous? Bah! I'm free! And that's all that matters. Know that I will remember your master's sacrifice with great affection. Every month or so. But I must be off. I'm a century late for an appointment. Now, now. Your master touched a lamp like a ding-a-ling. Which means this is your problem, not mine. But if you're after a fight, so be it. Oh, it's been too long since I flexed these glorious magical muscles. Aha! That that will fit in my pack. Never wanted the easy part.
matters. Light on my feet. Always nice to be wanted. Oak Father, east the road. the step. I need a quick word. Need something for defense? Or maybe offense? Either way, I've got what you need.
to be good. My weapons won't be beat. Tell your friends. Help. Tell your enemies if you like. inside. If not over, then through. Seems like a good moment to talk. Mother's milk, your visage speaks of ill tidings. Speak, ally mine. What troubles you? Let us not dwell on those dark days. Their memory is a vortex within my heart that leads directly to the hells. Is he indeed? Pray tell, what does he seek from Dame Aelin? Let them come and let them find me. Dame Aelin will strike down any who seek to bring her to harm's home. Yet, it is better to cut off the head of the snake than to let its slithering snakeling swarm us unabated. This wizard, this wizard, must be held to account. I will wring his neck until he's dead. His end will be one more strand in the great braid of our friendship. I'm coming with you. I'd like to get a few licks in myself. My darling, we agreed you'd scout for the nearest Salunite Enclave this very night. Let us divide our efforts, all the sooner to be reunited. I won't let you go alone. Who knows what this wizard might have planned? Our closest ally will accompany me, won't you? It will be a swift and fruitful chore. Hie we to this Laroican right away. I am as eager to meet him as he is to ensnare me. Aelin left to face that wizard. Uh, Laroican, was it? Even after all she's been through, she thinks herself unstoppable. Invincible. It all feels like recklessness to me. I hope you're right. He sounds like a vile, vile man. I'd have liked to get a few licks in myself, honestly. I wanted to help her, but she said she fights better when she knows I'm safe. I understand, I suppose. I feel the same about her. I'll rest a little easier if you do. You fought well against my father. I imagine a rat like Laroican will be nothing in comparison. Uh, 
curse to put my hands on everything. magician in a tower hiding away from the frightening world what are you so scared of magus not the night song surely why she's nothing but a relic to be purchased and pursued at last there you are my dear you will address me with due deference I am Dame Aelin, and you are a whelp without honor, without pride, with nothing but a tower full of trinkets. Oh, my apologies, Dame Aelin. I meant no disrespect. I asked our mutual friend here to make an introduction that I might get to meet the famed daughter of Saluna. Forgive me for that impudence. Perhaps our friend can bridge the gap and do what I believe they came here to do? My steel-hearted friend speaks true. Give me one good reason, Magus, why I should not strike you down where you stand. <sighs> Dame Aelin, I have discovered a device that would allow your immortality to be shared. It would cause you no harm, no pain of any kind. You serve your mother, Saluna, I believe. She who has blessed our realm with so many gifts. Honor her by sharing yours. You dare to threaten me with the same magic that held me in torment for a hundred years! You do not seek to share my gifts. You seek to poach them. <laughs> I had hoped to appeal to your better nature. Perhaps I overestimated you. Hmm. No bother. I have an arsenal of implements capable of convincing you to see reason. A pity you didn't prove a more reliable ally. You could have reaped the rewards of my good favor. I'd hoped you to keep an open mind, but it seems you're determined to make this as difficult as possible. I have great plans for you, Dame Aelin. And if you will not go quietly, then you'll go kicking and screaming. <laughs> Magicians and their plans for Dame Aelin. Predictable, sadistic, flaccid. Mamadons! Imperatum!
choice but to keep going.
harvest. Heading there. be done.
easy. Leroican, you who would see me caged, you who would purchase my submission with profane gold. Let every wicked magus, every vile murtherer, each slaver and misery merchant see. Dame Aelin is watching. She is indomitable. And when her face lights the shadows of your wrongdoing, you are broken by its beauty! Firehead fool is dead. Yet as I stare upon his corpse, I feel sadness. Why? Perhaps. Yet if I could run him through a thousand times, I wonder. battle has tired my mind, made me susceptible to flights of fancy. You were excellent in battle, as is your way, and I am proud to fight at your side. I will catch my breath, then to camp I will bring my bones. Moon Maiden be with you. I will return to camp shortly. I just need a moment to... to... Let us show them how it's done. Age 
Good old heart. As I'm told. Never a dull moment. Let's see what this does. Let's have a look. Eager for battle. Things have stayed interesting. Something good here, I hope.
breathe deep and move. The corpse regards you lifelessly. <gasps> Ramesses gone, open for the taking. <gasps> Powerful mage. remains silent. It does not know. Ramesses notes. Balthazar's magic. Can't afford to stay idle. Maggots will be done. An efficient path. A trap. Just as I expected. Is that blood? No, never mind. On 
my way. This ought to be good. Boats worn through. Clean up. Can't slow down. Below. Security. Vaults.
artillery. Vaults. Below. Above. Hmm. What's that? Breeds madness. Curious. How high? Broking, broading. Looking ahead. Assume nothing.
Ravens madness. Work to be done. Might as well. These dreams have seen everything. There be something green. Something's on my mind. Welcome back to Sorcerous Sundries. How can I help you? Gobbling party cooking. What's that doing in here? It must have some sort of merit if Sorcerous Sundry stocks it, actually. Well, at least they seem to use the... One more. Everything. You, you know. I'll think about it. Red might as well mean cursed. What's wrong with some classic Elmminster? Maybe a nice bit of Volothamp get on. Have you come to swear yourself to Shuresh by my 
poor. Yes, and no. Your kind has lost their way in their worship of the feline of Felicity. You only hold to her basest tenets. Now, will you heed our mother's call and bolster her as she crushes the heathen absolute beneath her divine paw? Teresh shall mourn your absence, but always honor your capriciousness as her own. May your dusks be long and your hunger fleeting. She's gone to pot ever since I left. Tell you what, we'll try and find someone who can help you mind that, and then we'll get you something to eat. All right, and it can be anything you want, I promise. Found his folks gutted. Didn't see it happen though, thank my gods. City's home to some proper sick bastards. Oh, poor kid found his parents like this. It's a tragedy, yeah. But it's not like we can look after him. Steady. Steady. You're certain Figaro's is in this part of town? No, I wouldn't say I'm certain, just optimistic. We're lost, aren't we? We're not lost, just taking in the view before continuing on our way. The lower cities are bloody warren. I'm surprised anyone can find their way around. Why don't we just retrace our steps? Great idea. Do you remember which way we came? Left, left, right. Down. Crime scene not open to public by order of the flaming fist. The humble home of Frank Pear Tree.
on my feet. A corpse is huge. And is that a burning heart? Stop me yet. Not bad. I've had better days and worse ones. Indolence breeds madness. Do what must be done. What's this? Haste. A 
assume nothing. Alive, so that's progress. Nine hells! You followed me all the way here? What could you possibly want with me now? What? How? Nine hells! D whatever you think you know, I I I'm sure some gold would help you to forget. I'm just a simple toy maker, an artisan. I don't know anything. They would have killed me if I refused to rig the toys. And they're definitely going to kill me now. I can't tell you. I won't tell you. Teddy bears were an experiment. My greatest invention. A clever little device in their chest allows them to speak. But there's more. Smoke powder inside the device. I collect packages from Veloga's fireworks in the lower city and stuff the bears with it. Not because I want to. Because I have to. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll kill me. It sounds terrible when you put it like that, but maybe you can put a stop to this whole operation. I, I don't know who's in charge, but it starts at the fireworks shop. That's where the packages come from. Go there, tell them Uncle Philogia sent you, and they'll show you the smoke powder. Lots of it. There. I told you what you wanted to know. Uh, now, will you let me go? His plea comes with an offering. A pass granting you access to the lower city. They'll find 
find me. A cell won't keep me safe. They run this city. All right, all right, I'll go. But if I'm found hanging in my cell, it'll be on your conscience. Give that... Uh, oh, a fancy trowel person. That's... That's my super special hand, and I need it back. And... Uh, now. I found it by the clown man's tent. Fought a rat for it and everything's... <laughs> It's a, a one-of-a-kind hand with artisanal bite marks. It's worth lots. Lucretia says we family. Suppose that means Dribbles was too. Yeah. But don't tell nobody I gave it to you for free. Got to protect my reputation as a tough business lord. Trito! Trito! Yes! I has lots of stuffs just for you. At your command. Bye now. Come back to Papa soon.
I need a quick word. Moon Maiden, hear me. Protect the woman we both love so very dearly. I expected Nightsong to be overjoyed after killing her fair-haired fool. Instead, she just seemed... tired. <laughs> Hardly! It's going to be the greatest moment of my life. The blood, the screaming... <sighs> Just thinking about it makes me smile. Dame Aelin has little to feel sorry about. The Roacan would have inflicted a far worse fate on her, given the chance. A welcome face. How can I help? As well, I hope, aside from the obvious. Leave Aelin to her sorrow. Likely the wizard only reminds her of all the other fools, past and present, who have sought to use her. You wish to consult me? I brought my own paring knife. up that way you won't find better around here unless you can pay for it I bet that hostel lady wouldn't make you clean the dishes This lot have got a problem with the Gazette, they should take it up with the editor, not make a scene in the streets. Order's Gate's never going to be safe with the Absolute out there. Why would the Gazette lie to an entire city? Kind of terrifying that the likes of Lord Gortash can just decide what's true or not. Despicable. Tasha's campaign. For several. The paper says we're safe here, but we're not. We may as well be outside the walls with the absolute. No point reading the Gazette. You might as well be reading the walls of a tavern privy. There's one of you and four of us. A broken steel watcher. A tag wired to it reads. Unit defective. Return to the Steel Watch Foundry at the West Docks. I'm just trying to do. 
do my job, right? This is Joel's house. No letters, no clerics, no herb sellers, no potion peddlers, and no steel watch. Just a few. So you just disappeared. Wait for the take it. Do you know how worried I was? Or you I'm just not one for buying. Oh, keep me out. to get those cabbages into the city. No, it's impossible. Guard is busy with their patrol and has no time for idle chatter. Would you throw it at a 
real watcher. You don't have the pocket money for that. Maybe a little one, but you have to pay me. Fireworks never hurt anyone. That's just what grown-ups say to make us not want to play with them. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, rats, I'm short. An entire edition dedicated to one lord and his metal toys. For Logis fireworks, once it's lit, you commit. Pyrotechnics, projectiles, crackers and sparklers, fire flowers, bottle rockets, and much, much more. Hosting a couple party? We've got you covered. Red rose torches for sale by the bunch. Just remember, once it's lit, you commit. Faces, hands, and eyebrows. How do we protect them? Watch for wind direction. Put on your gloves. And... A light at arm's length. Very good. And what does Uncle Philogear always say? Once it's lit, you commit. Excellent. Now remember, Philogear's fireworks accepts no liability for singed nails, toasted eyelashes, loss of limbs, scalded torsos, or blown off heads. Now, you there. What can I do for you? You feel an all too familiar squirm in the recesses of your mind. He has a tadpole. Aha. Uh -huh. A fellow friend of Gortash. Praise the Absolute. I have a special sample, available just for you, if you wish. Oh, we trade in all sorts. Anything that can be lit, flamed, or fired up. Smoke powder is a beautiful mistress. She will not be limited to one form, and she is quite malleable in the right hands. What are you really asking, friend of Gortash? This one will be very useful against any and all enemies of Gortash. Be sure to be clear of its explosion area. Please enjoy responsibly, and nowhere near this establishment. Is there anything else I can do for you? You must be Arthur's friend. Keep your voice down. Yes, yes, he's just upstairs, but only one flight. If you get to the top, you've gone too far. Browse as irresponsibly as you like. Just don't tell the other customers. Have you tried the Lantanese candles? Or perhaps the delicate simplicity of a perfectly crafted torch is more to your taste. Of course. Browse responsibly now. Let us show them how it's done. Remember, once it's lit, you commit. And if it's not a firework, do whatever you like. Any torches, matches, wizards, or other sources of open flame, keep them unlit, please. He's a bit of a genius, isn't he? At sales, not fireworks. Of course, it helps to have the only license in town to sell the stuff. Your uncle is waiting for you upstairs. Seems something else. Oh, look at me.
temperature yet? Maintaining temperature. Another friend of Falagir? All right. Just remember the top floor's off limits. Password or not. Looking to buy a little something extra then? That could not be less of your business. Smoke powder in its earthier forms. For purists only. Don't jostle any of the merchandise on your way out. Employees only, Pastia. If you're expecting any packages, they'll bring them down to you. Pressure steady. Are we at temperature yet? Maintaining temperature. Don't. Eight, nine, ten. Look, either you came to buy things from Tamara, or you really don't understand how shops work. Eager for battle. Onward. Have a lot on my mind. And, um, well, I don't look in a little rusted. Right? But we scheduled for me. Can't afford a failure or a critical pie. Mm, not critical, just a bastard if it breaks. Won't blow us up. Still breathing, despite everything. Pressure steady. Are we at temperature yet? Steady. One tree. In my spillage, and I'll be picking my teeth out of the roof beams. Work to be done. Where's an apprentice when you need one? We shall you for my done. mind. Eight. Well, smoke powder has a distinctive olfactory signature. The slightest variance is as detectable as a spark in the darkness and must be put out. Wherever we go, be gone. Let there be something green.
raised. Did I snap a twig or a toe? Yeah. 
पीक It's been a What do you want me to do? Just be a watch when you need them.
This is a restricted area. Time to explain yourself, or this guard will be restricting you to a cell. Your words are enough to resolve the matter. Still, you need to leave. Best not try that again, lest your actions speak louder than your words. No time to waste. Still breathing, despite everything. A step forward. Cap, be cautious. Do what must be done. No one stopped me yet. 
The work is never done. What to do? These boots have seen everything. Watch your elders and learn. Next, I wonder. Let's move. Moving in. What about the smell? It stinks. Something rotten. Probably just a dead cat. Maybe a few dead cats. Not to mention the parchment quality of the Gazette. Ready and waiting. Well, ah, are the gods truly this petty? I'm ready. Blackets will be done. This'll do. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Should mind my step. Enough waiting. I crave blood. Can't afford to stay idle. The work is never done. Yes? Let's have a look. No rest. Be you wicked or wise. What's this? 
and these things have stayed interesting. Swift as my feet can carry me. Broad, she's gone to pot ever since I left. I have something to ask. Welcome back. What can I do you for? It's been slim picking since the absolute butchered that supply convoy. But have a look. Nature's servant awaits. My most perceptive, prospective customer. Welcome back. Now you've seen what I have for thee. Remember, discretion is key at the devil's fee. Just three 
times. Only have to say it you three times. Yeah, but I gave you first, so you have to go. No. Drop a coin, take a flower. May Chauntia's blessings be upon you, child. Property in constant use. Gathering strictly prohibited. Then I can crack that open. That's curious. If not over, then through. I should speak up. Ah, ally mine. We are reunited once more. 
I was just regaling sweet Isabel with tales of our prowess. Very impressive. Thank you for helping Aelin. That wizard sounded absolutely dastardly. He did, and it came. Now, my friend, bask in your victory. I will do the same. My darling, we must inform our friend of our news. Indeed. I've scouted a Salunite enclave outside the city. They faced the Absolute's armies and come out battered and bruised. Aelin and I will go to them, provide what help we can. But fear not. When the time comes for you to face the foe of foes, Isabel and I will stand by your side. We wouldn't miss it. Not for anything. Go well, friend. We will see you soon. And with our great powers combined, this city will be saved. Get up. There's something you should see. Everything's fine, trust me. Now come. stars. I lived for the red of blood and the black of death. Now, I see the colors between. Look at the sun. What do you see? Yes, and something else too. Beauty. The dawn was my torment. Rustling leaves, agony. I couldn't wait to escape this place. Now, I revel in it. I revel in you. You showed me the betweens and beyonds. Between war and peace, beyond passion and obsession, most importantly, you showed me freedom. There's more, but I don't know how to say it. I don't know what to call it. I just know, whatever comes next, I want you near. When all this is over, will you stay with me? For good? Jacques von Vindu. Source of my joy. A welcome face. How can I help?
Shouldn't go wandering in dark alleys. Very dangerous of me. Gets people killed. Why? Your Farling's friend. She said to let you in. Funny little gnome she is. Always laughing at me. Even when I don't joke. Come, I'll let you in. My pleasure. In you go. Before I change my mind. Do not worry. <laughs> Guild's friends are Tuskrunt's friends. And I don't hurt my friends. Unless they deserve it. Mess with us, and it'll be the last thing I do. I mean you do. Shit! job properly then who let you through tuskrunt bloody idiot here's the nine fingers good luck if i were you i'd turn around and walk right out of this alley now This ain't a public rooftop. It's mine, so piss off! Still me, even after everything.
move with purpose. You rancid bastard. <laughs> See? Mine's fresh. Welcome to the Gildal, Faerun's finest festival. As long as you're not sober. Or able to smell. supposed to be the greatest fest hall under the city. So where's all the bloody fun? Maybe that's why this stone lord is pushing so hard. He wants Keen's underroads all to himself. Go on. Technically, I'm supposed to be on watch. Form's a bit patchy, I know. I was Flaming Fist, but the writing's on the wall there. The Steel Watch will be snatching up our contracts in no time. Keen might look down on the Zentarim, but she'll be glad of us once the Storm Lord comes knocking. Do you hear the Harpers were half wiped out? We should be sticking the last of their bleeding hearts instead of guarding this place. The mood I am in, boy. <laughs> I urge you to try. Eh? No disrespect meant, Mom. You can get near anywhere in the city from here without seeing daylight. Once you don't mind the tangy smell of sewer. Look now, the Guildmaster's little hunt is bringing all sorts of new faces out of the woodwork. 
Thanks, but no thanks. Something's on my mind. You won't find much fun here today. Guildmasters batten down the hatches till the Stone Lord problem's dealt with. Guildhall is not what it was. No gambling, no blood games, not even a pissy little peacock fight. Bored! I'm sorry, sweetie pie. I don't do requests. But toss me a few coppers, and I'll shoot you a saucy wink across the bar. It isn't half bad, is it? And this lot, very generous tippers. I'm sure you understand there's only room for one bard here. But I'll let you know if I need a day off. Hmm? Give me that squinty side eye like all those paranoid guildies. Nine Fingers is well respected in the Zentarim. If the Stone Lord's pressing in on her territory, we're here to help. Missed the welcome parade, did you? Hugging, tears. It was just lovely. True, we've been better liked in towns we bloody conquered, but 
It's hard to blame Nine Fingers. On top, undisputed for years. Then you have to call the likes of us in to protect you from some shithead calling himself Stone Lord. I'd be embarrassed too. Me. I'm making plans. Big plans, see? I'm busy doing a thing. Talk to Sticky. Fetcher isn't himself, so I'm running the shop. You buying or selling? Let's just say the previous owners no longer have a use for them. Got me? Fetcher isn't himself, so I'm running the shop. You buying or selling? Let me guess, you need something. Sometimes stuff we sell comes back around to us again. So watch yourself. Got me? See anything you like? Let's go try. See anything of yours? No, you didn't. Your eyes are going to want to wander all over this gold. It's only natural. Just make sure it stops at your eyes, aye? Right? If it's Uktar you're after, he's in with the Guildmaster. Not even Nine Fingers Keen can escape the great balancing of guild books. Don't mind the lady's court. Just a game we play. Figuring how we'll kill you if you cross nine fingers. Bare hands. A charm, of course. And then you'll do it yourself. Uh, no distractions, mate. Nine fingers has me watching over Pierre Priss here. Once our friends and parliament close with this new duke making moves. Ah, you did not see me. A peer of the parliament openly walking the guild hall would sell a few copies of Boulder's Mouth, I expect. Careful around the steel watch. The old guard gave thieves a slap on the wrist, but those bolted bastards oh, will rip off the whole damn arm. What's the point in paying the guild for protection when they pull back all their crews? There's a bloody army coming. Before you ask, I ain't got none of that plum Prosecco. Now, what can I get you, newcomer? Beverages of distinction, or in some cases, extinction, if you ain't careful. How are you feeling today? Lucky? It's an orphanage, Ukta. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? 
Will they fail to pay tribute? We should withdraw our protection, at the very least. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... We already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Are many children old enough? If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's owed. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me. This is a private council. Keep your underpants clean, Ukta. We're playing host to a hero. You owe me a gold piece, Grandmother. When I heard you died out in the wilderness, I made an offering at Kelimbor's well. Of gold? Oh, I did not know I meant so much to you, Guildmaster. No, I'm terribly sentimental. Case in point, I've just let a harper walk through my guild hall, noticeably unholed. Because I'm curious about why you're here and who it is you've brought with you. Thinking about moving in? I have some lovely, lightless cells I could show you. We won't tax your hospitality too long, Nine Fingers. I'm searching for Minsk of Rashomon. A big name, that. Such information does not come cheap, High Harper. Not in normal times. Of course. Seeing as these are not normal times and we're all such good friends, I'll do better than tell you where he is. I'm bringing him here as we speak, or parts of him, at least. I gave no orders about the condition of his goals. What treachery is this, Nine Fingers? Have you thrown in with the Absolute too? Against my own city? Careful. You're in very real danger of hurting my feelings. It's Minsk who's found his faith with Faerun's newest god, and a new name with it. Stone Lord. Lies. Exactly the one. Guild crews may be prone to exaggeration, but not in this case. In his short reign, the Stone Lord and his crew have earned a reputation. Pure brutality. No survivors. And where he mows my people down, this right little cult takes root. But not for much longer. We have word on where he plans to hit next. And he'll find us ready to hit back this time. Nine fingers. Estelle. Call off your ambush. Tell us where he is, and we'll handle this. We? I heard what happened to your harpers, Jahira. I'm sorry, but this fight's too big for you alone. If you're half the friend you're posing as, you'll tell her that her part in this is done. The Stone Lord's fate is sealed. We have a bigger war to fight. I'd rather turn our talk to that, but if you need a moment, Jahira, well, you've earned that much. My guild hall is open to you. Have a drink, Jahira. Have a rest. Just leave well enough alone. It would be a shame for the city to lose two of its heroes in one day. Knife. A hot one, I think. Keep the Harper out of trouble. 
Just because I don't want to kill her doesn't mean I won't. Beyond that, be welcome. Be merry. Is there something you require of a human skilled master? Mm. You have. But don't be so quick to bat away a helping hand. We find few enough of them in this city. The flaming fist can be bought. The harpers are scattered, and the parliament of beers, well, they're just generally too inbred to be useful. The absolute's at our gate, and the guild are the only ones truly standing against it. Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. Simple enough. After Jahira warned me and then disappeared, I went nosing into the cult for myself. I could bore you with the details. How I found evidence of Gortash's projects, traced him to Orin the Red, and made a safe bet there was some dried-out old necromancer to round out the three. Because it's always the dead, bloody three. Has been half-gods who can't help but make their irrelevance everyone else's problem. Oh. You've got some juicy little tidbit I haven't heard yet. Right. Well, war to be fought. Do you need anything else? Oh, did you enjoy the encounter? <laughs> I have no doubt you gave them a good talking to. The rats usually keep a lid on their nastier notions, but with the Stone Lord business distracting me, some are starting to test the leash. All the more reason to be rid of the cult quickly, so I can remind my crews it's not a leash round their necks if they cross me. It's a noose. No begging. Not even a snotty little please. <laughs> it's almost like you don't know who you're talking to. The order's been given. It's done. So I hope you know another tune because I am getting bored of this one. Keep me from having to kill the Harper. Which means keeping out of the guild's way. All right. Wonderful. Keep the Harper out of trouble. Beyond that, be welcome. Be merry. Is there something you require of a humble guild master? Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. We've crossed paths over the years. Two hands trying to steer the city. Just not always in the same direction. Oh, I can't stand Harpers as a rule, but she here is the exception. She's only really half a Harper at most. You mean that as a compliment? I am sure. The same way I'm not just the lowly thief, vagabond, and murderer the watch and peers would paint me as. I happen to be a fine singer, too. We don't. The Zentarim work for me. Time was I'd charge the bastards double if I let them into my hall at all, but times change. The Guild is many things, but it's not an army. If the Absolute keeps pushing in on our territory, then I need a little weight to push back. Thieves, frauds, and miscreants, if it's just the Watch Warrants you're reading. The Guild isn't any one thing. 
We're everything. All the parts of the city the Watch don't want seen, so they push us to the far side of their law. But it's not the Watch that keeps the peace, or gives justice to any Baldurian who asks whether they can pay for it or not. It's us. If we take a little tribute in return, or tie strings of service to those we help, well, what of it? So long as we're working as one, it all runs quick, quiet, and clean. Clean water, filthy riches, and everything in between. We're citizens of the city. No more, no less. Right now, I'll settle for taking our city back. to rob the counting house, and Nine Fingers means to trap him there. What do we have here? breeds madness. Should have worn better boots. Action, not reaction.
the shadows. An ordinary lamp. Not a trace of magic on it. to find a way forward. Father, ease my way.
is through. I'm sure. I've seen everything. Let's get in and out. Best be on my way. Never wanted the easy part. What, Lady AQ still playing that game? I don't have one ready.
swift as my feet can carry me. This ought to be good. Hello there. You still look like you need a rest, Grandmother. Anything I can do to take that wrinkle from your brow? Oh. You've got some juicy little tidbit I haven't heard yet. Huh. Huh. It seems like my intelligence on you was patchy at best. That's annoying. I had no intention of leaving my city in the Dead Three's hands. Definitely not leaving it to some slimy shit that doesn't even have hands. So, as long as you can keep a lid on what's growing inside you, we're allies. Until you can't, and we're not. Simple enough, I reckon. Now, war to be fought. You need anything? Don't waste the step. to me. For supplies, seek the bugbear. To trade trinkets, the fetcher's brats. I am Ukta, duly elected guild bursar, and I will not have my time wasted. month of the year, more commonly known as the rotting, a time in which all things decay and die. A uh, gift from Nine Fingers. She has a penchant for literal names, and her cronies ensured it stuck. I need not love to serve. You have a point you wish to make? I clearly recall asking you not to waste my time. It is guild business I take seriously, as you all do. That business is finance, specifically the acquisition of vault keys. 
The wealthy squirrel their riches away in the city's counting house, where it gathers dust serving no one. I acquire keys and allow these funds to circulate, like lifeblood in a healthy body. Everyone benefits, particularly those who bring me such keys. So, are you wasting my time, or do you seek to benefit? Have you made an acquisition? Until you do, then. I wonder what the next move is. You are not known to me. I am booked. Oh, is that what Nine Fingers was doing earlier? Wasting guild time with this Stone Lord business? Hmm. You might say so. I could not possibly comment. <laughs> I sense there is no love lost between the two of you. I need not love to serve. You have a point you wish to make? Then we are wasting one another's time. Yes. That is why I am smiling. No one stopped me yet. One day I'll catch a break. Never mind. 
fascinating. I crave blood. Hmm. Quickly then. True to you. Oh, I thought I might never see you again. No. No, you need to leave. You put as much distance as you can between yourself and that monster. Snatched me up from our camp and brought me down here to her temple, a barlist enclave. How long has it been? A ten day? Longer? I can't even tell. She, she, she did things to me, such awful things. Even I don't have the words. She, she took things from me. She let me run. She likes the sport of it. And told me I could earn back what she cut off. My trophy, she said, if I could outpace her. Look, you can't fight her. She's too strong. Turn around. I'm done running. I'll buy you what time I can. You face her already. Look at it, crawling and sniffing and rooting around in the filth. Is it my netherstone you seek, little piggy? <gasps> hush, hush. Orin will take care of you and your little 